Hello, everybody. Hi. How's it going? Uh, did you know there's no time to waste? <laughs> Bob, did you know that? I, I'm starting to pick up on that. You're starting to pick up on that a little bit? Please, that's what Superman thinks. That's... I'm gonna trust him on this. I feel like he's probably right. I feel like there probably is no time to waste. I don't know, though. What if we wasted time instead? Hmm. I don't think Superman would approve of that. <laughs> He'd be like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> oh my god, are they wasting time? <laughs> no. No, don't do that. I talked to them about this, I swear. Sorry, Superman. We just, we thought about how funny it would be to waste time. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, let's get to the gameplay view. Let's, did anything break in the tiny amount of, no. Then there's good. no time to waste. See, this game has a 16 by nine mode by default. So we thought, wouldn't it be fun if we just cropped for that so you could get the full Superman 64 experience? It's like you're watching a Superman movie, but it's a movie based on the handmade series. So it's great. Stream sounds are not quite working right. Oh. Try just doing this. That should fix it. Well, actually, I have to do it once. That should fix it. My, my brain's broken, and this is a Superman game where we have uh, Brainiac, and I'm just like, oh, this is like a prequel to Suicide Squad. <laughs> You know, maybe we should explore as we play through the game whether or not it's a prequel. To I, I mean, I guess it could be. Holy it's shit, that's cold, way too loud! Oh my god! Yeah, what, ah! Why are they alive? <laughs> Why is that so loud? Why are you attacking this chat? Scrunt. This is way too loud! Why are you all doing this to me? What did I do? Ah! Other than hit control Z. Ha! My control Z broke all of your sounds. Stop honking at me. <laughs> I think honking at a streamer is acceptable. No, no. Of course not. God. Did we guarantee how long the honk would stay around? <laughs> no, I don't think we... I don't think we did that. Okay. Fuck Just checking. Stunned. Okay. No, any reason you're no, checking? No, no reason, you know. Okay. I mean, it's cool to just make sure, you know. Somebody has to stop. Then there's no time to wait. But yeah, I, I looked ahead at the entire... Shut up, I'm talking! <laughs> um, I looked ahead at the entire game. All of it? Uh -huh. But the credits in the title screen will properly do the 16 by 9 thing. So I think we're good. Great. Then why are they the Ford alive? Focus SE comes with a standard rear view camera. One wonders why we even play video games. Yeah, they, they seem to have plenty of fun just hitting the buttons, and I can't play them. Those they're, are fun buttons. They're like clown honks. This is great. And I'm like, yeah, this, this is great. That's what I, too, was going to say. Anyway, we're gonna try to get that stream timer going. Is it? Are you Rats working? Off stream timer? You. Oh wow! Yes, Yippee. relatively. It may be off by three or more minutes. We don't know. Oh no! Anyways, hey Bob, go! All right, here we go. What a duke You don't need to see the the top of the Superman logo or whatever the text at the <laughs> bottom is. None of that matters. In Sorry, no, no rumble pack. We won't, we won't shake. Superman. You will never find your friends. Oh, I couldn't read that. Then there's no time to waste. There's no time to waste. Let's go. Ah. So, uh, the context is there for people on Twitter and in the disco. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. You're we can miss a few. We can miss a few ranks. It's okay. You're flying just as well as that demo does. <laughs> right. Uh, but the context for people who are watching the VOD in the future. <clears throat> we were playing this on the N64 as a pre-stream test, and then after Bob got to the part that's like, pick up this car and save it from these four dudes with rocket launchers or whatever, uh, it just inverted some character models and crashed. Yeah. Like, they became weird spiky green blobs, and it crashed entirely. So we went, eh, maybe we do this one on the mister. Which uh, is weird. 
because like I mm, this runs at a different speed from a real game right like playing this on an actual cartridge oh no oh, oh no, no. Oh, lex no! wins no then there's no time to waste lex wins has a real love wins energy but it, evil it, it does it's lex luther kissing himself Duh. we aren't ready no one's ready oh man that was really quiet uh, he's real gay but only for himself I was like, what could that apply to? Oh. <laughs> Alright, silly me. Yeah, of course. What do you, don't be ridiculous. Who else would it apply to? I was like, I, I, I don't know if they did a Superman Explorer map. I feel like, you know, you gotta write four decades, seven decades of comics eventually. A Superman what? G that explored the, him uh, being gay. <laughs> I think so. I think that came up. You would think on a long enough timeline, right? Like they've only, they've been able to make they've been forced to make Superman for over fifty years or something. Something like that. Seventy. Superman's son is gay, or was gay. Not sure if they retcon retconned him. Oh my god! Why does it gotta be like this? Also, why are we dropping frames? Why is it gotta be like this times two? I like how I'm just not paying attention to the game because I'm trying to get the stream up and stable. Right. And Bob's just like changing gameplay styles entirely as I look. That They're was fine. Good. They're fine. Okay. I saved the, the pedestrians. It's all that matters. Oh. Solve my maze. Okay. Okay, Lex. This guy is always about his mazes. It's like the Riddler underground labyrinth races. Ah. Superhero video games sure are um, cursed. <laughs> yeah. It feels like Spider-Man got the best of anyone anywhere. It's except for maybe. No, no, there's too many bad X-Men games. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Spider-Man definitely won out overall. Because there are a few good Batman games, there's a few good X-Men games, but there's no Defoe good. Duck says Hulk. I mean, Hulk Ultimate Destruction Doesn't is cool. Doesn't he only have but, two games? But every other game, I think, is real bad. At least that's what I've heard. Maybe they're just rounding up because they're like, he's in Marvel stuff, so Marvel vs. Capcom's good. Maybe. I don't know. We can't. It feels like we should have a good Superman game by now. How how do we not? Ow. So the doctor in the intro has the BTCH plasma backstab that deserves to get punched by Superman. He would send his friends out to get his friends sent in. The chicken would get fuck you. He deserves staying in the green gas matrix prison. And we got some. Some hate for random uh, characters that might have shown up for a couple frames. I have no context for this, but thank you for the donation. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And this, nice. The, this is the one that. Uh, Put the police car at the end of this road? Yeah, I've got to grab him and then... This was the one that crashed? Yeah, this is the one that crashed. This is the one where everyone turned into gigantic inverse polygons and everything exploded. The whole... It was kind of impressive. I was a little sad it didn't happen on stream. I wish I could have read that text that was on screen for frames. It's okay. I got the L button. That doesn't... That doesn't go back. Uh, that doesn't... Oh, oh, God. I see the Nicolas Cage Superman and was wondering if you could ever do first commentary on the Flash movie from last year. Oh, they made Rogue City? This is Titus? Like, Titus went on to make that? It's got to just be some of the I think that I think that they're saying that the, the Titus made another RoboCop game, and they want to do a flop well, flop between the new one, Rogue oh, City, and that. and then that one. Okay, so they did the Xbox RoboCop. The Xbox original? Is that what we're saying? Oh, man. Nice. Now, um, destroy the four dark shadows. Dark shadows. Uh, uh, here we go. God. Oh, my God. They're shooting me. 
Get out of here. Masumi's pointing out if we, if we through the option screen, lower the viewport, like uh. lower the size of the rendered screen, it will run better. Huh. So there's something to be said for, what if we just lowered it down to, because the lowest option is 20%. <laughs> what if we lowered it to that and had the retro tick upscale to compensate? Jesus. It'd probably be unplayably blurry and small. Is that even possible? I don't know. I feel like if you if you decimated this to a fourth resolution right now, it wouldn't effectively mean much. And this is at this segment where it probably means the most. Later, uh, I don't know. Because you, you know, you're on foot later. You're not flying at high speed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I've only ever seen like this much of this game. I don't. I don't know what the heck is after all the rings nonsense. Yeah, during a retro roulette, we did do the uh, we did do the part that's after this. We didn't make it far. Right, it exactly. Scary. Um, uh, uh, come on. We're gonna like get through it, and the, the game either end in like three hours, and we'll just be confused. Yeah, that's that's also a possibility. A uh, common event brings up the fact that someone made a Mega Man Legends 2 underwater fix patch. Ooh, for uh, the PS1 version. Uh, what about the game we're playing right now? Would remind you of being underwater in Mega Man Legends 2. <laughs> would you? He picked up his breath. Yeah, that's my breath power up. Now I gotta stop in front of this, fully stop to I use have, it. I have no idea what similarities could be there. There we go, one tornado down. Chris says it's gonna be, or it could be eight hours of rings. It could be eight hours of rings. Uh, oh, cool, the patch also uh, adjusts upgrade prices to match the PSP port. That's great. Nice. I'm glad someone made that patch. If you want to save your friends, solve my maze. You want to solve your maze, find my friends? You don't have any friends, Lex. <laughs> Lex, Lex, this is just a pile of corn. This isn't a riddle. He's like, solve my maze. No. <laughs> There's no time to waste. <laughs> you should just have several takes that get increasingly more upset. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I so like... When it makes the tasing you sound. Yes. Also, the sound effect for going in water is like the same one they use in Tenshu. Thank you. I was trying to remember what game of this era <laughs> I knew that exact sound to be used in. Right. It was like really bugged by it. Thank you, Bobbins Robbins, for the prime sub. I was I was setting up the equipment and I'm looking at our skin tones on the camera and I'm like, why are they so fucked up? Oh right, we're just staring at a giant screen full of a game that's mostly green. <laughs> like it's just nothing but teal and blue, and I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> nothing I can do about that. Either. Right. What are we gonna do? Fucking get a light that's anti-green? Oh shit! Superman wins. Superman wins. Where's that emo? <laughs> That's there. <laughs> now what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's really good. <laughs> I They did that for the rumble pack earlier, and I cracked up so much. It's in a control pack. Okay. Just get, yeah, we'll overwrite the other one. I did just a minute ago to make yes. sure the game worked. To make sure the game didn't crash on the fucking mister. Right. Oh man, look at this gigantic mouse cursor you have. Oh man, oh, we should probably be complex. able to see a little bit more than this, but uh, oh well. We'll drag them and flood the city. Superman must find and disarm the bomb before it's too late. Who's Mala? What, what, what website are you reading? I don't, the Daily Planet website, obviously. Oh. I'm in the news section instead of the people section. Oh, okay. okay. This looks like a job for Superman. This looks like a chump Superman. It says Superman in the Superman outfits concerning anyone around him. <laughs> are, are, Superman, you're kind of moving around here like you have to use the bathroom but don't want a full sprint. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Let's fly. I, I don't think... I think this is actually going to be easier. Yeah. Yeah, if I fly <laughs> into him, he just kills him immediately. I mean, that makes sense. He's Superman. He, fl <laughs> he flies really fast. 
Uh, uh. Oh man, that exploding hurts me. Bob, uh, yeah. you see that trailer from that, uh, what is, what is the name of that game? Raynatus? No, I didn't have a chance to watch it. I saw it went up. Use this access to the can canal. Use the computer to open it. Okay. Thank you, kid, dude. We got tank controls when we were on the ground. It's real weird. But the camera's right here at my back. Well, you know what really helped us? Hmm. Is if we... Uh, if if we just lowered the rendering resolution to 20%. The door, oh, the door to the main room is opened. All right, good. What's wrong, Bob? Do you have trouble reading this font? I mean, it's so high res and such a good font. <laughs> I more have trouble with it disappearing immediately. Luckily, they put it in... You can hit the L button, and it'll bring up the last piece of text that was up, because they know they made the game wrong. I feel like if we had a different angle on Superman here, he'd be pretty close to the Dr. Livesey meme walk. There's just <laughs> something about his swinging of his arms in the specific way he's doing it. Uh-huh. Like, the weird... Like, I... There's a lot of energy to getting the arms back and forth in a way that I'm not sure translates to faster <laughs> movement. <laughs> oh, that's Mala, I think. Get her! Is that something we want to do? I don't know. She she did that stuff to the dam. Let's get her. Then Superman beat her to death with his super dog. <laughs> you can tell. Those hits with your punches, those are not landing. It makes sounds like they are, though. Yeah, because your dick is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I need to land to actually have something happen. <laughs> you truly Superman. You'll never stop the bombs without the help of the, the damn, damn workers. workers. Hit them in a secret cage deep under space. Water. Deep under water. <laughs> but it's not. We don't know for certain that it's underwater. No, it's we under just know the water. That it's underwater. We have to keep an eye You're out right for that. To do it, Bob. If you smash the door with your super strength, they'll drown. Give up. In less than an hour, Metropolis will be underwater. Smash the door with your. Up. Oh. oh, she's gone. Did she just she just clipped out of the environment. Yeah, she just despawned. That's fucked up. You did this. Chat, can we not say that's my mom about the lady Superman just beat to death with his dong? <laughs> I'm gonna clip that and send it to Brig. She actually <laughs> created Minecraft. All side doors are up, open. Yeah, whatever those are. What the fuck is this I, fucking eel? I don't know. It's a worm thing. I'm not gonna ask questions. <laughs> oh my god, that's really not okay. Oh hey, help. Yeah, good job. That's my damn. Are, are you open? No, you're not a side door. I guess you aren't. There's gotta be some other thing. That, oh jeez. Oh my flash. god, what are you doing, man? Uh. Superman 64 yes. really earning its reputation here. Yeah. Really, uh, ringing in the demon pit correctly, you That's know? Uh-huh. You a side door? I guess so. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. You a side door? Said Superman, immediately <laughs> smashing the first thing he sees before he can even process wow. what it is. <laughs> oh, that was low. <laughs> she explodes like Aqua Teen. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, oh, cool. I think he blew breath. up. Breath? Breath. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Solve your legs, Superman. <laughs> oh, man. It wasn't in those two. Whoa, 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 Superman, where did you get this guy? Lex wins. Darn it. I hate it when Lex wins. That is really important. How far back are we going? Of course, to the beginning. De like Defoe says Super this game looks like a seven so far. Uh huh. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh huh. Me says Dan, that's the plot of Injustice Three now. Superman flying into a room so fast he can't process what he just like pulverized by just flying into it at high speeds. <laughs> oh my God! It doesn't expect me to fly through here, so there's a ton of geometry stopping me. Was able to kill it without hurting myself. Ow! Why does the part where box blowing up hurt me? Okay. Gotta go open the door. Come on. You can do it, Superman. We all believe in you. Oh, 
oh computer, if you could just speak to me and tell me why you are just arbitrarily running worse right now. <sighs> I'm like, if only computers could talk. <laughs> and it's like, actually, that'd be a fucking nightmare. Never mind. Yeah, I was like, I, I've dealt with the machine-based um, answer machines for like, uh, like help tech support. Yeah, directories, robot directories. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. The worst. Uh, I have one theory as to why it's dropping frames, and I really, really don't like it because it's the dumbest thing you can imagine. Oh yeah. What if it's dropping frames because I'm transferring a file from an SSD to a hard drive? And it's like, this is too much. Yeah, that's very believable, though. It's really sad. I don't have anything fucking else going on here, really, on, uh, on any of my shit. I'm glad Kit Dude at least can see the Dr. Live C meme in these animations <laughs> because I, I, you know, I'm seeing it. <laughs> Okay, maybe the side doors is opened, or actually the ones in the previous room. Oh, God. Uh, uh, all the way back here. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be opening. What about the other one? Did you know, weirdly enough, as far as I've just ex discovered, and maybe my computer's just acting extra weird. Uh huh. You can't. You can't see recycling bin on your desktop through an explorer window. You can only see it on your literal desktop. What? Weird? That's what it appears to be. A very strange decision. You like that didn't used to be the case. JDM says that always bugged me. Dan Bob says it's a hidden folder. Is it really? Huh. Uh, I don't understand. How do I fly into this? Oh! Well, those eels are fucking dead. <laughs> I hope. Fuck them. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. What's on this direction, though? Just another way out? Yeah, it looks like it just goes back to the main tunnel. <laughs> nice. So so far things have been very Superman 64. It is really funny that the official title of this game is like Superman colon the new adventures of Superman. Right. Like it's it's funny anytime your title has to adhere to branding so much that you say the name of the fucking character twice mm -hmm. in the title of your game. It's like Spider-Man colon Spider-Man in Shatter's Dimensions would be like the equivalent. Oh, you guys were just down here? I guess. These are are the... you okay? Thank goodness you're here, Superman. That mad woman has placed a bomb in each turbine room. If they go off, Metropolis will be swallowed by the flood. Yeah, but none of this is real. <laughs> you must disarm those bombs. Here is the access code for the main computer. It will open the pressure doors to the turbine rooms. Hurry, Superman. Hurry, Superman. Okay, so you got the code, and now you have 10 minutes. Oh, no. What's this? I wonder... Oh, my God. Yeah, you got the super run. Let's get out of here. You got to get to that main computer. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why is this super running sound like tearing paper? I don't know. Oh no, you flew right past it because you're so fast. <laughs> what a what a useful power. Order up, yes, but what specifically is being ordered? Uh, so... Oh jeez, cool. tanks? Yeah, when the fuck did Can I just fly past you? No, you seem too big. Okay, I got you. <laughs> you just boss. I have to wonder. Oh, what do you want? But do we have to talk to her? So you saved the workers, no matter. You, you still have to solve the rest of my puzzles or the bombs will tell the, tear the dam apart. Wait, why oh, are you punching me? now we're fighting. Is that a puzzle too? Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm puzzled, so it must be. 
And you had some really good tech when you beat her up with your dong. Right, I, I guess like maybe that was the strat. I don't know. Why isn't the best working out there? Huh? Yeah, I didn't pick uh, up the you didn't. Thing? Oh, it did change to the meter, but it looks empty. Yeah, so I guess it didn't pick it up on this run. Yeah. Run, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. 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 Flex wins. Superman can't even die. No. They just deplete a meter and then it says Lex this looks wins. Like a job for Superman. Hey Bob, we hey, should lower the, the viewpoint this uh, viewport this time. I'm sure it running that much better will really aid us in our journey here. One more. There we go. Okay, cool. Give me one sec and I'll uh -huh. just I'll just scale that up and we'll be perfectly good. Oh here we go. This is I wonder, okay, you know what? Just because I don't want to redo these settings, let's go ahead and just save this profile. Okay. Because I don't I don't want to have to do this again. Uh, yeah. We're going to save this... as new, and I'm not mapping Superman 64 to a fucking button on this remote. So we will just remember that that's profile nine. So mighty. Okay, Bob. Go ahead and uh, unpause, and we're going to see if the, if the fucking... Oh, my God. No, it can't. It can't figure it out automatically. It's like there's no way the game's this small, right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God. What a game. This is the sort of gaming that only the retro take 4K. <laughs> okay, Bob. She's really small, but really pretty. Sol solve his maze. Oh man, it's. It's running so smooth. Uh-huh. They were like, we can't even rent the hell render the health bar anymore. It's I assume small. that shit is just out of bounds right now. Cause we've cropped all of it. <laughs> this is how gaming on a CRT looked. Yeah. Now, how the hell can he see him? <laughs> Not well. This Game Boy Advance port's incredible, though. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they really did their best. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Let's go. 8-bit, 4-bit, 2-bit, 1-bit, half-bit, quarter-bit! The wrist game! <laughs> God. This is, this is really good. Why do you do this to yourself? Hey, they voted for the Demon Pit Month. We didn't. We yeah, didn't we just didn't. out of all the world's possibilities go. We should play Superman 64 in a Bubsy game for the PS4. Now, this uh, exact thing right now, this is completely Dan's fault. I don't know why he does this. I I'm going to say this is fucking hilarious and worth trying. <laughs> She's really small, but really pretty. I almost scrapped myself <laughs> because chat saying that as she's like eight pixels. <laughs> yeah, so gorgeous. This is what Jim Ryan sees when he looks at Original Horizon. <laughs> uh, so this is what all the Gran Turismo's but seven looks like to him. Right? It's like, why would you want this? Uh huh. Opened. Okay, and then we drain the swamp, which Superman is known for. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we have so much health. I don't know how much, but I'm glad we have so much health. Yeah. Oh, we didn't quite. No, we didn't get that one. Hey, it's me, sick wheelchair combos. I don't have anything to say, really. I'm oh, just so happy you guys are finally stuck in the demon pit. Jesus. See? You Do you see? This feels and looks like pixel throw. I don't know what you're talking about. This is beautiful. Someone out there is making an indie game right now that looks like this. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's on itch.io. <laughs> to be honest, that pixel's this chunky. Even I'm like, wow, it's like if a 3D game was on the Atari. <laughs> the only thing we have to do to give it more of that effect is you mo use more simple shades of colors instead of textures and... Uh, the film grain they baked into it. Uh-huh. Stupid fucking N64 filter to add fucking film grain. What the fuck were they thinking? Oh my god, I can't even tell if this is a hallway. 
Uh, uh, yeah, come on. There we go. We did it. This reminded me of the IGN. This is what Spider-Man would look like on the Game Boy tweet. I feel like this is more authentic than that was, which is sad. You ever see that? No. Uh, in, in the fucking fan discord, this was a while ago. It was like two years or something. Um, They're like, this is how Spider-Man would look on the Game Boy Advance. And they literally did a shitty video and solution to what we just did to this game, but to Marvel Spider-Man on PS4. Why? I do, their brains don't work. Okay. And so that was like a tweet of the day as everyone, okay, 2020. So it wasn't two years ago, it was four years ago, which makes sense timeline-wise. But uh, yeah, that was insane. I don't know why they did that. Yeah. That honestly seems much more like a hard drive article. It than does. Doors. <laughs> okay, Bob. There's a timer on screen. I believe you. And you Where have the a. Where are you going? You have a. <laughs> Bob doesn't know. <laughs> he can't see. Yeah, I can't see anything. These hallways. Watch out for the door on the right. Oh, there it is. Good job. This is so fucking funny. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just seeing Superman in like made out of, I don't know, at most 20 pixels. That makes me go, wow, it's like the Atari Superman game I grew up with and didn't understand at all. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know the legacy, uh, my my Are you looking for secret? My parents and my brother were into gaming before I was matter. I thought it said doctor, it said or. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, so, my first games growing up were E.T. on the Atari and Superman on the Atari because they just had those. And God, I assume it says off screen somewhere, Superman won. Probably. Mom, the resolution is wrong. Yay! I can't use the computer. Hey, Bob, we can, we can go back if you want. Yeah, please. Look at that woman. Well, breasts. wait one second. We don't. We don't want to do that because I want a screen cap for Twitter. Because this uh, okay. is what retro gaming looks like. Okay. Cool. You should. Can Can we get the camera to pull around on him at all? I don't think so. I've maybe, seen the front of him a couple times, and I think I that was all cutscenes. Yeah. Throw Throw some punches. Okay, and then up, and then. So cool. Wow. Much retro gaming. It's how it is, man. Just how okay. retro gaming looks. Okay, cool. Anyway, feel free to pull up that menu and fix this. But before you do, Bob. Uh huh. Let's see. Load from file. Eh. Nine. Let's let's see how much of the screen we can see now. God, the health bar's all the way over there. Yeah, and weirdly enough, the health bar still is like clipped out slightly. Yeah, because it's set up for the full screen instead of the wide screen. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. Jesus. So what did they make that? What's 20% of 64-bit? <laughs> what did they make a mode like that? I don't understand. No other, no other game basically ever has done that. Superman here is like, nah, I got some plans. Got some ideas. What if you played it in a thumbnail? <laughs> it's nowhere near the only game to do that. <coughs> that was a that was a real uh, some software engineer thought it was real fun to just put in modes to have the game render in a fucking tiny box so it ran well. So what was in that cardboard box? What exploded? I don't know. The cardboard. The cardboard's flammable. I guess, yeah, Superman hitting it that hard. <laughs> hard enough to hurt himself. Yes, but what specifically uh, is being ordered? Uh, subs. subs. Yeah, there's a leaked PS1 version of this online. Hey, Zebo, Stopping by to say have fun with Superman 64. <sighs> of course. Yeah, what else are you gonna do with Superman 64? It's such a delight. <laughs> Spiff says GoldenEye pioneered exploding cardboard, office chairs, keyboards, etc. Yeah, everything exploded. Sorry, would like to know how many times you had to restart the game. Uh, it only crashed on the N64, so technically restarting the whole game. 
it zero times on stream. <laughs> Surprisingly. Uh, starting a level over. Oh, yeah, we, we already kind of lost track of how many times we've had to continue. <laughs> Fucking tenchu water sound. Yes, it's a good sound. Whoosh. I don't even know if this breath power is really going to help me, but it's better to have it than not have it. But yeah, I feel like if he punches cardboard hard enough and fast enough, the friction alone right? would ignite us. <laughs> Imagine being that eel. Well, the eel isn't real because none of this is. <laughs> but let's pretend that any of this game is real even within the confines of the game. Uh-huh. Which it is not. <laughs> Which, for the record, it is not. We're in VR. I feel like the moment where you were transported out of whatever habitat you were fucking living in to here was a real fucking weird day. I mean, maybe, maybe this is like Suicide Squad and he's made it another whole dimension. Like, this isn't a virtual reality in the way we think of it. He's literally made a dimension. So these people are all real. Nah. Okay. That would have been neat, though. Lex is like, put on this headset. It's like the one that kills you from Sword Art. Except for it's not even that one. It's the one that the fucking idiot made. The the Lucky Palmer, where he's like, I made, I made a Sword Art Online VR headset. Isn't this cool? No. No, having a VR headset that can kill you isn't cool, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> right? It becomes cool the moment you use it. <laughs> 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 Not one second sooner, Lucky Palmer. You have that power. You can make it very cool, actually. <laughs> we would all think it was sick as shit. <laughs> the super speed only seems to work when I'm on the ground. I can't, it doesn't work when I'm flying. What? Yeah, because the, Say that again? the super speed turns off as soon as I start flying. So to conserve super speed, you fly. So that way it doesn't burn the meter. I guess. Oh, the meter's gone. Well, no, it's gone because I'm flying. Well, I thought you touched the ground for a second back then. That, that was a minor. You were doing punch. Oh, okay. You were just in a standing was, animation yes. punching. Right. Very different. Okay. Let's get rid of her two little sidekicks. Superman, come on. There we go. I made the headset from Short Auto Line and it's a meta quest with dynamite strapped onto it. Yeah, isn't that basically what he did? Uh, it was shotgun shells, I guess, apparently, is what someone said a second ago. Oh my god. Oh no. Now he's your buddy. Oh no, we're doomed. Okay, come on. Whatever, she can't stop you now, you're too strong. <laughs> oh wait, you're just in a stun to hit. There we go. Okay, there we go. Good job, Superman. Yeah, freezer. And then punch her in half. <laughs> I mean, whoa. Is she dead? I think they're like, she's not a real yeah. woman that super, Superman wouldn't punch a real woman. So she's flickering because she was VR. Now I'm doing super speed again. On the ground. Very cool. Man, Monster, you want to talk about making the Torment Nexus? That's her, this. <laughs> Superman 64 is the fucking Torment Nexus. All doors. Wait, all doors to the generator are open. Yeah, I think it's the next room that's the main computer. No, not the main computer. I had is to it? go back to it earlier oh. for the other thing. So it just opened the generator doors, which I assume are those side doors. And by generator doors, they meant the turbine doors? Because that's the doors we need to open, according to that scientist. Maybe. I don't know. It's unclear. Was there a computer in the room where we fought Mala? I think it's opening these doors. Yep, it opened these, okay. this door. Who knows what the green laser... Oh my god. Holy oh my god. shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the, that's a turbine. That looks turbine -ish. It is. Now what do I do with it? Oh, I, I guess you solve. Oh, there's a button. Okay. Oh, that dynamite. Let's get it. 
Oh god, do, do I you punch need it? to freeze it with your fucking oh breath? Oh my god, I might. No, 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 not quite. Okay, I'm guessing... Is it staying frozen? It is, okay. Yeah. So maybe that's it. Maybe. We just need to find the other, which I assume is the one directly across the hall from uh, the mall room. Right, probably. Let me make sure there's not a second exit to this place. Does not seem to be. All right. How super exactly is this man? He seems less super than usual, as you're seeing on screen right now. <laughs> Some more open. Now the problem is we ran out of fucking ice. No, right, and so then see the extra ice press thing. And maybe they didn't expect us to ice Mala. Maybe. Which is weird because, you know, that seems more like a Superman solution than beating her to death. Man, 64. Yeah, add a comma. Yeah. Maybe we can get ice breath in one of the rooms we already picked it up in. Oh, no. Man, imagine if that regenerated. I know, right? Hmm. There's something down here. Come on. I feel like, oh my god. Out of all the Superman movies and other things, <laughs> even in live action, I've never seen Superman fly so awkwardly this like as this. I know, right? He's holding out his arms like he's trying to get someone's attention in a crowd. He's like a toy. He is, yeah. Which makes sense because he too is rigid and cheaply made. Uh huh. And that hurts you a lot. It does. Everything okay? This is the part where you land and then you scoot around slowly. Because you haven't fully landed. You're obviously still flying. Uh-huh. Ultraman would handle this easy. Oh, that makes sense. He's got the science team or whatever. Right, and uh, I assume he has proper motor controls. <laughs> this is my, that's Superman's yeah, main Superman's problem. Superman's not used to VR or something. <laughs> his, right. his motor skills have gone completely out Son of the window. Riders. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> There's no time. <laughs> <laughs> Slips. Superman, are you day drunk? <laughs> no. Question mark. <laughs> Oh yeah, you were asking before, did, can Superman get drunk? Oh yeah. Does anyone know if they've covered that? I feel like one of the one of the live action movies were like, oh, his metabolism's too good to get drunk or something. I don't know. I'm still like there's a kryptonite that makes him drunk. Of course there is. The there's a kryptonite for every tag. There was something with uh, Hulk. I think it was in the She-Hulk show because I watched the first episode of that where Bruce Banner's like, oh man, it's so great. I can drink alcohol without getting drunk and just drinks a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And everyone is just like, but isn't the part of drinking getting drunk? Isn't that the fun part? What's, what's this guy's deal? He just loves wasting expensive fluids. I guess. Didn't hurt me for some reason. I'll take it. Yeah, why not? It did like the tiniest line of damage. <laughs> Two rows of pixels up there. Right. Can't do that yet. Gotta go open the main door. Come on. He missed it since I thought that was in the first Captain America movie. What? Captain America? Can't get drunk? That might also be the case. Isn't that a thing with Wolverine 2, that he can't get drunk? Huh. Oh, 
Morgan asks, remember that episode of Superman where a guy is about to be executed in an electric chair and realizes Clark is Superman in the end? <laughs> no, but that sounds absolutely like an episode they would make. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's, that's something. <laughs> This is, this is a little rough. It is. I don't know what you're talking about, Dad. This is totally fine and normal. Not rough at all. That guy's model looks great. Oh, it's three of them in the room. It's that good. Yeah. Was curious behind the development of this game, and not surprisingly, Warner made it hellish for the devs. Yeah. What? Some things never change. It's almost like the complete dropout in branded games that happened in later 7th gen and 8th gen uh, was because game development got so fucking hard and working with, you know, brands was so impossibly bullshit. Mm -hmm. You can't afford to throw shit away at the whim of a fucking brand manager or publisher when it took you like nine months to make. Can't use ice press on her. Hope you like the same two measures repeated for an hour. Uh, yeah. My favorite, man. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if the soundtrack had even fewer notes? That'd be pretty sick, man. That would whip ass. Yeah, maybe I should... I thought she dropped the key before. No. Okay, I guess I just walked to the next room and it was there or something. Well, you, you're on your way to the main computer anyways. Remember, that guy downstairs gave that to you. <laughs> Stop tearing all of our paper, Superman. That's so rude. This is, this is a lot. <laughs> Don't land with it. That kills you. There's the generator open. All right, here we go. Whoosh. What's Mario like? Put in. That is the mood right now. So obviously you're going to be capable of going into both turbine rooms, freezing both bombs and taking no hits, right? Yes, of Did course. Did you leave yourself any health pickups? Because you have eight minutes. You could just walk over to an old area and get those. Um, there is one, but I'd have to go buy several things that could kill me too. So I don't know what's safer. You know, at a certain point, at a certain point, I'm going to have to play music so everyone doesn't lose their minds collectively. Right. I hope he doesn't shoot you with a tiny laser and kill you instantly. He doesn't seem to be able to shoot to the side. Okay. So as long as I say on the inside like this, I think it's okay. It's like, uh, unless I fall off like that because it's terrible. But this game wouldn't just be terrible, right? Uh-huh. Well, I'm That'd already ahead of you, uh, our shiners. I'm like literally in that yes. folder. Actually, I'm in the Dragon Seeds folder, but, you know, we're going to go with Killer 7. There it is. Oh, yeah, and whenever you can, could you get me chat down there? Oh, right. I had to minimize everything in order to fucking reach the <laughs> recycling bin. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it there? Is there? Oh, right. <laughs> That's my dance. Is there a music slider in the options menu? Probably, yeah, music. Yeah, turn that shit down. There we go. Okay, just uh, it's our, okay. Yeah, the lowest is a single bar. And Superman got way cooler. Oh yeah, now, now this game rules. This is like my favorite in 64 game now. <laughs> It's weird. We stopped being in the outdoor, insanely green environment, and then our skin tone looked better on stream. Weird. <laughs> How does this happen? How does this happen? Come on, pick him up. Oh, God. You know, I would like to think we've made a lot of progress on Superman 64. We beat one level. Right? In an hour. Jesus. 
<laughs> you just snap for a half right now. <laughs> Press. Come on. There we go. We can do this. So on Let's Talk PlayStation, uh -huh. Ryan Bignacki had to uh, talk about... Oh, no! I hit the Z button to land, and it took him out of the environment. And now the camera has gone inside of him. This game was totally ready to ship. Man, oh, now, no. it's, now it's Mirror's Edge. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't want the first person Superman game? This looks like a <laughs> game. This is probably going to be one of the most unstable games we beat. Yeah. 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 Oh, that hurt you. It did. From that distance. Yep. Cool. So good. It's great, I even. The um, Let's Talk PlayStation um, with Ryan Videcki. Um He was talking about the Sony Ben thing. And I got mad again. Yeah. What did, the hell's wrong with Sony? Did we even put that or bring that up? I brought it up. Okay. Well, actually, no. Chris brought it up. And I stared deep into the camera, angered. Man. Because that, that is so upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, Sony is quickly jumping to the top of that list of, like, publishers that need to get it together. Yeah. Which is weird, because they had it together last gen. Right? They had it together so long. So well. They want another Helldivers 2. Here's the problem with that. They're not getting one. I would simply be smart and recognize that I will not find gold twice at the end of a rainbow. Right? Impossible. Armored Core 1 ass environments. I kind of wish Superman moved like an Armored Core. That would be a lot more manageable. That would be a lot more manageable. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it feels so good to be back. Now it sounds like a weird techno remix. We're just inserting sound bits. It does. Thank you, Mr. I like spam for gifting seven tier one subs to the community. Oh my god, thank you. Did it did it actually give me the Yeah, it got me the nice power. It, it glitched out because I got hit immediately. Uh-huh. How should we celebrate? God, this works too well. Let's we'll, we'll land out here. So they won't, I don't fall through the floor if I try to land in here. I'm learning a lot of things about Superman right today. Superman has very intri various intricacies to the way his powers and mobility works. Right, you never know when he could accidentally clip from the environment. Yeah, Superman's actually one of the strongest and fastest things alive. However, he cannot get into a restaurant if it does not have a wheelchair accessible ramp. That is just how it works. Yes. Because <laughs> if he tries, he might make the rest restaurant despawn. <laughs> it's true. He's going to clip through the earth. And the upset and tectonic plates will launch the restaurant into space. Yes. Again, poor motor controls. It's really rough. It is, especially when you're this strong. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh. 
Oh, that's weird. I stopped transferring files. <laughs> and then the stream got stable. What? Hmm. 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 Curious. <laughs> so funny that thing explodes in one punch. Yeah, it is. Where's the one punch game that plays like this? Uh, isn't it that one where you have to play as a different character and you call in Saitama and it takes him a while to get there? <laughs> I figure that's about the same vibe. Okay. Alright. No, no, no. Oh, no. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. I'm glad that didn't kill you. Yeah, I'm so surprised it didn't, but I'm, I'm kind of screwed now. Did you leave any health pickups? I don't think I did, because this time went so bad. Let's double check. <laughs> He's so graceful. I think there's one word to describe Superman and Superman 64. It's graceful. Is there one in here? There might have been one in the side row. Oh, God. No. How many levels do you think are in this game? I'm horrified that there's like 10. I bet there's like six. Yeah, we, we just did that. Here's some soothing music. You know, Superman is a lot like a Ridge Racer vehicle that he, he drifts weirdly and may end up crashing. <laughs> yes. All right, so I found out something for there. I can just hit the computer. I don't need to kill those yeah, guys. Yeah, you don't have to kill them. Uh, uh. Gonna say that last time you were in there, but I really didn't want a back seat. Because then you might hand me the controller. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Argent. For the prime set. I love the car peeling out of the asphalt sound every time he uses super speed. Well, I, you know, his tread isn't that good. Thank you, Cascade Persona, for the 43 months. So, great googly moogly. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's the iconic SMT teleport dungeons. <sighs> so, do you think when you solve the second bomb, it just goes, you won, and ends the level immediately? I sure hope so. I don't think there were any other exits to even go to. Right? It feels like I fully explained, explored the area, and this is what it showed at the beginning of the mission. So, it better just end. That is true. The webpage did have a cool gif of this. Do we got it? Yeah! Superman, Superman wins! wins. Oh, no. Thank you, Superman! How should we celebrate? Woo! Thank yes, you, Jay yes. Spento, for the five tier one subs. You do watch yes. this day. Insert a control pack. Okay. Yippee! Play game? Yes. Thank God. Oh, yeah, I'm totally yes. gonna do that. Just put the Rumble Pack right back in there. Done. Okay. And there's good job. no time to waste. Yippee. Oh my God! We're flying okay. rings again. More rings. Well, that was hour one of Super N64. I'm very excited for more rings. We're already doing more rings. Oh, That's God. all the game is. Just more rings at all times. Oh my God! Not even the Mister could run this well. Yeah, maybe there's a tur turbo CPU mode. Right? Uh. It's just like the Spider-Man 2 challenges, except for doing it isn't even approximately relatable to fun. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a mild difference there. After playing the rest of the game, maybe this is the best part, though. I know. 
Like that's the Isn't really that horrifying horrible? part. The rest of the game is like, what if we made something that made Tomb Raider look smooth? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, I'm hearing you. Go on. I would like to think the game where I hold circle, push to the right, and then she very slowly takes a single step to the right is maybe not the smoothest game. <laughs> I think it's really funny that we did a PS2 launch title with 16 by nine and now an N64 game with 16 by nine. Right? Like that seems ridiculous. Grab and throw the three mine droppers. What the heck are the mine droppers? Oh God, they're dropping mines on me. Okay, where are you? There's one. Get back here, mine dropper. <laughs> there we go. Throw this, him away. This is the only memorable part of the game because because this bad. This is the only this is the only memorable part of the game because it's the only tolerable part of the game. As bad as it is, says Heartless Healer. <sighs> okay. Maybe. All right. There we go. One yeah. more. I don't know how the fuck. Where is the final mine thrower? Oh, I guess he's up there. I don't know how I'm going to be able to work in time to keep my insane exercise routine up in the middle of this next, our, our upcoming stream schedule. Uh-huh. Which will announce our stream schedule at the end of the stream. You know, we want to save it as a surprise. If only Superman had some kind of heat-based power that he could fire as a ray. Unfortunately, that's Spider-Man's thing. Yeah. Spider-Man and Darkseid are the only ones that could do that. Yeah, that was me copying Superman's arm movements. I'm like... <laughs> this is, uh, come on. Come on. Oh, it's moving! <laughs> do we really need the rings to move? They did. They felt like they needed that. I'm just going to throw out there again, maybe Superman's drunk. <laughs> I don't think these rigs are actually moving. <laughs> I watched Vanilla Sky again okay. in its entirety. Oh. Yeah, I still like that movie. I think it's really good. I think I liked it this time the most of all. Oh, my God. <laughs> my God. Okay. All right. Sure. I, I don't even know where the correct ring could have been. I know. It was somewhere behind me. It's like, there's no point, it man. It was extra dimensional. We aren't turn turning around. That's impossible. Superman's like, we've come too far. And it's the Harold and Kumar thing. Yes. It very much is that with Superman's controls. <laughs> yeah, it actually makes sense for him. Right. Harold and Kumar could have walked back. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, it's no. over. Oh, no. But yeah, what's your view of Vanilla Sky is, you know, what well, you probably should have being like an exploration of how people deal with trauma uh -huh. and what the idealized version of happiness is and things like that. The, the character study end of it and not what is the twist, <laughs> you know, because as you know, they, they show their hand on the twist pretty quickly. And then the last 40 minutes of the movie just being like, that was the twist, audience. Mm -hmm. And my parents still walk away going, I don't get it. I'm like, how the fuck didn't you? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would enjoy that movie a lot more without that final 40 minutes of, let me explain the twist. <laughs> this Tom Cruise run in Vanilla Sky surprisingly early in yeah, the film, Yeah, actually. that was like in the first couple scenes. That might be one of Tom Cruise's First, I run in a movie because I run in movies. Movies. Because it was 01. And I can't think of two. I can't think of any before that. First Mission Impossible didn't really feature him running. I think second one did. He might have ran in the first Mission Impossible. I can't remember him doing a classic Tom Cruise running scene. Um. He might have maybe run. But let me be clear. The thing with the Tom Cruise run is that Tom Cruise is running is the point of the scene. <laughs> right. Because he he runs good. I do think it's absolutely hilarious. Two things in that movie. No. One, okay. one, Tom Cruise says his character is 33. He's 39 when he made that film. Okay. And you can tell. Yeah, I was like, that, that's got to be the case. I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be a flashback or something. Two. 
he gets arrested at one point in the film and they show him in front of a, a lineup, you know, the chart, the height chart, and they take the photo of him, whatever they call that. Okay. And they get him up to the 5'11", six foot ah. for the photo. And I'm like, that's really funny. Yeah, sure. he's five seven. I can't think of, I can't not think of the family guy joke, unfortunately. You can't catch me, gay thoughts. <laughs> I mean, that might be a Scientology thing. That might be just accurate. Destroy all the dark shadows in front of the skater. Oh my God, there's a skater. I gotta save him. What is this game? These dudes really did just slip ship a prototype. They did, absolutely. This is like, hey, let me show you what types of gameplay we have. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, these are dark shadows as if they were from the intro to, to Batman. Not even the Batman show. Just the, the Batman intro. Yeah, for the animated series, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Clearly not meant to be something you actually fight in a video game, much less even a Superman video game. Was that all of them? That might be all of them. That can't be all of them. You have another two and a half. I minutes. do have another it's two gonna and a half. It's going to pop up with something. Um, I wonder if the skater's going to somehow veer off into the ocean or something. The middle of sky is very Mirror's Edge core. Um, you know what? I'll say yes. Really? I like I like the color grade of that film. In some ways, it reminds me of Mirror's Edge. It just took me back to, man, we used to make movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's... Does the skater need, like, you to clap? I don't know. Like Tony Hawk. Wait, what? Oh, up there, behind you Yeah, now. I saw that. Where? where oh, right there. What are you doing? I think he somehow skated up the wall. No, it's just a guy shooting rockets at nothing. But oh, and multiple. now there's another guy shooting rockets at... Did what they is... already kill the skater? May... Maybe... I feel like the game would have ended, though. Yeah, same. So maybe there's more dudes up here that could kill the skater? I don't know where the skater went. But yeah, it was kind of nuts seeing that film um, just because it was 2001, and it looked like that is a good... Like, that 4K version looks real good. I, I just streamed it on uh, Amazon Prime, even. It was 4K HDR. What? Oh, I guess that we succeeded, and we're joining True Rings again. Okay. Sure. Um, I was kind of surprised because I've seen plenty of movies from that era that did not look great in 4K. Did they ever do Stargate in 4K? Which I know would be earlier. I feel like they did, but I'm not. I don't think I've seen it, but I feel like they did. Chat? I was just like, Kurt Russell. Kurt Stargate. Russell was in Vanilla Sky. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. We get to watch every Kurt Russell film that's available in 4K just to see <laughs> what's the best looking Kurt Russell 4K movie. Probably Guess Guardians what? Not 2. Tron Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Surprising. What were you saying? Probably uh, G Guardian Volume 2. Guardian of the Galaxy Volume that's 2. That's true. That was... I think by the time Volume 2 was made, they moved on from using Ari Alexis to using a red camera so they could oh. film in 8K. So... It should look a little sharper because of that. Oh, come on. It is genuinely a catch-22 out there of the best quality movies are generally speaking filmed on an Ari. Mm -hmm. But if you want more sharpness, you should film with another camera, but then it just looks wrong. Right. It's what a weird situation. Even weirder that um that newest Ari camera doesn't have more resolution. Oh, really? No. No, it's still uh, four. I want the, the camera. The camera. The, don't the worry camera about got it. scared, <laughs> which is fair. I wouldn't want to be in this game either. Uh, but yeah, I think it's either a full 4K or 4.6K. It's not an 8K camera, but it has like 19 stops of dynamic range. What difficulty setting do you have this on? The default. I did notice that it said skill and two, and I'm like, it must mean a difficulty setting for that. Oh, that okay. was on the save screen. Yeah, I was wondering what that could mean. I didn't think this game would have multiple difficulties because, yeah, it's Superman 64. It's hardly done. <laughs> right. Do -do -do. Oh, uh, there we go. 
You know what? We're doing. Let's let's do some more racing music. Yeah, I mean, I am racing. That's true. Man, Ridge Racer Type 4 is so good. The game doesn't let you get the ending on easy. It stops early. Well, it's a good thing we chose normal then. <laughs> or didn't choose anything. Right? Wow, I have a whole minute left. I'm just getting too good at Superman. Grab and throw two mind droppers. Again? All right. Where are the mind Are you two mind droppers? <laughs> you toss the civilians. Guys, I assume they're along the road that the uh, civilians were on if you just went far enough. Wait, That's there's something. One. Yeah, there it is. There they are. Well, there's mines, so above them must be droppers. Like, we're trying to reverse engineer which way birds are by where their shit is? Yes. What, what were they thinking? <laughs> I'm really glad we're back outside roading our skin tones. I should definitely get an even brighter TV. Obviously. That would be smart. There's one. There's one. Cool. We got one, and we just need to find the other and get it in the next five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah. God, I hope it doesn't take you too far back. <laughs> Let's yeah, that was it. Then there's no time to waste. <laughs> please, oh. please tell me this is the ring set before... Oh. That and oh, not like two ago, oh, no. which it might be two ago. It's two ago. God, what is wrong with them? Oh, big nerd Sam. Nowadays, uh, OLEDs are bright enough where the QLED advantage basically doesn't exist. Whether you get a QD OLED from Samsung or one of the LG ones, the current latest tech is bright enough that that's not even advantage they have anymore. So now there's really no advantage to QLED. Wow. Not that that was like a good advantage before. Like, I'm a gamer, okay? I want the pixels to be sharp huh. long before I want them to be insanely bright. Right. Dwayne says, hey, it's not called one of the worst games for uh, of all time for no reason. Yeah. True. Yeah, they gotta earn that title. QLED had an advantage. Uh, it was debatable. Because, okay, so imagine a starry sky at night, which sounds like me really picking a corner case, but no, that's a very common shot in movies and stuff. And video games are a lot more like this shot conceptually than most film. Anyway, you want the sky, the, the, the blackness of space to be dark and the stars to twinkle within them brightly. QLED could be really bright, so the stars would be bright, but because of how QLED works, where it's just maybe, uh, I'm trying to remember what was the common amount of dimming zones. I, 100, let's say 100. So you've got 4K worth of pixels, you know, and you're multiplying that by 2160. Millions of pixels, I think eight million. I don't know. My Like, I don't memorize those numbers. I just type them in a calculator every time I need them. Anyways, there would be massive blooming on each star. Um, and video games are a lot like that. You know, you'll have a HUD superimposed on a background. You'll have edges of things next to other things. So OLEDs were really good at per pixel brightness and sharpness. And QLEDs were really good at getting the brightness number really high by blasting light through it, but it wasn't fine grained enough control to do it meaningfully. Um, it's not different from LCD. No, QLED is an LCD. Okay. So it was the okay. one before. It just takes three fucking minutes. Bitch! Where's <laughs> the other one? I think this is good music. Absolutely. There he is. Back here. So Dan's Unicorn Overlord copy needs to fly through all those rings to escape Niceville, right? Yeah, if I get in my car to drive down, I'll just hear a voice go, Salt my bay, Superman. Ooh. How do I get so disoriented in one place? There he is. I wonder if we would get more field of view vertically. I wonder if this is doing widescreen wrong. 
Maybe. Please hit the ground. Okay. Seven and a half. That can't be good. <sighs> no, it can't. <laughs> this is demented. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you, you know, we're. It, it's important that we do this first for the demon pit. Uh-huh. Because then we get to look back on this and be like, well, at least X-Blades isn't Superman 64. Right? Right to Hell Retribution is really great compared to Superman 64. While playing this, I get to be like, well, at least I'm not playing Suicide Squad. I mean, I too enjoy playing an old broken game long before a modern slop AAA thing that just is filler. Right. And there's no thriller. Whereas this, at least, you know, at least I'm feeling something. <laughs> sure, it's the feeling of having your balls tased, but... God, they put these rings so close together, I have to do it in order because I have no idea what the order is otherwise. Right, yeah, because they're overlapping, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Super breaks. Uh, we played out for chicken on a... On a retro... Actually, no, that was our Christmas stream. Right. If you uh, go to our VOD archive on YouTube, God, I think gigaboots.vods goes... Yeah, that's a way better game than this. I was enjoying that so much more than Superman 64. Alpha Chicken, so strong, so powerful. Uh, that was the one with uh, Spaceman Spiff. But yeah, that uh, Alpha Chicken really did feel like a fake video game, though. <laughs> that is for sure. Superman's not, very real. Not as not as fake as um. God, what what was the name of that weird game based on a cartoon that Spiff grew up with? Yeah, it had some weird onomatopoeia sounding name. I feel like. Did it? I think so. Super Widget! Super Widget. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say Alpha Chicken's a lot more real than Super Widget. Because Super Widget just looked like a Hanna-Barbera, like, knockoff. Right. I'm like, that's not real. There sure is a music in this game he said about the game where he turned off music but there wasn't music before he turned it off anyways arguably right i feel bad using mega man 8 music here yeah except i don't know we're in some sort of futuristic metropolis you like oh that. i just don't want mega man 8 associated with this but we can use wily stages for mega man 8 because they're evil <laughs> jump jump slide slide <laughs> Ring, ring. It's all maze. It's just Shit, like Star Fox 64. This might be the most fitting song to play to this. Yes. This game as a whole is very jump, jump, slide, slide. Uh-huh. Get near the end. Hooray, the mobile app didn't watch. Add a video I was watching to the big thing to mention playlist. <laughs> Bob is getting way too good at these, says Spiff. You got to, otherwise, this game's impossible. You think we could gaslight limited run games into re releasing this? We don't have to gaslight them. They'll gaslight themselves. Yeah, they'll do that. They will. They're definitely pretty gassed up. <laughs> Well, until Embracer just shoots him in the head for no reason. Yeah, until Embracer goes, wait, you don't make infinite money? And they're like, what does that mean? And they pull out the gun and shoot them all to death. Yeah, they they release plumbers don't wear ties. If they could swing this, they, they would do it. Right. Yeah, I, don't, I also don't think Warner Brothers would let them. Yeah, I guess that that, that would be the main obstacle. Mm -hmm. People who don't want to just ship trash with their name on it. That is their number one obstacle, yes. Which is kind of weird, I mean, considering what else they've been doing. 
Draven throws three robots to protect the people. Are you a robot? I don't think so. Are you people? I stop you. There we go. There's a robot down there. Would you like protect? Yeah. This music's too soon. It doesn't have the malevolent energy I feel like a song for this game should have. There we go. Two. Just one more. I threw that one at a person. I hope that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We we ringing again? We are. <laughs> this is only four minutes of rings. <sighs> We're going to end with a random set of rings, and the game's going to be like, good job, you won. It's over. And the song's, the song's really good. Yeah. And what part of Mega Man 8 is this from? A uh, widely stage two. Ah. I like that the world of long play is long play for this game. Uh-huh. Seemingly, we'll find out when we get there, is using a broken asset 64 emulator. Uh -huh. That isn't rendering this cutscene correctly, but we'll see. This one does have a better CPU, if I recall correctly. I... Huh. I know a lot of things about the um, architectures, but I never once thought to compare the CPU end of it exclusively. Huh. It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. I... But I don't know. One second, I have another brilliant game that'll work for this. Actually, can I get this one? Very fitting. Yes. For some reason, this makes me think of a Mega Man cartoon. Do you know what it is? No. Mighty Number no. Nine. Yeah. Okay. That that uh, has Mega Man cartoon energy. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the part where Cole disassembles one of the other Mighties. <laughs> she just goes eh, and rips their limbs off abruptly and is like, "I I did it." I, I don't know. Her face and expression and tone implies she would do that in a second. It's true. Yeah, I, I, I like various songs on the Mighty Number no. 9 soundtrack outside of the game because the game has the default Unreal Engine 3 audio compression settings of 96 kilobits. Talk about caring deeply about a product you're shipping. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Get oh, the Lex Corp. This is it. Superman wins. What do you say about that, Lex? <laughs> yes, save. It's your control pack. All right. Yeah, it didn't run the border around this at all. No. On the long play on World of Long Plays. Lex Luthor knows where your friends are. Search his lair for clues about, about Professor, Professor Hamilton. Hamilton, Lois, and Jimmy's location. Oh, uh, and there's, and there's, there's Brainiac. Brainiac. We just also we have a Brainiac. You he's, could have thrown that line in there. And he's filing paperwork. <laughs> we had to put him to work. Superman. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't hear you, Superman. You're so, you're so quiet. Hey, maybe there's music now. I'll just pause this and you can you can turn the music back on and we'll we'll see. Why is it one fewer? I don't know. Oh, it's just lined up. Yeah, terribly. it's lined up. It's shifted bad. Slow. Yeah. And this game runs great. <laughs> 
Yeah. Incredible what they were able to do with the Nintendo 64. Unlocked. Okay. Go. I control everything in this building, Superman, but don't worry. I prepared a surprise for you. Ha ha ha. My God. Are we... Well, will this move then, or...? No. Where's the surprise? If I go back down, he'll... You don't want to play anymore? Okay. That is the correct assessment of my state as, a, as the owner right now, that I... I'm sad I ever liked the Superman cartoon and owned an N64 and that my parents noticed these two points of data. Right. I think I did rent this back in the day, but I didn't get past even the first set of rings before I was like, oh, let's go back to Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like I also had that experience. Oh, there's... Man. This is the... The, the balls for uh, for playing pool. Pool, yeah. <laughs> Billiards. Snooker. <laughs> Bob, these were just normal office workers wearing black attire. How could you, Superman? <laughs> See, he's not shooting. Oh, okay, now he is. But that's to be fair. You walk towards him like this, right? <laughs> he was just standing his ground. What? 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 From Luther to Parasite. Parasite? Here is the code. Guard it well. Red, blue, green. R B G. I expected a lot of things from this game. What I didn't expect was a giant lobby that runs like absolute dog turrets. Right? Oh man, laser sight. Oh, he re he vision. Okay. <laughs> Lasers. Laser sight. It's, it's Superman can't heat things up with it. He just blinds people. <laughs> he looks up at an airplane and blinds the pilot. <laughs> Nice try, Luther. You're not getting out alive. <laughs> the pilot crashes. God. Snyder Superman sure is cool. Uh, what did... Oh, man. Oh. You know, I never did watch, um... Man of Steel. No? No. Wow. No, that was yet another movie you watched during that era. Is that a what-up? That, no, that's a that hologram. Of Clark's face? That's red, though. No, it's just shading Ow. terribly. What the fuck was any of that? I don't know. Um, but that was that exact era of films you watched with other people without me. Uh-huh. And I just didn't have money or interest. Right. And then you and those other people would come back. And this was this was all during that time period. You consistently went to the theater with Xeon mm -hmm. or Xeon and fake aggro. And so many times you would come back and be like, that movie sucked. Yeah, so, so then I would never watch it. Right? Because I'd be like, well, shit, I don't got money anyhow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That... God, yeah, it was just the curse. If I saw a movie with Sion, it was going to be terrible. Yeah, no, it seemed like like that was in the in the late aughts to 2010 period. That was like a surefire, hilarious thing that would just occur. Somehow there's there's the overlap between you two. Oh, is, was that? Uh, yeah, I guess I just read that thing oh. and then, oh, getting lonely, Superman? <laughs> <laughs> I won't be alone for long, ha 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 Giant purple Lex Luthor hologram. <laughs> Are you lonely, Superman? <laughs> I can fix that. <laughs> is this ending? Computer activated, I Red. Wish. Uh, come on. When's cursed content for Batman v Superman? Agro wouldn't do it. And he's right. He's right to not do it. Right. I think it's giving you a radar for how close you are to the thing in the middle of the room. Right, that's our kryptonite meter. Generator Good deactivated. Job. Good job. You figured out the masterful puzzle from earlier of red, blue, green, and then entered a room with three control panels that were hilariously N64 shaded. Oh no, there's a sl small lip here. I can't get in, and they're gonna shoot me to death. Once again, Superman cannot enter a restaurant if it doesn't have a wheelchair accessible ramp. Well, you save your friends, something, something. Finish the game? 
and you do it. Oh, I guess you haven't done it. Yeah, uh, I guess I, I guess pick up the thing in the middle of those because yeah, maybe that's the thing. But yeah, there's like the Venn diagram of overlap and interest between you and Zeon is just cursed territory. Uh huh. Somehow, at least when it came to live action movies of that era. Right. It was a lot of man. This this is probably this could be cool, but they screwed it up real bad. Batman v Superman, even with Rift Tracks, couldn't save it for me. My brain checked out, says Masami. Yeah, of course. Such dire movie. I can't fly in here, by the way. That's why I haven't just flown up and yeah, flown through. Yeah, I, I assume something like that had to be Maybe, happening. maybe we got You laser. have heat vision? Yeah, I got heat vision. Maybe that's the idea. I need to... Oh, my God. You have to kill them all, Superman. There we go. They're dead now. Maybe you'll regain the gift of flight now. Where did you relearn how to fly? Oh my oh. god, R makes me jump when I'm in walk mode. Oh. Choose an enemy. What? 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 <laughs> Stop me for an ally will control the time. Okay, bye. What? <laughs> That's such a good animation. Okay, there's no uh, health behind there anymore. Whoosh. Man, Pseudo Regalia is so cool. It is. It's like somewhere around a Dreamcast game, but it mm -hmm. has like PS2 game feel. Right. Real good. That's not to say Dreamcast games don't all feel good. It's just good game feel really got a lot better during PS2. And the Dreamcast died too early to get a lot of that. You know, when you think of things that feel as smooth as, like, a Jack and Daxter or a Sly Cooper or something like that, or a Ratchet and Clank, oh, it it's just a way. movement sort of thing. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. That's uh, where I just came from. Okay. What if we saw Superman's butt? I don't even know where that's coming from, chat. I don't... Oh, this one. Why would you want to turn off this music? Bob, they want, they want to turn off this music? What? Really? I don't understand. It's so good, though. Don't shoot me to death, please. Just pass this through. Superman politely leaves the room. Ah. Oh, hey. Health restore. Yeah. Do your dumb jump. I'm trying. I'm too close. See where I am. So embarrassing. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! That was hardly anything. What? Somebody has to stop Bob. Choose an enemy. What? Luther, I guess. No? What about Luther? Do you think when they say choose an enemy, they're like, kill everyone? Maybe. That, that seems insane, but it might be the case. Chris LaForce says maybe you could use some flop swap music technology. <laughs> no, that'd be providing all of us with an easy out, huh? You can't win. I have my own men of steel. I guess those robots are made of steel. Oh my god, oh my god, stop shooting me. Damn, good game. Holy shit. I want to see a Superman animated cartoon that's animated to be faithful to this game and nothing else. <laughs> Episode 2, Lex Luthor buys another MetaQuest and traps Superman in his house again. I can't. This is too much. Oh, there's house for sure back there. It's just 
a little bit of stuff in the way. Also saw one in midair, but obviously that's a problem. Okay. Oh, hey! Well, now we're free to look in midair. I think it was on the left side of this room. Never mind. Up in the chair, maybe? Maybe there's something up here? I wonder if just leaving works now. Maybe. Or maybe we go back to that room that's like, choose an enemy. Oh, this panel's different from all the others. Is that important? Uh, <laughs> Jeez! Seems to not be. Okay. Anything in this corner? No, that's a... Holy <laughs> shit. Jesus. Save your friends. Something, something. What was that? Finish the game. Can you do it? Can you do it? Yeah, it's the same okay. message. You okay. said something like seven times. <laughs> God. I don't think I've ever played a game quite this kind of perplexing. I feel like I've played a PS1 game exactly this Zota? So that's, did that summon him in the other room, maybe? And I need to kill him? I feel like you need to enter this on a system. Zota. That's Zota. It's got to be... It's got to be, like, an anagram or something. I don't know enough about... Oh, you're supposed to... You're supposed to choose an enemy. Right, and that's... I guess that's gonna what's happening here. Twirl. Twirl? Yeah, okay, so each of these is shuffling... No, don't leave that room. Each of these is shuffling the words. Uh-huh. In specific ways. Like, you used the same panel, I think, and it even just kept changing it. So oh, we need to figure we... out how to spell someone's name. Right. But most of these panels don't even seem to actually work right. This one only affects the last two letters. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Right. This what, uh, what affects lets all us of spell it? anything, I guess. Oh, well, I need to spell Luther, so the one oh of those with Oh my fucking L. god. L. Fuck off. Yeah, our lowest prior priority shit is the last two, because we can change those at will. So we just need to find something that can change the second letter. Right. Wow. The fuck's wrong with these people? I don't know. I think you can't do it while you're moving. Maybe that's the case. Damn, okay. last three. There. So that's the last three. This is the last four. I don't know what the next one was, but this one we haven't used once. Okay. There we go. That was our problem. So uh, now move leftward. Yeah. This will change the last four. Or the oh, last no, letter the last individually. One. Okay, that's fine. This, uh, one. this one changes the last four. The so wait until the T. Okay, now go to the one to the left of it. No, no, not two left. Okay. Yeah, I just need to. And now we're waiting for the H. Okay, now go to the one opposite. Yeah, to the left of that tunnel. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, huh? Okay, no, that's you got to loop back to that O. Is this, Isn't it an E? Is it an E? I oh, it is an E. Oh, no, we're not getting an E. Let's go with O. Maybe, You yeah. know what? Let's Luthor, right? I don't know. Oh, no, this oh, is doing... Oh, this is the chain We'll keep going into... Okay, no, God damn it, Bob. Quick, loop back to... You you have completely fucked it up on that one panel. You gotta you gotta bring us back to where we are. L U T H. Just look for L U T E H. Almost there. Wait, no, not quite. There we go. Go to the left. Go to the left. One. God damn it. Can't spell Luther Superman. Oh. Oh. Okay, you're not so dead. Atta boy, Bob. Okay, so. Let's find the one that changes the first letter right. plus a bunch. I could have sworn it was this one before. Why did this one not do that? They're shuffling it to they're fuck with you. Oh, my God. Nope. Yes. Okay. Yeah, was Look back to the L. Okay. Now we'll just go find the thing that affects the, the second letter. I 
closet. Okay. Now the last four. Okay, look for a T. Okay, great. Now the last three. Can't be that one. That's how you started, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Now, loop back. Okay, now we're looking for an O in the second to last slot. Just loop. Okay. Okay, great. There. <laughs> Elevator for action. Activated. Hooray! Great. All we have to do is not die. Because then we'll have to do that again. Uh huh. Be gone, Lou thought. <laughs> what if the room was red and claustrophobic? <laughs> right? Thinking they expected you to walk up and get a cutscene, but whatever, fuck them. Right. Trying to destroy all these robots before you land. Why is there a cardboard standee of Luther inside the, of that glass? Because they can't there? render him. It's too hard. Are they going to be like Brainiac in prison Luther? It was all Brainiac's idea to begin with. It's like, but none of this is real. This game. God. Hey, remember that Powerpuff Girls game that has, like, one song? Yeah. Yeah, that's so much better than this. It really is. I hope that thing doesn't explode and damage you. Right? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no, he's shooting you with his Brainiac rays. He is. Why did this one come back? I don't know. Oh no no. Oh no. She just did an insane amount of damage to you. Yeah, Finally a real challenge. Oh bye. I, I guess it can Bye. <laughs> bye? <laughs> I guess did I follow break, him? Maybe break Luther out? I guess. There's no way you follow him. That doesn't... I think I follow him, but I'm going to check these papers first. Whoa! Whoa. From Darkseid to Lex Luthor, I have the young Earthling, Jimmy Olsen. He will soon feel the force of my power. Oh, my God. How many other hints do we have? Oh, no. It deletes them when it we does. read them, and we only had it up for a frame. From Parasite to Lex Luthor. As planned, I have Professor Hamilton prisoner at Star Labs. I'll drain him dry on your say-so. Why do all these guys work for Lex Luthor? The computers in my spacecraft wow. have been programmed to keep all of us in this virtual world, says Brainiac. Lex Luthor. Again, Brainiac Ooh. writes, The bombs in the dam have been deactivated. Mala has not reported in. We must meet at your office to make new plans. New plans! Oh, thank God. They're just going to have the cutscene end. You have not found... What? I don't... It said turn back. You have not found all the clues? Did it say that? It said that. I'm going to make a safe slot in slot two in case something went horribly wrong there. Then there's no time to waste. I guess we're good. Oh no. I guess. I guess we're good. There's no time to waste after all. Uh. Why the fuck would Darkseid look work with Lex Luthor? Because he's a branded character that people recognize. Both of them are strong men being strong together. <laughs> hey Bob, why doesn't this game let us lower the render resolution but keep it widescreen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make the tiniest thing humanly possible on a CRT. It's a mystery. 
It would have been fucking great. You know, I constantly sit there and go, well, we would get more field of view vertically if we went to full screen instead of this widescreen. But then I think about, oh yeah, but it'll run even worse. Hmm. Because it would be rendering even more. We're cropping out black right now. Right. I cannot. Yeah. I cannot believe the notion that we may get a bad ending because of that. Yeah, what did we even miss? I, I don't even know. I think it was a glitch and it just popped up with the pop-up after we, you know, maybe it thought for a second we didn't read them all, but we did. And that's why the cutscene happened. But our model moved to a place that it thought. Right. It was like, you're leaving the window before the cut before the game's over. What are you doing? I'm going to put this message up. Right. And yeah. Yeah. Male, male pattern balding kings need to, gotta stick together. It never occurred to me to think Brainiac is bald. Cause no, no, de de dark side. Oh, dark side. I also okay. don't know if I've even seen him without the hat. I think he's bald without the helmet. Yeah, I don't even know if he. I think they showed if him he that. ever had hair, like if his race has hair. Oh yeah, I don't. Yeah, does his race even have hair? I assume they don't. Does Thanos have hair? I guess I'm gonna have to watch every MCU film again. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Um, like, did he have a sick mullet and I forgot? Un Unfact says, I checked the clip. The letter was from Metallo. Uh, and he said, it said he had Lotus. Did it say where he had Lois? <laughs> yeah, I also have no idea who the fuck Parasite is. Yeah. You got anything? No, unless it's one of those weird alien monsters. Yeah, I mean, they could have spent a whole episode of the series calling it Parasite, and I would have been like, yeah, it is a Parasite. Right. Lois at the warehouse. Thank you so much. And Metallo has Lois at the warehouse. Um, be a level. Cool. Yeah, hopefully it just plays these levels and it doesn't go, okay, where do you want to go? And then we choose the wrong one and they die. Right. <laughs> no! No, come on! No! Then there's no time to waste. <laughs> then there's no time to waste. Jesus. No! There's no time to waste. It turns around so fast. Parasite hat is some power stealing thing and I only know that from waiting in line for the Superman roller coaster, says Spiff. Huh. Yeah, that's, you know what, that's deserved. <laughs> <laughs> the game would honk if it could afford the space for the honk sound effect. Right? And if they'd finished it in any way and felt confident putting in a honk sound effect. <laughs> like, we tried to play it once, they crashed, take it out. <laughs> right? There's no way you can play more than one sound effect at a time. <laughs> And we're all caught up on using these to make wind sounds. <laughs> Can we need that many wind sounds? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh no, come on. Come on. It's okay, chat, now that I've failed this set of rings once, it's gonna just, I'm gonna take it down easy. I can't even slow me down. You know, they gave Superman a break, but I really haven't used it, like, at all. I used it in that one level uh, when I was freezing those things. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Superman's near a wall. He's probably just completely soft in midair and look at it. That seems like a normal response, right? Has anyone played the Super Mario Returns 360 game? I always had people try and tell me it was actually okay. But it's so hard to believe. Also, it's tied to that movie, which me and Dan were talking about how it isn't really a movie where Superman does much. So it's. They have yeah. to embellish a lot. Yeah, I really don't remember the name Superman on that. Apparently, Clark Kent, maybe? 
Yeah, it was Lock Clark Kenton. He saved some he saved some people from a, a, a like airplane, but I can't remember much else that he did. I don't think he felt Metallo, that's for sure. <laughs> Which I feel like he might in the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm too I'm too fascinated about <laughs> There's a 360 Superman game, right? In Superman Returns, it has Bizarro, Metallo, and Mongol. That the movie or the game? I assume the game. That's got to be the game, because that, there's no way that movie had three villains and I forgot them all. Destroy the five enemies. Oh no, they're shooting missiles at me. Because I'm pretty sure the main villain of the Superman movie, Superman Returns, is the profitability of a Superman movie being questionable and Lex Luthor. Those are like <laughs> the two main villains. Right. Lex wins. Jesus. Parasite then there's had, no time to barely waste. had any time to absorb. Oh no. Yeah, of course. Absorb what's happening over there before Lex wins appear. Mm hmm. Parasite is a purple guy that drains energy. He's not an alien or anything, just a guy. Mongol's the guy who runs War World. He looks like Tan Thanos. 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 Score! Um, okay, so obviously we need to turn the music off again. This is yeah, no, drive this is, everyone insane. This is ludicrous right now. Okay. Um, I'm up for watching that movie again. Yeah. You know, we've recently watched other superpower movies. We have. So it makes sense if we push that to the top of our to-do list. <laughs> It will also be frustrating seeing, uh, oh yeah, the, the, the reason Cyclops isn't in the third X-Men movie is because he was in this, but not even as Superman, just as somebody else. No, I thought he was Superman. No, I'm pretty sure he's the guy who talks Superman. Chat, please save my sanity right now. Tell me that Cyclops is in the Superman Returns movie to be Superman. He's the guy who gets kicked cut by Superman. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on, man. God, that's terrible. Like, obviously, X-Men 3 was going to be bad no matter what. Right, of course. But good fucking God. We could have at least saved us from that terrible scene. Right? Brandon Ruth is Superman in that. He's also the guy that plays vegan, the vegan in Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, they weirdly got a lot of people who either played or would play superheroes. Because uh, Chris Evans is in that movie as the skater. Right. And he goes on to do the, the world-known film push. And also Captain America. Um, so you got him and then the, the, the Superman Returns Superman both playing Ramona's exes, and that feels amazing. Mm -hmm. I do wonder with the, um... Oh yeah, and he was in Fantastic Four, wasn't he? Was he? What, yeah, what, he was, uh... Johnny Flame? Or... Yeah! Oh my god, I need to watch those oh movies at some point. Oh my god! That was a long time ago, I totally forgot! Ah. That's weird. It's weird to think about, man. Uh, but I, I wonder about the first guy, the first X, in that movie, if he was, like, known for anything, right? Like, if he had, like, oh, well, he has this background playing characters who are in Bollywood films, like, because he has a whole musical number and shit. Right. Um, like, if there was a whole thing with that, because obviously you choose Superman to be the vegan because he has Superman-like powers. Right. Um, I wonder... Yeah, I wonder if there's, like, some history with him playing in musicals, even, or something like that, because I didn't... F frankly, the first time I watched Scott Pilgrim, I didn't fucking know anyone other than... M M Michael Cera. Okay. I was like, no, don't say Neil Cece Riga. <laughs> don't do it. That's, that's a different guy. Different nerd. That's two. There's two, three more somewhere. 
Oh, there's one. I wish there were health restores somewhere too. That'd be nice. <laughs> Mouth Scott's. Scott sounds. Did you expect to see a stream where the highlight of it was brought to it by Mighty Number no. Nine? Didn't think so. Right? Okay, come on. Superman, grab him. Now don't blow up in my hands. Yeah, it's really crazy when Ramona calls Scott Pilgrim Scott Son. I could see Michael Sierra being like, well, you were learning Blake. I was learning the Blake. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Someone should have cast him for that exact thing. <laughs> it's kind of a fusion of his Twin Peaks character and, and Scott Pilgrim. Flex wins, by the way. Flex. Just so you know. There's no time to waste. Don't hawk us. <laughs> I mean, Heartless, Mouse Sounds is comprised entirely of copyrighted songs, so of course it's going to get claimed. Yeah. I do tend to play that for Tony Hawk streams. Right, because it's already doomed and never. Mm. I am really excited for the uh, Tony Hawk Marathon. I feel like that's coming up on us. Huh. Huh. Doo doo. I'm upset by how many different uh, notes were on that desk. Because that means there's like a level for each of those. And Do that's really upsetting to think about. Do you want to know how far you are? No. Okay. You know what? Sure. Okay, I bet you're gonna, does. You know I... what? You're, you're... We're going to make a million dollars. This game's going to end in 10 minutes and we're going to make $10 million. What if I don't want to tell you how far we are because I don't want to hear it? Fair. Okay. Bob and I have a great plan for getting the timer to go down, and it's called, I'm just going to do my two and a half hour workout routine live on Twitch <laughs> every day. So I hope you guys are into copyright claimed Beat Saber streams, pistol whip, and fitness boxing. <laughs> Sounds so hype, right? Okay. Okay, what's up, Chogoku? You do that, but it's flop swap technology. No. <laughs> You're gonna get hurt. I was talking. We were talking uh, in a Discord. Seahorse, me, and some other people. We were talking about the new meta on Twitch. Is where seahorse at us we're gonna we're gonna get a treadmill that's like flat you know one of those like standing like you put it in front of a standing desk types mm -hmm. and then we have to play clone hero whoa <laughs> walking on the treadmill <laughs> the new meta flop swap wasn't dangerous enough no you need to have this added danger of falling over <laughs> yes physical harm must be a legitimate threat right Chat votes for the attacks you use in Ring Fit. Hell no. Y'all motherfuckers would be insane and just be like, do squats again. Yeah. Do it again. Every time. Do it again. We want your ass to be huge. Do it again. I'm trying to remember what the deal is with planking. Like how that works in Ring Fit. Oh, got one of them been a while since I did planking. It got moved down the strength list of my moves. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, this one guy with a rocket launcher did all of that damage. I don't really know how it did that in one shot. Oh, it was Krypton. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, what if it sucked out your entire health bar? I'm like, what, what if it didn't, though? That seems absurd. You rest on your forearms 
and lift your ass. Oh, yeah! So, so like, that's actually just your core. Right. That wouldn't be as bad as, uh... That wouldn't be as bad as squats if it worked right. <laughs> like, the problem with planking actually was that it wouldn't register it correctly. Of course. Uh... Um, admittedly, after I lost some weight, the strap better attached to my thighs and stayed there and tracked. Then there's no time to waste. Oh, it's loaded up from here this time. Yeah, I feel reason. like it does it on our second try. Third. Oh, okay. Earlier it was our second. Okay, no, it so it's just inconsistent. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The time that it crashed in this time, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, this one guy. Like, he does so much damage. They didn't think to put in a reverse button for Superman. Get real. <laughs> you think Superman can't back that up? Get real. <laughs> Then there's no time to waste. I guess in virtual reality, rockets could kill Superman. I guess. It's not real reality. There we go. You ever just, you, you ever, you know, Superman's really known for clotheslining criminals while flying around. I mean, in the Snyderverse, yeah. It's like. Dude, the missile saber dash cancel Superman. Yeah. Probably. That's the only way they could be this strong. Yeah, I think... I the think they're using Rainy Turtloid's... Uh, the Rainy Turtloid weakness thing, where it's you using the shield in front of you and then sticking the saber through it so it literally hits every frame. Yeah, I think that he shoots out five missiles in a row and then they all become one missile. <laughs> you completely never say Superman. Lynch wins would be a really good emote. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start using this FFZ shit for extra Gigaboots emotes. Put our really, really fucking dumb ones there. <laughs> God, it's so easy to lose track. Oh, you're here. There you are. Yeah, it's really incredible that, uh, you know, Superman is trapped into this VR machine, and for some reason, no one's just stabbed him with a kryptonite knife or something. It's almost like the VR end of this came about because they realized what they made's fucking insane and makes no sense to happen in the real world, and the Warner Brothers wasn't happy with it, so they just said, well, it's not real. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're doing rings again. God, now imagine them all being the ring fit ring, yell, or s s s saying things to you as you Your pass through them. Your sweat looks beautiful! Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but press me against your abs. I wanted to clip that one for a stream, just because I find, I find that one's... The one where he becomes self-aware that he's a fucking creep is the funniest to me. Right, of course, like... He's not you said 10 say million it. fucking weird things, and this is the first time you've been like, okay, now this one's a little weird. Sit on me. I'm like, what? what is this accomplishing? He's like, you don't want to know. More than you could imagine. Bitty bitty. This this music is perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, there is a manic energy to it. There's there's a real mighty number nine game isn't done energy to Superman 64. <laughs> yes. Whoa! Whoa! What is happening? What was that? Okay, we have to follow this arrow to find the dimension we were in when that began. Oh my god. We're almost there. Okay, yeah, that is it. Yeah, okay. that's it. <sighs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do a terrible job. 
Period. Full stop. I think that covers it. Uh, he's real gay. Do, 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 do. Ring Crimson? <laughs> what does his dad. power do? <laughs> A lot. A lot. Would you like to explain? No. Would you care to elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Rocky with David Lynch's haircut, right? No. <laughs> this might be the most deranged insider baseball jokes <laughs> ever. Um. Anyway. Hey, did you know Chris Wolfhard is going to be playing Silent Hill 2 for the first time tomorrow? You should follow Chris Wolfhard, co-host of Big Think Dimension and cool guy. He does good streams, which I would watch way more of if I weren't regularly in a coma wow. on Saturday. Right. The infamous voice of, wow. <laughs> Chad keeps making jokes about Ring Fit and David Lynch, right? Okay. Smashing it together in all the ways they can think of. But the one that just occurred to me is like, yeah, he should just be one of the gurus. You know, they have like the arms, uh -huh. the core. They got the guru Andma, who's like a Zen grandma. Okay, yeah, um, makes sense. But my brain was like, yeah, he's a guru. It's like, what's your thing? And he's like, I drink black coffee. <laughs> and you're like, is that good for working out? And he's like, its effects are debatable. <laughs> Also, I'm a voyeur. <laughs> I like to watch while drinking coffee. You're like, oh, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, I'm leaving now. Feel free to go back to squeezing that ring in between your thighs. Blow the two North Narnies away. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Takes two steps backwards into a closet and just closes the closet. <laughs> You just stare at the closet and he's like, get to it. Come on. Go away, tornado. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? I feel like someone should rip go. this world and make a game in it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, someone should just Make the game that is. I I felt bad. Lex for... wins. What do you mean? Then there's no time to waste. There's no time to waste. Someone should put this in VR chat. Right. Yeah, I feel like this has to be in VR chat. I've seen weirder. I've seen more obscure gets. You know. Weirder things to rip from a video game and be like, you can walk it. And I go, why would I, though? So is this in the world? Like, is it part of the Quest 64 world? Like, is it integrated? <laughs> you don't want to put too much content in Quest 64. Then it might be unrecognizable. It's true. Let me be real, though. Uh, Quest, Quest 64 being in VR chat would be poggers. <laughs> That'd be dope. Because you could just walk around. This, you're not going to fly around. Yeah, no, you don't. There's nothing on it's ground It's not like level. walk about mini golf, right? You, you don't point the club and fly. Get ready. No, Beck. Oh, I'm so cool and my brain hurts. Ah. <laughs> Dr. Blackwell, what was wrong with him? I made everyone wrong as a joke. What? <laughs> also, I'm a racist. <laughs> yeah, we we knew that, but you know, we were doing one of those like my parents are racist and I have to forgive them for that sort of sort of deals. Okay, so I finally hit an episode of Dario where they're fleshing out said uh I think her name's Jody, the black character they were gonna give a spin-off. Right. Who I said in all the episodes I'd seen prior just seemed normal and medicated. Uh, but her and Daria go to a, a high school that is like for gifted kids. And they're basically like selling the idea of that to their parents. So Daria's parents and her parents are there. And Daria's mom is making conversation with her mom. And there are a number of just awkward exchanges where she's like, 
the other two guys start yelling, like the two fathers start yelling about welfare. She's like, I don't know. Welfare is really important. Sometimes hardworking people fall on bad times and it's important to help them get back, right? And then she says the name of uh, Jody's mom and Jody's mom's like, why do you think I would be for welfare? And she's just like, hmm. <laughs> Throws back a drink really hard. And I'm like, this episode, man. <laughs> this episode's killing me. <laughs> but no, they uh, they did flesh her out a bit in that episode. I'm wondering if they're going to do that more going forward. I still think it's insane of all the characters of Daria. Uh-huh. Like, admittedly, it would have been a fucking awful show if they gave it to the cheerleader, but it still just seems... It seems weird that they thought that was the... Like, you're making a new Daria make it Daria. That seems so obvious. The core appeal of Daria is Daria as the lens. Right, exactly. Like, you wouldn't make a new Beavis and Butthead and not have it be about Right, Beavis have it be anyone else in Beavis and Butthead. Right. It'd be like if the original Daria didn't exist, okay? And then, and then you made a new Beavis and Butthead, but it was about Daria. <laughs> right. But yeah, no, uh, Daria's really fucking good. You should all watch Daria. It's on Twitter. <laughs> Go check my retweets. No, no, no. You gonna watch Beavis and Butthead after Daria? I don't like Beavis and Butthead nearly as much as I like Daria. That's not to say I don't like Beavis and Butthead. Uh, I think every clip I've seen from the new show made me laugh really hard. Where, what was it? Beavis runs into a dude he thinks is Butthead. God. He runs Wait, into... this is Wait, a new this area. Is the thing... Thank you, game, for breaking in our favor for once. Right? But yeah, that new season seems fucking insanely funny. Like the part where Beavis runs into a person he's convinced is butthead, but ends up being some stranger guy who's the most annoying dude you can imagine as he just subjects him to songs he wrote and all sorts of other shit. It's really funny. Yeah, was that done after, before or after the new movie? Barely after. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, no, Daria's seriously great. Um, I don't think there's anything I've watched so far that aged poorly. I've watched a lot. Like, I'm almost done with season two. Which, season two is the season I was working through, not season three. thought it was a season three. Yeah, I mean, if you do a spinoff, you would think it'd be Jane. Uh, that's the uh, red. Okay, I was yeah. like, there's no way that's Daria's sister. No. Like, who would who would want that? No. Oh, all the way up here? Oh, no. Please don't fail me. Okay, fine. Yeah, Arts and Crafts was a really good episode. Uh-oh. Uh, what was it? Jane has to do a painting for depicting uh, life in high school as a part of a fair they're going to do, like a, you know, an arts festival thing. Uh-huh. Uh, as a classroom assignment thing. So she gets Daria to help her. And Daria and her make it about, like, a cheerleader who's uh, anorexic or bulimic. I think she's bulimic. Um, so the painting is the cheerleader looking in the mirror. She's very pretty, but then the poem at the bottom clearly depicts that, right? Right. That she is uh, bulimic. Um, and the the school board's like, it's such a pretty photo, and she's so pretty and happy. Can you change the poem? <laughs> and they're like, no, the whole point is that society's expectation of her to be pretty makes her miserable. And that it's actually really sick under the surface. And they're like, yeah, but it's really sad. Can you change it? <laughs> She's like, no. So the teacher just changes it anyways. And the principal submits it to the fucking art festival without their con their consent. It's really good. It's a really good episode. I, I worry about our effect on the world, Bob. Yeah, I agree with Agro when he said, I wish I had less visibility on what our effects on the world is. Uh-huh. Oh, no. 
Destroy the dark shadows in the pedestrian's way. Okay. Which way are you going, lady? I guess to the left, because there's a shadow on the left. There's a shadow down there, yes. Let's um, get him. Oh. Oh my god. Somebody said Jindaria. Oh my god. That's awful. You no. leave Daria alone. Maybe we could just charisma check this pedestrian to go a different way. Wouldn't it be funny if that dude took more than one hit? That oh, what if the box is in her way and she's gonna die to the box? They said enemies. They sure did. I'm gonna trust they said them dark on shadows that. specifically, but uh. Masumi says, I'm getting some hilarious comparisons here, watching a stream of Spyro flying through rings and Superman flying through rings. Yeah. Clearly, I did something to upset Sara Lene, because why else would she stream Spyro on the day I'm live? So that way I can't watch it. Wait, what if I just watch the stream while... Well, oh, wait, then I'll drop frames. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I, I seriously can't recommend Daria enough. Go back and watch and just start at season two. Fuck season one. Fuck starting at the beginning of things. That's oftentimes when they're their worst. I don't know. I started episode one. That seemed fine. I just... The batting average for episode ones of shows is really low. Uh-huh. Oh, God. She is getting caught in the box. Okay. It's not killing her. I just need to get it out of her way. Yeah, in fact, if anything, the box kind of helps you because it gave you ample time to deal with the last two. It's true. You land on her head and kill her. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Well, you know, I bet Spyro doesn't have sassy walking pedestrians. Not like Superman 64 does. <laughs> All right, let's go. Doesn't even bother with text. What was, what was that again, Chris? Eight hours of range? Starting to believe it. Right? Starting to believe it. Uh, uh. Well, when you make a full city in 3D uh -huh. and have nothing to do with it, uh huh. what else do you do other than put rings in it and, like, go? We sure are really good at making big environments and really bad at filling them with compelling content. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how that was a problem all the way back then. Uh-huh. It's amazing how Mario Odyssey doesn't have that problem. Right. It has multiple environments that are describable as big city. Like, even the underwater thing is technically just another big city. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is a lot like Big Hero 6 in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, San Francisco. Yeah. Oh. Don't make me sad. I don't want to think about that again. Why is it going Bye. underground? <laughs> it's just all my base. <laughs> I they moved the ring without thinking about what the heck they were doing. And now I'm just like, sure would be cool if we got like a super done version of Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, that doesn't have such a weird post hoc stitching of the ending uh -huh. via the DLC. Like, so we have one true route through the game. That'd be neat. That is smooth. Um, and San Francisco was done. And maybe we did enough with the other environments so that way, you know, Pirates wasn't just unbelievably the best world. Right. And it's not even close. That's Kingdom Hearts 4? No, that's a different game. Right? That is, in fact, a different Kingdom Hearts. That's how that works. <laughs> you see the number. That's how you know. That's, that is not the same game. And thank God. Maybe Kingdom Hearts 4 will be flash. Will have flashback cutscenes. That no. wouldn't do any of the things I just requested. Yeah, I was like, why would I want that? Well, you can see flashbacks of a better version of a game than what they shipped. That's not what I'm asking for. But yeah, no, legit. I, I, I would totally buy a... Like, if they did another version of Kingdom Hearts 3 that was like, hey, this is like the true cut. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Maybe not at 60. No. Probably wait for it to drop in price a bit.
This is the worst one of these yet. How did they make it this bad? It's made with pure malice. Yeah, I was going to say, like, maybe maybe Titus is the only game development company made by former Nazi scientists. Maybe they're just specked into human cruelty. <laughs> yeah, I thought that they made a bunch of other really bad games. I recall that being the case, but I couldn't tell you any of them. Right. I mean, I could. I could look it up, but off the top of my head, I can't. the show but do watch your streams the only bleach character i can recognize is jim Caria. this is your mark on the world <laughs> you know to to avoid jim Kari, you should just read bleach <laughs> or play any of the games <laughs> yes he's, he stays it far away you don't want to know who Yoshi is or what she looks like either. So like, don't, don't, don't watch the show. Also, uh, hey Bob. Hey, what's up? I have some news about that Bubsy game we're playing later. Is it made by Titus? No. Okay. That's Allegedly, good. Titus has been dead for a very. Yeah, of course. Um, Protect the skaters from the six enemies. At least they told you how many there were. Uh, allegedly, seemingly, Bubsy is voice acted by the guy who does the English dub Urahara. Oh my God. Okay. And Gein. Which is the same dude. Huh. Which is weird. Can you do that glitch again, then but like no get us out of this level? No. Full. Do it again. Oh. What happened to the flop swap? This was never a flop swap stream. So you do it once and, <laughs> and it's like every stream forever. And I'm like, no, one game, then another sometimes. And they're like, I don't understand. I guess that just shows that uh, the, the rest of the demons got to be all one one big flop swap. Oh my god! Yeah, we have five games hooked up at once, and you guys just get to swap between them. You've done it like four of them. Yeah, but it started happening after once. Man, let me look at that list real quick, just to imagine, right? right. Just, just to like, imagine how nightmares that would be. True horrors. I <laughs> just, ah, then we hit the goal. Switch from X-Blades to Earthworm Jim 3D. <laughs> we hit the goal, switch to Ride to Hell. We hit the goal, switch to Vampire Rain. We hit the goal, switch to X-Blades. <laughs> that would be truly deranged. Yeah, that's terrifying. It would cause a lot more simulation, though, than flying through rings for eight hours. <laughs> yeah, and for us as streamers, maybe too much stimulation to keep up for... Possibly. 15 hours. Right, because none of those are super short games. Imagine how fast you'd go through the demon pit, though. Slower than normal. Because we would lose time switching and being confused from the switching. <laughs> and something inevitably breaking. What? In hard streams, nothing ever breaks. Everything's bulletproof. Yeah, that's why we're here on the mister. Yeah. Because everything worked fine. No one inverted and became green spiky blobs. The 20 game flop swap. Well, I can tell you what. That ain't the demon pit. <laughs> but it is maybe a thing. Damn near, anyway. But we're not talking about that yet. We have a lot of plans. And unlike Jinkario, we actually do execute them on a long enough timeline. <laughs> Look, Jinkario would have gotten to it if he had another 12 episodes. Give him another 12. He's cool. It just needs 12 more, man, just a hit. Yeah. Just a small hit, a little loan. <laughs> he might ask for the same loan again after 12, 12 episodes pass. <laughs> yeah, it's really? Unclear. No way. <laughs> That's strange, because I remember giving him 12 more episodes just 12 episodes ago. <laughs> um, just one more outro. Just one more plan, bro. Trust me. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, Silvermane, uh, that's the way it crashed on the N64. We were using the EverDrive. I don't know if it was a problem with contacts on the pins or what, but to save time, we just changed to the Mister because I figured it probably had a higher chance of succeeding. So something about him saying solve my mace Superman always just makes me think he's the one screaming at the table with the jigsaw made of only two pieces. Because <laughs> these aren't... Like, it's... I, I don't think it should qualify as a maze. Do you even... Yeah, okay, you do. God, it's so fast. What's up? I'm a skater. Man, it gets... He gets killed so no fast. Time to waste. And it's like do another five minutes of rings. What a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What a fucking nightmare. We should have just done this parallel to me doing the 24-hour Tony Hawk Marathon. And Jesus. You get to see me in a box in the corner doing six skating stuff while Bob plays Superman 64. Bam, bam. Jesus. Okay, I'm a professional. What if we just stop here and watch the Avery Jet episode? That's the same, right? No. I wish it was. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead in this long play to see when this level ends, how far we'll be in this game. <laughs> There's a reason we put a baby game at the tail end of this game. Right. Concerning. I can't remember. Did the AVGM beat this? I think so. You need me? Uh, One moment. On. I'll be right back. This is it. After after I uh, finish this set of rings, it should I should respawn at the skater. If the game works in any consistent manner. It could just be completely random, though, and be like, no, you don't get that anymore. Go. Just another two and a half minutes. that ring. No. Two more. I don't see how they can actually make these set of rings harder. Like, how do we go up from here? This is like the hardest one. No, this is Lex is gonna win. Okay, luckily Lex did not win there. Okay, here we go. Throw this immediately. Stop. Attaboy, Bob. Just start blowing. This tornado always gets them. We need to stop it right now. There we go. We got the tornado. That was the most clear and present danger to them. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. Superman. We gotta work together on this. 
Don't bomb the skaters, please. I think I just threw the skater. Or I think I just threw the minesweeper. Is the tar a danger to the skater? I don't know. He might be. Let's get the car out of here. I don't trust it. That seemed like all the enemies. There's no... Skaters? You... <laughs> Solve my riddle, Superman. It just cuts to the fucking TikTok format of Superman's on the left with the fucking square holes and circle <laughs> pegs and he puts it in the square hole and Lex is like, No, what? No. No. <laughs> God's God. having a meltdown. God, how is there more? Uh, because circles are free and easy to put. It's like a video game. Except for it has more in, in common with waterboarding. Right? I wonder what David Lynch's favorite game is. I bet David Lynch detests video games. Yeah, there's a good chance. I, I think with a personality like his, that could be in there. I don't know, though. I don't think I've ever heard the man comment on video games at all. Damone says, I really hate this song, man. Do you want the Superman 64 music back? <laughs> Sounds like a yes. David Lynch is a crusty old man. I could absolutely see him hating video games. Yeah, but he was like young in an era where he could have liked video games. Once again, my grandfather, when he was alive, like loved video games. Like he he, he was the one like constantly running Dragon Quest one through four and like all those RPGs and uh, stuff. So like, you know, and he, Definitely older than David Lynch. Like, yeah, he was definitely born before David Lynch. Yeah, John Carpenter loves video games. Right. I think he was pretty directly involved with the Twin Peaks VR thing, but I'm not sure. Excuse me, the what? Is that for like a Japanese theme park or something? <laughs> Every time I hear Japanese theme park VR, I just think of the one where they put like a plank of wood on the ground. Uh huh. And the person in the headset thinks they're walking on a plank of wood at the top of a building. So when you look down, it's like a huge drop in the city street and they get fucking freaked out. So I was trying to imagine that, but Agent Dale Cooper's on the street beneath you doing this. <laughs> My grandma had a top loader NES and played Zelda constantly. Mige, I cannot believe smart detection detected that you posted a link, a thing I allow in my streams and went, uh, you gonna allow this? I'm like, yeah, I think I'll let this person one moment. Let me just click this. Following since June 30th, 2019, post a link. I think I'll let that happen. Superman wins. Thank you, Totally Rosemary, for the five months of subs. Bob. Yeah, what's up? We are two and a half hours. Feel free to replace that save. Two and a half hours into this game. Okay. We are one third done with this game. This is going to take eight hours if we're lucky. Lois' investigation in the Lex Luthor's plans has gone too far, and Lex has sent Metallo to take her out of action. Find Lois before it's too late. Luckily, she has all these shadow guards. This I looks guess. Like a job for Superman. What was that, Superman? Uh, probably there's no time to waste. I'm now looking at this Twin Peaks VR thing. It came out in 2019. Ah shit, I gotta I gotta review this down now. I gotta play this for the next I guess you do too, Bob. Don't try and rescue me before you stop them. Okay, Lois. Why? Alright, Lois. I'll kill them all, Lois. You said to do it. That means it's morally just. Is this a gun? Can I get Superman a gun? 
a box of guns. I don't want to be mean. This game looks like shit. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, similar to games you've played. Okay, go on. Phasmophobia. Sure. Okay, VR. Okay. Spooky. Okay. Arkham Knight on PC. Yeah, piece of shit. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I want to play it. Just to know. Right? It might even have important lore. Holy Rosemary says, new Suicide Squad update seems cool. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. We finally can play Superman. That guy there says, Dan, I'm sure one guy worked kind of hard on this. Be nice. Matt says, well, Dan, you're the specialist in bad games. Bad VR games. Ah, uh, yes. I do keep falling on that sword. You do. How much is it? I'm, I'm, $10. Okay. It could be a lot worse. It could. I'll warn you now, it has a lot of the return stuff because it's 2019. Yeah, of course. It has the weirder return stuff like the theater room with the golden orb or whatever and the weird monogram speaker okay. like, nozzle. And... Great. So if I were to guess, if I were to guess based on just glancing at that trailer, they're going to use that as a sort of hub to bring you between vignettes mm. in Twin Peaks. The funny thing is they showed the sheriff's office iconic location right and then they so showed a place that just looked like half-life 2 level and i'm like what is this so i don't know do you think you are more of an expert of bad vr games or seventh gen games no one goes back to second one absolutely yeah i mean for fuck's sake aggro and zeon both insisted we invented legendary <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I can move with the forklift. Alright. And destroy it. Superman refuses to have get his ass get alone in the dark 2000 aided. Right. Lois, is are they all dead? Is are you happy yet, Lois? He gets to be 3D. Lex doesn't get to be 3D. Oh, oh, I didn't notice you up here. Where are you going? Oh, cool! It's a skate tape, right? You're gonna you're gonna collect the tape and get some points. Chicka boil! <laughs> it didn't even put up text. What or was make it? a sound, right? What's in here? Man, that last area with Lex Luthor's office was way more, like, intelligible. Like, I could c collect what it wanted me to do at any point, whereas this is really like, what's happening? There's a big room. At the same time, though, connecting all the different areas with elevators that didn't even really unlock left to right uh -huh. was a weird choice. It was a and weird choice. And that by the uh, front desk with the giant wall behind it was another weird choice. Right. But, yeah, the parsing this level's ideas is a little... Yeah, it's like a giant, just, warehouse. They sh sure made a giant area. Do you think Superman pretends to hurt when he gets shot to make the criminals the feel better? Maybe. That would make any sense. Zone four. Just like Dark Souls. You have random dudes hiding behind the corners to shoot you when you walk by. You're right. That's just like Dark Souls. I don't know. I think it's more like Dragon's Dogma, too. No. So is the laser kryptonite? How's it keeping you out? Yes. What's Mario like? Put it on. Reminder, you could walk through the wall. You're Superman. <laughs> no, Lois will die. Or shame me. I don't know which. You keep going up to Lois and What's she's like, billions like must die. 
You're like, Lois, let me save you. She's like, no. Force field deactivated. You deactivated what? it with your toes. What? Bye, camera. Oh, hey, it joined us again. That's cool. What force field did I deactivate? Oh, the lasers in that hallway. Maybe. Yeah. So you gotta go to the right. I need to see if I can kill him. Okay, you don't, literally. Well, Lois won't won't let, love me if I don't kill him. <laughs> I, be, I bet she, she Okay, doesn't. it was Lois Lane's force field. I thought it was glass. Thank you, Superman. I found a Lex Luthor smuggling weapons into Metropolis. Oh, my God. They're hidden somewhere in this warehouse. I'll let you know if I learn anything more. My name is Lois. Help, Superman. It's a trap. What? Lois? <sighs> Where'd you even go and get trapped? Bob, we watched two trailers on Amazon Prime after <laughs> that other movie we watched. We did. One of them was You Can't Trust Women Derogatory. I can't remember what these movies are, okay? Right. And the second movie was You Can't Trust Women Empowering because it was about two women uh, scamming dudes because uh, they're dudes and one of them tra it was training the other one to scam dudes. The first one was just genuinely You Can't Trust Women. Oh, that's right. It was... Uh... Access card to Area 3. Okay. Uh, one of them... Keanu had, Reeves it, 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 and it, teenage girls, college age girls tricking him and then kidnap taking him hostage in horror movie right because it was so, eli raw so we watched that one first and we were like wow that that trailer the theme was don't trust women because they said they needed to come in and use a phone then we watched the second movie that literally the text of the movie was women be scamming parentheses empowering yeah eli roth yeah uh-huh uh that movie sucked yeah i can tell from space right that thing didn't even look like a real movie. I could take this camera we're using the, on this live stream and go film something that looks infinitely more like a film. It's not hard. Zone four, where's zone three? Are you zone three? Yes, you're zone three. But anyways, yeah, it was really weird because we only watched two trailers. So it was really weird that both of them in a row were that. <laughs> Especially since the movie we watched didn't even like lead into that. You are trapped, Superman. Okay. Okay. I got a kryptonite meter. Is that Metallo inside of the glass inside of the lasers? No, the the laser side. That looks like it might be Metallo over there. I don't so know what, that what the fuck is. Oh, that's Lois Lane. Lane in a control panel. From the front, it kind of combined them into the same silhouette. Uh huh. It's gonna be really depressing if you. Test room opened. You ever just trap the good guy in a room with controls and then get upset when he uses them? What test room? I don't know. Am I supposed to leave now? Oh, we did open up this. Oh my God. Uh, there we go. Time for Dan to make his own unofficial or official unofficial Nintendo documentary. Oh. At least the combat's fully realized. Oh yes. Go on, free her. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Hilarious. You're uh, you're 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 so own. Kryptonite deactivated. That's good because oh, I was great, about to but die. But we need to like free her, and we have eight Area seconds. Open. Force field deactivated. I mean, she's she's free. She's free. What, what do you want? Something blew up. I hope the Lois Lane's okay. Oh, she seems fine. She has flashed up. She got out just fine. Luther has created an assembly line to build ex Lexoskel Lexo 5000. Thousand? What is that? It's controlled by a computer somewhere nearby. I'm going for to investigate for it. Oh no, they're back. Please help me. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I see them. Um. So, I had recently a a thing I thought was the oh hell thank God yeah that's a chaos emerald oh it's kryptonite oh okay 
Anyway, um, I had something confirmed by some translator notes. Like, there was localization notes for uh, Undertale being brought to Japan. Okay. You remember when, um... Oh, man. Why am I so bad with words? Papyrus. He talks about... The, uh, Sans is explaining that his brother got a Halloween outfit that was supposed to look cool. Uh-huh. And then he just kept wearing it, and he called it his battle body or whatever. Yeah. Now, when we were playing that, I was like, is this an X3 joke? Because I feel like it is. Turns out it is. They, they reference the exact same line for the Japanese version of X3. To make sure it was also a direct verbatim reference to that. I was like, awesome. Because, you know, very few things I feel like refer to battle bodies in English. Yeah, so no, that's, uh, that's real strange. Also... Let's be real. The real reason that stands out at X3, his battle body could barely move. <laughs> he couldn't move his limbs. He's just, like, huge. Right, because that's like that's uh, Sigma's form, Yeah, right? that's Sigma's battle body, where it's, like, the tiny head on the giant body, and he can right. barely move anything. It's really good. Looped around back down here. Oh, Zelda CDI. Yeah, we, I mean, I was just talking about Shettykin. Someone should rip the city from this and put a real video game in it. Right. One was like 5,000 cent when I'm like being soft. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a big mo monster, a big robot in here now. Are you, are you a Lexo Scout 5000, sir? He might be. He's so big, though. I don't know. Y'all looking back on Orphan right now thinking, man, that was such a polished game. It sure was. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> you don't... You don't just have your giant robot look like it tripped when you kill it. That's not... They do. <laughs> the Man of Super! Is Lois Lane still over here? Back behind the glass? Oh, yeah, Bob, I, I ate a total of 2,076 calories yesterday. It's over. That does sound over. pretty over. Never been more over. And I didn't get to exercise because podcast day. Right. Camerack says, Bob, here's $20. Draw the Lexoscale Series S. Man. I need to do a... Oh. oh, that sure was a guy right around that corner shooting you. Man, it is just like Dark Souls. The funny thing is, though, I had less experience with that in Dark Souls, and I feel like more experience it with in Jedi Fallen Order. I feel like Jedi Fallen Order did that a couple times and stuck out more to me. Area 2 access opened. Yay. Oh, good. More naked, areas. Especially in this temperature. That's, That's true. true. Guys behind the corner shooting you is Duke Nukem 3D thing. <laughs> jumping at jumping you out of nowhere is more of a Dark Souls 2 thing, says Satin Log. Um But I feel like I need to do an episode of the Rant is Go. Oh my God. How, how frustrating it's Something been. Filter. Watching it's, the downfall yes, of Xbox and everyone pretending everything was fine until after Starfield. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, they acted like no, nothing's gone wrong until then. And and then they started blaming the Xbox One event. It's like, oh, we're just not going to talk about how they have been limp dicked for seven years now. Right. Hey, guys, name an important, wrong. impactful, critically well-received Xbox game in the last seven years. And if you're reaching for Gears 5, might I recommend you don't. Chris says Gears 5. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, that. I don't think I even reviewed that well. And if it did, it didn't sell a single copy. Yeah, I think Gersman had one of the most uh, positive reviews of that. And he gave it an 8. Because it was 4 stars, I think, out of 5. I don't know if that's what you Halo want. Wars 2. Was that in the last 7? Even that feels like it was slightly before then. Even if it was, no one cared. <laughs> Marmosh just says, Halo 3, I'm not in my 30s. You can't make me. <laughs> I can't make you in your 30s. Hi-Fi Rush. I wish Hi-Fi Rush was nearly as impactful as people act like it is. I feel like most people, like broadly gamers, right? Don't know what the fuck Hi-Fi Rush is. Because they just stealth dropped it. Right. If this is the fucking solution. Yeah, there's no hint to do this, but there but are it boxes. Is reacting. It is reacting. And, and there are enough. They just enough, even. I got the Lowe's Lane locker unlocked. <laughs> Thank you, Superman. We can leave this dreadful place now. Can we have done that before? Like the time eyes. Not X-ray vision, just <laughs> eyes. eyes. He just grows a bunch of eyes on his body. Like he's he A. Remember when he A had the creepy eye thing? Yeah. Yeah. That was the thing for some reason. They quickly were like, never again. <laughs> You know, oh no! Oh my god! You you swing your arm at him, and his head connects with your arm and continues with it. And the rest of his body doesn't. Like you just grabbed his head, right? Any more dudes? Okay. Help, I'm being attacked. Where? Why what? is the timer already running? Where did you... Where do you even This come game from? is unbelievable. Yeah. Lois? Please. Please. Faster. Uh, this is an available username says they got the cat cosplay guy to do an ad for the Hi-Fi Rush PS5 port. If that's not an impact, I don't know what it is. Hey, Bob. Who the fuck is the cat cosplay guy? I have no idea. I have no idea. It turns out there are a lot of cosplayers. One's a cosplay is cats, even. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, if you're cosplaying a cat, generally, we don't... Like, there are better terms than cosplayer <laughs> that exist. So there's got to be... His cats are the cosplayers. Okay, there we go. Uh, he doesn't cosplay cats. He has cosplaying cats. There we go. Anyways. But yeah, uh... Gears 5 has been the best candidate that's been said in chat. Seven years. In that amount of time, Sony and Ship, The Last of Us Part 2, Days Gone, Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima, Ratchet Clank, Rift Apart, Returnal, Astro's Playroom? My god, how? Demon Souls Remake. Where do you come At from? least the timer stops every time you fly out. You know, you don't have to kill him completely in that right. amount of time. Well, hopefully you don't deck Lois and kill her. Okay, that's good. 
um, God of War Ragnarok and God of War 2018. <laughs> so I guess then also Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh-huh. But these are equivalent companies. And of course they have a ton of exclusives. Whoa! Superman. I hope I hope that guy was in it just magically. <laughs> I shoved him into the ground. Well, he can't attack anyone down there at least. Hey Superman. I know it's been a very female empowering moment to let Lois walk out on her own. But what if we fucking held her with our super arms and got the fuck out of here? We got him! <laughs> oh my god, I'm shocked you actually... He yeah, just we're spawns staring. in front of him. We're staring in front of her, yeah. Right at him! <laughs> Please. Please, Superman. You can solve this. Okay, people are saying Forza Horizon 4 and 5. I feel like those didn't do amazingly. Oh, she can run, but only. Oh, she... that is that is a very derogatory run animation. Yes, it is. <laughs> what are you, the Sui Code and Four Man character? Lane detected? No, lead detected. Like bullets. Oh, so I need to use the, I use to use my X-ray vision and find the lead, or she'll eat it and die. I guess I don't know. It's probably in one of those two boxes. Are you? Are you... Oh, you are Metallo. Man, there's no way to hit a button and make that disappear, huh? By what? By one of the two boxes that has light in it. What? There it is. It's that one. Are you happy, Miss Lane? But yeah, I think outside of Gears 5, Forza 4 and 5 are probably... Uh, Horizon 4 and 5 are the best candidates. I still don't think that... I feel like only 4. Like, like 5 was less well-received. Yeah, yeah, 5 was even less That's impactful. That's how it seems. That's, I mean, as someone who tried it, it even seemed lesser than the prior entry. Just right. from watching stuff. Okay. Okay. Let's uh. Let's see. Then there's no time. I think I did pretty now. well with that, guys. What do you think? I don't think I even I died once. I think you once. did. I think you aced that. It was just an insanely long level. Yeah. But you know, even in this long play, that's how it ends up. These levels are just intensely long. But yeah, I think that's fucking insane. I think it's fucking insane we're acting like these two companies have been performing anywhere near the same. Right. And you know our stance on Big Think is that we think Nintendo is doing a way better job than Sony. Right. Because they have a variety of titles, and those titles are a lot more polished when they ship a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Because um, frequently they just let them sit in a bank for six months. <laughs> which is pretty, honestly, pretty smart. Um... So we are nearing, but not quite. So don't get too excited. Nearing halfway done. Nice. Um, yeah, and so that moment at the Series X launch when the shit just didn't work and the Xbox itself didn't feel like a new experience, like it didn't feel like a new console at all. They didn't put any new features in the controllers other than a capture button, which I believe they did before that launch even. Like Maybe, they put yeah. it in the Elite. Right, yeah, I think um, Elite 2 or something. So had even it. that wasn't like new functionality for the console. Um, that really was the moment where I felt like it's over. It's yeah. fucking done. They're not trying. They tried to ship. Like, and leading up to that, they tried to ship a Halo game they should have known was nowhere near done, but they needed everyone in the world to yell at them, this is not done. And even still, we had a couple people who tried to pull this. You know, as Agro has mentioned, it's a, it's a problem in political coverage um, where you have to give equal time to both sides. You have to pretend both sides are just as good as each other. Right. 
we had a lot of people who do that hardcore in mainstream journalism outlets acting like Halo was fine and that it was toxic gamers. And it's like, no, you're blind. That was nowhere near done. Chris says, man, it's a good thing you didn't commit to my suggestions. I assume talking about stitching Earthworm Jim. Yeah, to, Earthworm uh, this. It's where the four dark shadows, dark shadows die. It evil dies tonight. Oh, 343 is terrible at Halo. Like, bad at Halo is such an understatement. Yeah. They don't get what is appealing about Halo. And I don't know how much of that is the people in charge there versus what Microsoft wants to do. You know, like, you can't really blame Sony Ben for the fact they're making a live service game right now. That's definitely more of a, of like, main PlayStation HQ problem. Right. Jim Ryan, you fuck. I'm gonna start sounding like Mike Sequoza. I'm gonna be playing fucking Sony games 20 years from now. Jim Ryan, you fuck! <laughs> Why is there a fucking battle pass? Ah! <laughs> they should move Sony HQ back to Japan. Honestly, not the worst idea. Yeah, it turns out uh, Silicon Valley causes brain rot. Just yeah. being there. And you literally your saw mind. it happen so quickly. Yeah. Because when, what year did they move that? Uh, they only moved the HQ halfway through 8th gen. So yeah. somewhere around 2016, 2017. Yeah. Something like that. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. It may have been even later than that. Um, fucking crazy. Does Jim Ryan have a crush on Halo or something? Uh, he comes from the Europe end of Sony and, you know, they're tight with Gorilla. That's it. Yep. Here's how bad things have gotten at Sony. I can't even complain about Horizon games. Like, I can't. I can't. Because the future looks so bad that I'm like, oh, at least Horizon games will probably be games. Not all of them. Yeah, I can't complain more about Horizon until I announce those off-brand Horizon ones. Like, the the spin-offs. Then I'll be plenty angry. <laughs> Yeah, I, um... Whoa, 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 why, why? Just make a light sizzling sound. That's the sound of Superman not solving puzzles correctly. Right. This Mighty Number no. 9 soundtrack is so fitting. It's hard for me to get motivated to change the music when it's this fitting. It's so weird the state Halo's in right now, but that's like everything at Microsoft. Mm-hmm. How's Perfect Dark? God, I'm just now thinking about the Halo season two. How's the show? How, how's Ever Wild? How's any Microsoft game that's announced that wasn't from ZeniMax, aka Bethesda? Yeah, it is. How's Fable? Hmm. I'm sure this year at at the uh -huh. summer. At, during uh -huh. the summer game events, like oh, yeah? for E3, we're going to see a fable. It's going to look like a playable video game now instead of a series of cutscenes. Uh, we're going to know. We're going to see the incredibly 7th gen AAA treatment of if we see gameplay by the end of the year, it's just the giant sequence. Uh huh. When she's in the giant's den and she has to like do squeeze throughs and <laughs> hide and quick time events and very specific <sighs> scripted things. And we're, we don't know what it's going to be yet. But she's gonna either just talk nonstop to Quip, or she's gonna have like a fairy buddy that she talks to nonstop. And so that trailer is going to be acid on my face. Destroy the three mind droppers. This again? All right, man. You say so. Oh, yeah, no, Marmosius. That's the thing I've been saying for a long time of, like, Rare had good games in the 360 era. Microsoft only really started to suffer in the last couple years of the 360. And even then, compared to now, their output in the early Xbox One era was better. Right. It really did feel like, oh, yeah, the end of the 360 hit with that lull because they moved over to One. And then... 
that era was also poisoned by Connect and yes. microtransactions. If you removed both of those and just left the games that were made, it would have been fine. But somehow Microsoft thought the launch titles for a system, historically some of the best selling games of an entire console's lifespan, those won't then sell well no enough. We need microtransactions. We need to nickel and dime people on $60 games. Yep. They fucked up Dead Rising. And then, you know, as much as I want to blame Capcom for that, no, it is true. A lot of X Xbox game studios did help in the development and steer the development of that. Um, and it's even more apparent when the next game comes out and it's being headed by Dead Rising 4, that is. It's being headed by people who are former Xbox Game Studios people who worked on 3. Jesus. And it's like, what a nightmare. So there's a timeline where that didn't happen. And maybe Dead Rising went okay. Yeah. Because 2 was fine. I, I don't think 2 was a bad game. If anything, it's more of the same from 1 with a different protagonist, which is fine. Compared to things that happen in games franchises, that's fine. Wait, what microtransaction in Xbox launch titles? Xbox One launch titles have microtransactions. Did all they secretly them. push for them in full price games? Yeah. I mean, it's literally all of them. Yeah, it wasn't a secret either. It was just up front. Like, basically, you and, boot the game and, and it asks you to do it. And for some reason, not a single game journalist blew them up over it. Yeah. If Sony had done that, at any point in time, they would have been blown into outer space. Which is, to be to be clear, the correct thing to do. Yeah. Because those tra those microtransactions are bad. The game, like unlike the Resident Evil 4 situation, that game is literally balanced. Like Crimson Dragon is literally balanced around the player will want to buy microtransactions. Because you know, in a lot of shmups, you eventually get you build up more continues or whatever, so that way you can make it further into the game. They literally didn't have a system like that in Crimson and Dragons, so that way you were reliant on getting the microtransaction continue points or whatever. And that's fucking vile for a game that came out in ninth, eighth gen. And costs like $20 or whatever. It's it's so unreal. And it's like every title. It was the fourth save was the Crimson Dragon. Um to be Even fair, Rise. We, we haven't and Rise. Rise also did it. Which I'm curious how much that impacted it. Because we just you know, they made those microtransactions free, so we just got them all. Right. And they only did that a few years ago. No one think this was a six months after launch people complained, so we fixed it. Um But I have to wonder how much that would have affected the gameplay balance for that if we hadn't mm -hmm. gotten those. Um, I think the only one I'm not sure that had it. What, some Kinect game, maybe? Yeah, I was like, the Kinect sports games, because I can't remember anything in Titanfall. And that was obviously second party, right? Like, right. they didn't even... They just got exclusivity on that. That wasn't even, like... We own Titanfall. No. I leave and come back after two hours, and you're still flying through hoops. What is it's Superman 64? <laughs> what yeah. Do what, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Yeah, I'm trying to think of. Uh, like, we don't have enough experience with the uh, Xbox One Connect games, you know? Right. Titanfall's a dope game. I totally get getting an Xbox One for Titanfall. At launch, though, I just feel bad for you because that console was $500 at launch. Which is insane. People talk about the PS5 and Series X are expensive for $500. It's like, actually, they're stellar hardware. At <laughs> least, you know? The original version of the Xbox One is terrible for $500. Yeah, because $100 of that was the terrible over, camera. That... Over $100 of that. Because reminder, the specs are so much lower than the PS4 mm -hmm. that the manufacturing cost was undoubtedly much lower than the PS4. Man, you'd think that they would have gotten more like a sense of design sensibilities 
like to learn that that might be important after how much the first one of those bombed too because that's where the the it's a vcr with no distinguishing features started bob do you not realize like the xbox one s shows that they understood that and then they just decided they didn't need to do a new design ever again because from the 1S forward, oh. they're all just that. Right. Which seems insane. Which, I mean, to be clear, at least the Series X has a very different design from the Series S. Sara, how was Spyro? I trust that you didn't beat it. Nah, she totally beat it. I hope she didn't beat it. I pray she didn't beat it. Man, that's the same gen as this. I was thinking earlier how Soul Reaver is the same gen as this game. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Oh, we shout out correctly. There we go. Spyro's rad, but I needed a break already. No, that's totally fair. No, no breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as, as Sara and I have talked about before, we both have like really weird sleep get like sleep cycle issues. So it's really a random role, whether how that interacts with the stream. Mm -hmm. Me, my sleep schedule got messed up this week because I had to stay up late enough for the post office to open. Oh, hello. One moment. What is this? You're not very good at mazes. What? What? How dare you say we're not very good at mazes? Bob has been busting through this game. I think I'm pretty excellent at these mazes, honestly. Yeah, honestly, he's getting pretty optimized. Bob's been augmented. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Sara did do the Spyro flying through the rings extra mini games. I nice. love Spyro. Spyro's so dope. Yeah, um, Spyro we need to go back really and play, cool. play the originals. We do. We, we, I played the first one originally back in the day. I hadn't played two or three. Yeah, I ended up skipping that whole franchise because I didn't have PlayStation. Oh, I, I also right. didn't think it'd actually be good. The dragon's too cute. Kill him. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, it's a dragon. Okay. And then I played it. And I was like, oh, it's really good. Which that was like the first really good Insomniac game. Actually, you know, we played Disruptor Rescue eventually. Rescue the hostages. Oh, my God. Okay. Is there a hostage situation on the plane? No, One they're moment. all in front of the plane. <laughs> Let's go inside the plane. Okay. Are, are you rescued? Snakes on this plane? Wait, what? You guys aren't dead? What is what Whoa. are you doing? Whoa! Oh no! S Superman then crushed them with his pelvis. Anyways, hello raiders, welcome. This is the first of our demon pit streams. Whoa! I spawned a yeah airplane. So oh, no. something no, no, tells no. me it's fine. We can oh. recover. Yeah, you got him. Oh my god. Superman, just Come take, on. take, yeah! yeah! Oh my God, so about Bob being optimized. Look at that. Uh, the music in this game's terrible, so we turned it off and then played fitting music, AKA Mighty Number no. 9. Right, of course. Only the best here at Geek Boots. Um, but anyways, I'm Dan, that's Bob. Uh, every Friday we beat a different game. Today we are beating Superman 64 and Bubsy the Woolies Strike Back on PS4 because it's the beginning of the Demon Pit with such stellar games as Earthworm Jim's 3D, Ride to Hell Retribution, X-Blades, Vampire Rain, and more. God, Vampire Rain. Vampire Rain. That one, the PS3 version. That one and Earthworm Jim scare me. The rest of them are like, yeah, sure, it'll be easy. Everything else doesn't scare me, but Earthworm Jim shakes me to my very core. Yeah, I read that. Earthworm Jim 3D is legendarily bad in almost the same tier and magnitude as this. That's like, that seems insane, right? Given that everyone loved the 2D ones. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, if any of that sounds good to you, please stick around and give us a follow. Also to anyone who didn't see the shout out, I'm gonna do the other type of shout out. Hopefully I have that available too. Slager Lene is a really great streamer. I watch her streams all the time and we've been very good friends for a while. I highly recommend following her. All right. She's a magical cat girl who programs and plays retro games and loves Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Just like me. In fact, we're undoubtedly going to do some other Sonic collab stream at some point. Not that one. Yippee! 
Yeah. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Not 06. Oh no. Why would we drag Sarl and Ace or Sonic 06? For one, you know we're going to do it all in one stream. Right? Which is so not advisable. But you can't stop us. No, this this is... Uklat says, hi, Tosh. Have a great night. Bye, you too. Yeah, no, Sara, Sara was uh, responsible for the Steam integration and whatnot of various games and localization of various games. Like, you know Ease games? How about Ease Origins? Or Ease Oath and Felgana? Or Ease Book 1 and 2? What about Free Damn Planet? <laughs> That's right. Free Damn Planet was originally Japanese. No, <laughs> she, was, she was the stream it, Steam integrator for that. Well, no, uh, no, and no, also no, did additional no, coding no, no, and stuff. No, no, no. I wonder how long the last seahorse could endure the music in this game. Seahorse is too smart to get stuck in that sort of situation. Right? It was like a seahorse like... would be like hit giant comedic red button. Right? Like sick jams emanate. That's... There's only one song in this game. I think they'd figure out right away. They don't want to listen to right. it. <laughs> no, they're too smart. Spiff says, remember Archaeozoic Big Hole? That wasn't Sara. It's true. That was post Sara. So, you know. That could have been prevented. <laughs> There's a timeline where we didn't end up with some big holes. It's like a it's like a fucking uh heroes thing. It's like the magical cat girl's the key to all of this. We have to save her. <laughs> Uh, destroy the five mind droppers again. Well, we see two out of five. Right. Well, there's the third. Boo -doo -doo -doo. This music is way too fitting. I'm sorry. I'm never changing up the Mighty Number no. 9 music. Somehow they're completely different genres, completely different aesthetics, but this is the exact vibe of. Oh man, this game isn't done. <laughs> right? All right, that was five. Save the cat girl, save the world. They'd never be brave enough. America TV would, would Oh, that would be so dope. We can make that show. <laughs> Keep in mind, Sara is still a VTuber. Oh my God. Because I am obsessed with VTuber live action. Like I am absolutely there for the fucking Roger Rabbit vibe. <laughs> If you've seen our streams with Sari, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. In fact, if you go to YouTube and look up Gigaboot's Sari Lene, you can see our uh, Sonic Adventure 2 collab stream and see what I'm talking about. So the funny thing is the full evolution of this idea of wanting to fuse these was I wanted to do a show like Space Ghost Coast to Coast where we got an entire OLED to stick in the guest chair, like a couch, like you do on talk shows, uh -huh. instead of just the small CRT like you see on Space Ghost. And then we put the VTuber guests on that. Then I realized that would have to become a thing we did regularly, and I already have so much on my plate, that's a nightmare. Right. Then the brain disease that is, I should make a sitcom hit hard in the middle of some stream. Mm -hmm. And that's when I invented the they should have neighbors. These It's a gamer sitcom. They should have neighbors that are VTubers. And they should roll up as though it's like old school, like classroom. They roll in the projector thing. But it's a TV with a VTuber on it. And we never address the person who rolled in the VTuber. And all the shots are framed like they're a person, right? But it's at the monitor. Yeah, that was the Kirby... Uh, stream <laughs> things got a little loopy during the Kirby stream uh and then and then from there it ended up finally happening on our uh live collab streams and uh well, actually no it i think technically it ended up happening on um force feedback before it ended up happening on a collab stream 
Right, because that we actually put it on a mo uh, monitor, monitor, and I did all the techniques I would do for the live action stuff. Right. Yeah. See, cowards, right? Cowards would just green screen out the monitor mm -hmm. and then put the image on in post, but that looks way worse. <laughs> And Sara brings up the. <laughs> Sara brings up that she was also uh, the collab on the uh, Sonic One through Four, Episode Two, stream, where she eventually starts losing it and making very bad jokes. <laughs> that did happen. That was that was a long stream. Yeah. Very. Yeah, you wouldn't expect it for the Sonic games, but they they can add up when you do. Okay. How many is that? Isn't that technically six? Do we include and I mean and Knuckles is the length yeah, of the Yeah, we did we did a Knuckles, so. but we didn't do we didn't do Mania at least. We did C D. We did D. So so what's that? Is that technically six? It's it might be seven, because episode one and two. Do you count those as whole games? I mean the end boss yeah, certainly you, you takes should. long enough. Yeah. So yeah, that's like seven Sonic games. <laughs> Shit. What's the pain level so far? One moment. Can you pull out the chart with the faces on it? Like one through five. Watching Superman fly through the rings becomes almost entrancing at a certain point. Yeah, it becomes like that game from Star Trek TNG where they all get addicted to it and it's just hoops and stuff. <laughs> They're just watching Superman 64. I saw someone post about an episode of X-Files that had Virtua Fighter 2. Yes. Okay, Captain in it. And, and Jack like, Black. And Jack Black. Yes. And I was just like, man, I, I need to watch X-Files again. Because I remember liking the show a lot as a kid. Like, I, I tried to catch literally every episode. Yeah, I wonder how much I like it. I actually never really watched X-Files. Very I'm, telling when streamers are talking 99% about anything but the game. Uh-huh. Yes, it is, Sara. Why would you say that right now? Actually, I think the stream would be more deranged if we just stuck to talking about nothing but what's on screen the whole time. What if we talked about the hoops? Do, the you, hoop God? do you think Superman enjoys hula hooping? <laughs> do you think Hoopa would stand for this? Is there an unbound form of Superman like Hoopa? <laughs> well, yeah, of course there is. We've seen Injustice and basically every interpretation of uh, Superman after it. Daihime says, I think X-Files is really good. What? One moment. Really consistently great until the post-movie seasons, which are still pretty good so far. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Masami also says, X-Files whips. It's too bad the Blu-rays have been out of print since like 2018 or something. Jeez. Time to steal it. <laughs> Roto has very conflicted feelings about knowing that exact part of TNG. Hey, at least it wasn't... It's at least it means. wasn't really a Wesley episode. I mean, it kind of was, but not really. News flash! Photographer Jimmy Olsen is being held prisoner by Darkseid's para-demons in the Daily Planet's underground garage. Free Jimmy! Knock out Darkseid and take the police... Wait, the villain to the police. The, the, the police are going to deal with Darkseid. Also, those don't look like para-demons. Also, I'm, his I'm, legs don't look long enough once it pulls up to that exact angle. Like, it looks like his legs are shrinking. Yeah, it does. Because they're secretly 2D assets or something. I think it's because they're angling up slightly as they go. Like, they're, they're so moving now the they're camera behind up. His head. Yeah, now they're behind him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, by the way, for anyone who's curious, I'm not sure if you noticed, this, this is 16 by like 9. Super, Super N64 is a 16 by 9 game by default. It has modes to change it to other uh, viewport ratios, like 4 by 3, and then shrink it so it renders better and faster. But it's kind of like Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, we shrank it all the way down, still doesn't run well. <laughs> uh, Metropolis is counting on you, Superman. Bring us back, Dark Side. <laughs> Any other villain, please. Dark Side is out of the police's league. He looks like he's from a different game. Yeah, he looks like um, he looks like he would show up in Blast Core. 
Jimmy Olsen has real blast core energy. God, I wish we were playing blast core. <laughs> I don't know, Masami. The the twenty percent view field mode would only throw Bob off of his stellar streak of kicking the shit out of this video game. I wouldn't want to do that to him. No, you are fucked. Is that what Superman's saying when he wrenches their heads off? <laughs> I guess. It's fucking crazy. Are are these parademons? Have these been parademons the whole time? These dark men. They don't look anything like they did in the show, but maybe. They also don't look anything like they did in that movie. You were right to do it, Bob. <laughs> Wrench their heads off? Yeah, absolutely. Good news, everyone. We're basically exactly halfway through this game. That seems insane. How is it only half? It's okay. We're only three and a half hours into the stream, and you've been Yippee! picking up steam as we went. Which, to be clear, I have no problem playing... S I have no problem playing Superman 64, but at a certain point, we're just better off letting one person get gradually better at playing the game so we can get through it. <laughs> Some people are having a meltdown, rationalizing this is only halfway through. Right, because we saved... Score! Well, we only saved one person so far. Choose an enemy. What do you mean? I want to fight Dark Side, I guess. Oh, come on. Spiff says since we're only halfway through this, it seems like a really good time to take a break and beat all of Bubsy and then come back. Says. Not the worst plan. Scrunt. Fucking scrunt. 25 miles per hour. Okay. Uh, we are going to check out the September lineup to see what else is on the way. This is an underground parking garage, and they have a sign that says, yeah, you can go 25, right? <laughs> the Daily Planet doesn't care. They're like, kill yourself. See what we see There's like we a care. liquor bar, like, next to the fucking parking garage. <laughs> Different times. <laughs> What are you? Choose an enemy. Oh my god. You're gonna have to spell dark side. Yeah, probably. For anyone who doesn't know, when it says choose an enemy, it says it hugely in advance usually of us finding a room full of computers and the computers change different letters in the word and then we have to spell the name. It explains none of this. <laughs> yeah. Dahime says, no, we need to go back to this and treat Darkseid like he's mid-tier and treat Toy Man or something like he's the strongest. <laughs> you know what? Wait, why is there an elevator? Why'd you even get that working? Oh, no. What's up now? Well, maybe it's not actually working because technically as a part of it working, it should come back down if you missed. Oh, well, good job, Superman. Good job, Superman. This is a doom level. What the hell? <laughs> right? If I never see Darkseid in a game or movie again, I'll be happy. Yeah, when uh, we were getting the rundown on Big Think of what characters were in that uh, Overwatch clone by Marvel. Uh-huh. I was just like, oh, man, I'm so burnt out on so many of these characters because of all the fucking MCU stuff. Yeah. Why are you so paranoid to give me, like, I don't know, Gambit? Rogue. Yeah, it's like so many of the characters Weird. that they've tried to make cool just it doesn't work. Which is why I have no problem with Galacta. Right? I'm like, sure. Whatever. Where's Shumagaroth? Could you imagine Overwatch with Silver Samurai? <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. What is with Marvel? I don't know. Pfft. 
Superman, please. It's just I a... told you, he can't get in a restaurant if it's not wheelchair accessible. <laughs> there we go. We got it. He did it. Good job. <laughs> we're never getting... We're never... One second. We're never getting Marvel vs. Capcom with Moon Knight or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy because they even put Moon Knight, gave Moon Knight his own series. Also, uh, um, I haven't, I haven't checked. On my side, it's pretending it's working. You all let me know. Is the closed captioning thing working? Remember they put Rocket Raccoon in Marvel 3 before he was in a movie? Yeah. Okay, people are confirming it's working. Hooray. I gotta let you know, though, I'm used to only seeing text pop up in the lower left of the OBS layout if, uh, program if there's an over and the encoding is over encumbered and we're dropping frames so i will note that it has triggered me multiple times the stream to be like what oh that's just the text because i actually if you look over here uh -huh. it actually pops up with every word we're saying like this thing right here just oh, live updates to say weird. what the hell we're saying crazy yeah it's pretty neat it's perfectly in the place where your microphone comes through, so i can't see it yeah that makes but sense. i believe you Yeah, it does feel like um, that thing you hear about from like filmmakers a lot of the time, but other industries talk about it too, where executive meddling has made it really difficult to make fresh feeling anything anymore. Right. Has gotten like to a fever pitch. That's, that's the coolest thing about like caring way more about creators on the internet than I do about any IP anymore is that like they're free to do things like budget constraints are largely the things that constrain them conceptually right like YouTubers, streamers whatever and you get to see that impact that you can have on their lives meanwhile you buy a $70 game and they're like, not enough people bought microtransactions. <laughs> right, that's the real problem. You could buy, let's say, every version of Mega Man 11 and they'll still be like, we couldn't possibly make a 12 or an X9. No, no, who would buy that? We've got to make Exo Primal. And... Billions must die. Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bob, when are we... Uh... Doing our playthrough of the campaign of Exo Primal with me, you, Chris, and Agro. I don't know, but we will need a full team because it sounds like there's. It sounds like we're gonna need some sort of homicide squad. <laughs> no, Superman. They're they are programming Excuse to destroy me. me. One one moment. Was that scream, Jimmy? It might have been. That sounded like a lady screaming. I had no idea that was supposed to be Jimmy. Maybe I didn't hear it well because the music was going. I was like, Lois is here? It's a child. They are programmed to destroy me if you step forward. What does that mean? You have to find Luther's access card. It's the only way to deactivate those shadow creeps. I saw him drop it under his black, black car. car. Look through this entire... Oh my God. All right, okay. Jimmy, I will go find a black car in this parking garage. Mm -hmm of a video game. Gotta find Lex's business card to turn off the dark side robots. Yeah, how many people fit maximum in a uh, Exo Primal Squad? Is it three, four, five? I don't Does know. Does anyone know? Is that game real? Did I hallucinate it? <laughs> Good job riding the elevator. I and did. That was really helpful. Five. So I guess we need one more person to join us for the playthrough. Hmm. Hmm. I think there's these giant, like, power things in this parking garage. Uh. 
Uh, that's a hell reactor. Uh, the Daily Planet runs on those. Oh, okay. Yeah. When Jameson took over, it got real bad. Me says, I nominate Spidiff. I think they... I think they meant to say spiff. Probably. But maybe maybe they're nominating the optical cable form. I don't know. Who am I know? Summon Eric. Could you fucking imagine? Yeah, I was like, I don't think we can get Eric to stick around for a full one of those. One, but... hell no, that ain't happening. But I feel Two, like... hey, Eric, we haven't hung out in a while. Want to play Exo Primal for content? No, he played Metroid, uh, whatever that weird one was. The one that had missions But that online. was Metroid-based, and he loved Metroid. But, oh, Exo Prime was Metroid-based, too. Uh, you do it. He's in back, in back into content by getting him on for your Mortals of Avium run back. Hey, we don't get to do that until the PS5 Pro. But who run back? We played all the way through it, and he was even there for most of it. Wait, what is this? I, I, know, I know. Chris started a meme about him not having to endure Mortals of Avium, and I'm like, was he there for half of it? Right? <laughs> yeah, obviously, if we get Eric up here, it's for the magic show. Oh, my God. Now, obviously, we need someone to help us host the magic show, so it's going to be Spiff. And then when I ask him, he's going to be like, is this a gay thing? And I'm like, what? No. What? No. <laughs> the brown car. Also break it. But it case. deserves to die. Blue car. Stop. Invincible sun. Stop. Uh, okay. Invincible sun. Spiff says, can I dress as up as a bunny girl? I don't know, do a poll. I wonder if Twitch allows that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They may not allow that anymore. Thank you, Jonathan Kent, for the $5 donation saying, Stop, Invincible Son. Oh, there's a black car. Is it under this black car? Black car seems like it's hard to move, so maybe. If I fly into it, I can blow it up. Oh, this is a another thingy. He's an enemy. That looks like Lex Luthor's car because it looks so fancy. There we go. Here is Luthor's card. All right, this was the very beginning of the level. I need to go all the way back to where I found Jimmy. Yes. They know what they did. They do. So about how Superman should have the uh, Laura Croft. All right. So about how Superman should have the Laura Croft system of hold this button and then push to the side to do the world's longest, most awkward side steps. Because he needs that. He does. He controls so bad in this. <laughs> Spear. Got him flipped all the way over. He's very cool. Can you rotate Superman in your mind? <laughs> Wait, where's their kryptonite meter? See if there's something I... No, let's not. We need to find Jimmy. I'm worried that Jimmy's gonna be like, you needed to put that card into a thing. Oh no, they're shooting me. Fair. I hate the room that just keeps bones and skulls. <laughs> yeah. And danger. Fire the engineer of that tank. <laughs> Close that division, Lex. You know, maybe one of these times it'll work somehow. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Darkflame, for two years street. Did you know that Superman has a kryptonite radar like Knuckles? I didn't until this game, yeah. Did you? <laughs> no. What tank explodes at being tossed? 
I can't imagine many tanks are tested for being tossed. I, if anything, we gotta praise the cement, right? This way. Go. It's about the mighty number nine music being fitting. It's just like every every level's the capital. Uh huh. Where laser does that? I'll have full laser eyes. I don't need those. Okay. Gamer Chris says, yo, I love this cartoon growing up. I've been meaning to go back and watch it again because, you know, Batman the Animated Series is really great still. And I remember this also being great back in the day. Luckily, uh, you know, it's nowhere near the quality of this game. Right. Like, it's, it's like over here. <laughs> this game is over here. Oh. Dai says the Superman cartoon is very, very good. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me, right? Those those two were like legendary for that. You know? It seems so weird that we technically have more tools to empower artists more than ever, but it seems really hard to get solid stuff like that out of established IPs anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. That's part of what made um What was the name of the uh League of Legends based thing? Arcane? Yeah, that's part of what made Arcane so weird, because of all IPs for it to come out of. Mm-hmm. Like, because everyone seemed to really like that show. I think this is the floor with Jimmy. Are you stuck in this room, or did they put down the same room four times? Juice and Frost, we've, we've been in 17 levels in the last 10 minutes. You didn't notice? This is the whole game from here on out. It's all parking garage. It was like they, they put down the same room 137 times to make this game. <laughs> We're lucky there are no rings. Right? Really like Justice League and Brave and the Bold because they're both good. Because I never know. I never know I'm never going to see guys like Shining Knight and Vigilante in a cartoon again. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool, Die. I hear those shows are good. I have not watched either. I should put a thing on screen that says, now with subtitles. That way people notice. Or now with closed caption. Chris says, James Gunn loves guys like that, so he'll probably put them in things and then ruin them. <laughs> God, I really, really hope that that James Gunn Superman thing is good. <laughs> Just please don't don't take some sort of dire, dour, dark tone to it. I I wonder. I have no expectations at all of anything going forward with DC because unlike Marvel, that feels like they got a system going. Uh huh. And they had a factory, right? Uh, right. That just slowly replaced more of the movie with wood pulp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In order to save money. It genuinely feels like DC's never been that put together, so any any good thing could happen at any moment. Right, yeah, they, they, they could be well be on the breakthrough moment for, oh, it, it, things are fine again. Yeah, because isn't Shazam 1 good, but Shazam 2's like whatever? I think everyone seems to hate 2. Right, yeah. And Rich. then like, is I heard Aquaman 2 is actually good, but nowhere near enough people watch it in theater, so it's a bomb. It, it, it might be a bomb. Right. That's what I heard. Chris says they cast fucking Metamorpho, so I think it's going to be totally pretty close to Guardians. Okay, uh, question. Who the hell is Metamorpho? Right? I watched Aquaman 2 in theaters and it's boring, sleep inducing. I see. How's the maze going? Oh, it's it's good. Superman's trying to solve it to save his friends. It's more maze than ever here in the Daily Planet. Chris says Metamorpho is a goofy Silver Age guy. Okay, that's cool. Spiff says Metamorpho, Metamoth. Moth? Like Morph Moth. Hmm. That Mega Man X2 uh -huh. Maverick you love. 
Yeah, of course. Bob knows every Maverick. Yeah. Like Rang da Bang Do, right? I mean, I don't know who that is. I don't know if I'd call him a Maverick. God damn it. I was hoping I could get that one past you. Like, joke's on you. He's a mechanoloid. Right? I don't, the Game of Chris is currently at, like, Mega Man X6. I don't think they've even introduced the term mechanoloid yet. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't actually come X7. until... Yeah, X7 or 8. Because at some point they went, we sure do need a word for giant machine that's evil question mark. Right? Sentient, but not a reploid. Actually, sometimes I don't even see sentient. I don't know. Robot, Unclear. big robot you fight. Big robot. Like that thing in the background as it plays the final countdown in X6. Uh-huh. The boot doo 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 as he does this and shoots lasers. That should have been a mechanoloid. Yeah, okay. That big O looking motherfucker. <laughs> Spiff says mechanoloids are around X4. No way. I don't remember them saying mechanoloid once in X4. It could be one of those things where in Japan they called them that, and we finally got it in, right. like, translated later. Right. Kind of like the Dokuroboto being apparently skull bot. Mm -hmm. Dokuro. But it also sounded like Dokuroboto, so they called it Doc Robot. Anyways, you should also follow Gamma Chris. Gamma Chris is one of my favorite streamers. They're doing a birthday thing on Sunday... Saturday, however, what is Saturday? Saturday isn't more X6, it's something else. Me says Gamma Chris is super cool. And then Dai says Gamma Chris is cute. No, Gamma Chris, not Chris Wolfhard Blank. I'm trying to remember what Chris is. But Saturday you should follow the boast, just so you we're should. clear. We <laughs> shouted out both Chris's, you should follow both Chris's. This isn't complicated. This is. Game of Chris's Saturday stream is Mario Game Boy games, uh, including the end of Donkey Kong 94, which is a damn good game. And uh, Sunday's the birthday stream they've apparently set up. Uh, one of Game of Chris's friends has set up for Game of Chris's birthday stream a retro game trivia show. Oh, no. Where it has screenshots and they have to sit and guess what game it's from. <laughs> Uh, and other snippets like that. So that's that's going to be a good stream. That's on Sunday. <laughs> Dai then clarifies, Chris is cute too. Chris with a K. boy. I don't know. Chris Wolfhart is regal and handsome. <laughs> Gamma Chris is cute. <laughs> This feels like the weirdest version of Choose Your Fighter, and it's Chris versus Chris. <laughs> it's okay. We can have two Chris's. It's like two kings. In fact, I, I don't know. Chris Wolfhard, based on his outfit, might be a king. I don't know. Maybe. He could be. Or a Victorian vampire who outlived being a king. And his kingdom has fallen to the wayside. There could be all sorts of lore there. I don't know. Oh, Chris another. Wolfhart has more, has gap moe appeal. Says Dai. Dai also says, also, if anyone here is regal, it's me. Chris explains, I'm the viceroy who poisons you for decades. <laughs> And then me explains, uh, Gamma Chris is that shonen main character that believes in positivity. Yeah, instead of saying date bio or uh, believe it, Gamma Chris says, I see. And welcome to, and then whatever's going on at the moment. It's gonna be really fucked up when I just start stealing all three of these people's bits. <laughs> God damn it. Dan's got a tail. He's now poisoning people. And he's talking about Femboy Friday. <laughs> what a fucking hack. <laughs> Jimmy, where are you, Jimmy? I'm so lost. 
you're where's asking the Jim robots? Again. You're asking the mind throwers, where's Jimmy? I miss Jimmy. Come on. Solve my May super. Wait, where'd he go? <laughs> it's just him in the back, the back corner of like a four floor parking lot. <laughs> this May ain't getting solved. It was going so smoothly until they were like, parking garage. <laughs> yeah, no, you really did have this down, and then they gave you a very three-dimensional... Like, this... You're getting water templed. Yeah. No, there's like... This thing is massive, and everything looks identical. And your movement is so bad. Right? So between all of these things, they really got you, like... This is the bottom floor. We're going to check everywhere we can on the bottom Good. floor. That's how we do this. going to hold the right wall. Oh, here's a brick wall. Which won't have Jimmy, but could have something. Could have health stores at least. Daihime says I would be yeah, I would be perfect sell if he absorbed VTubers instead of androids. You picked it up and it was health, but then it became heat vision. It was both. It was both on top of each other. For some okay. reason both both right. power ups were just shoved in the wall. Okay. So whatever we're doing here undoubtedly involves heat vision. Probably. Wait, was, that was, was that a, a door? That was a there? wall I've broken already, so okay. it's going to be another one of these. So I've been down this hallway, which is a good sign, because I remember a lot of these leading up to Jimmy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's actually... <laughs> Don't honk at us. <gasps> That's Jimmy. Are you Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, you're 19. <laughs> Jimmy, how are you this short in 19? Are you floating still? No. Jimmy's just tiny. Thank you, Superman. Dark side plans to blow up your building. He said you're above in here. You are our only hope. Oh my god. No! no! We need more than that to go on. Maybe if you destroy these two enemies, they'll give you a hint. Because let's be real. We're not going to brute force fighting this. Oh, they're invincible. They're not real. Okay. Sure. Oh, but they can hurt me. Oh, well, that's they bad. Uh, Maybe it's is... in that kryptonite room. Oh, there's another one of these choose your enemy things. Oh my god. Come on. Choose an enemy. Why does it just say that? I don't know. That doesn't help I've anyone. Been finding them all over who this does, level. Who does that help? And you haven't found any computers to type that in on it. No. Not many computers in, uh, in, in a, a parking, parking garage. garage. Yeah, no, it's true. Maybe you put it in that weird uh, room with the big, big spire. Hey, that's what you bombed oh to God. blow yeah, up the Jimmy building. Yeah, Jimmy is really short in the fucking DC animated universe. Holy shit. Yeah, I knew he was tiny, but... I didn't know that short. I didn't realize he was 19 when I watched that show. I think I was a little confused about that. Yeah, where he had a job, I figured that he was supposed to be an adult. Could have been an intern. How do you like that? <laughs> is that super fan smuggly for some reason? Doo 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 doo. Oh, yeah. Since it's relevant to the topic at hand, I'll go ahead and roll back to it. So I watched Vanilla Sky this morning while he set up a bunch of stuff for the stream, and um, there's a shot in it where uh, they take a an image of Tom Cruise after getting arrested against a height chart behind him, and he's between 5'11 and 6 foot, and I didn't help but find that really funny. I'm like, yes, that is how tall Tom Cruise... Ooh, uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Was this Luther's plan? I think this is Luther's plan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gabe, we have so much we're going through. We don't need ex- Oh no. Yippee! <laughs> the sad thing is if we were on any floor but the bottom one. Uh-huh. We could cut we're through. Men. <laughs> maybe, oh, no. maybe. Maybe. Just innocent, man. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, your punching is like bringing 
you up slightly. Right? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. maybe this will work. Splish Quick, splash. Superman, twerk your way out of the ground. Let me try the laser vision. Maybe this thing's the bomb. Blow it up. Baby. This is undoubtedly going to be the roughest game of the Demon Pit. Yeah. Because like, I feel like Earthworm Jim 3D will feel much more like a shipped video game. Mm-hmm. There's almost no way it doesn't. Look at what this game is. Dan, hang in there. Somebody has to stop Bob. Don't worry, the game handled that. Right? Well, I guess we can finish checking the bottom floor. Just not very, very slowly. <laughs> oh, yeah. They make can shoot me out. Help me. This is a speedrunning trick, just like the Indiana Jones game on the N64, right? Yeah. Where the hell okay. are you going? You think he knows? Oh. Whoa. Well, we're in flight mode now, making it up to the real level. Where are we? What's happening? Attaboy, Bob. You were right to do it. <clears throat> What did I do again? Are you looking for secrets? <laughs> yes. If I can get the game to be like, you won, down here somewhere, and we just went to the next level, that'd be ideal. <laughs> Bob is willing to risk five and a half minutes to try. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this isn't happening. <laughs> I can't even give him to stop flying <laughs> now. He's just stuck. Superman has entered the void. He is a void stranger. Man. When you hear Superman is a bad game, you don't expect this level. Yeah, not really. Splish. Oh no, did he fully freeze? Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Yippee! Oh my god. Oh no. Reset. Oh. I better actually have saved that. I'm horrified. I'm so scared. Please, please have a save. English, load game, controller pack. Okay. Thank God it's here. In short time, your fate will be sealed, Superman. Look how filled out this place is. We only have a few levels left, chat. They can't fit that many more. I'm going to blow shoe this now that I know where Jimmy is, too. This looks like a job for Superman. This looks like a job for Superman. Metropolis counting on you, Superman. Bring back Dark Side. We're gonna arrest him. It's gonna work. Oh my god. There are too many enemies right now. It can't render them all. Uh oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm already getting stuck. Okay. Don't tell me it doesn't spawn that until after I find Jimmy. Oh my god, that didn't spawn. Oh my god, I need to find Jimmy, then come back here? Will it respawn the car? We'll just spawn the, the card. That seems crazy. Maybe. Oh well. Go down to that bottom floor. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is a lot, you guys. There's I got used to how it ran when I killed everyone. 
Now that they're back, it's just like, I can't run at all. All right, bottom floor. Hug the right wall, and we'll be safe. Attaboy, Bob. I bet there's two entrances down there. Hugging the right wall, hopefully we'll still make this work. That tank. Okay. Oh, uh, there was. It's a Jimmy turn. And are you Jimmy behind this wall? I am. Okay, so chat, you need to know something. Ah! Now, all of you watching this stream right now are probably, now that I'm bringing it to your attention, like, oh man, this is a very well-danced audioscape. The sound effects are audible, the music's good, the game's very audible over it, and the hosts are audible. Would you be surprised to know that in person, nowhere near as balanced for these hosts? Yeah, of course. This, this game, if we turned it up enough to hear, uh, you know, everything crisply, then the swoosh sounds and explosions would kill us. <laughs> So we just, like, the levels kind of begin for us with Superman mumbling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's just kind of like, This is like a regular job for <laughs> We're like, you okay, man? <laughs> Meanwhile, you know what we can hear the most? <laughs> Tosh is in the kitchen also making that sound. That's how bad it is. It's a lot. Anyways, maybe I should hook up real speakers instead of still using these TV speakers, uh... Four months after moving. Nah, that seems... They're that literally seems right next to the TV. Right. They're literally... They're just not hooked up or powered Respawns or anything. Respawns his car, even. Yeah, I was going to make the joke, because I was outside of the room checking the audio balance, um, that you were going to get back there, and you remember in Scott Pilgrim how they had Nega Scott, who was like evil Scott, that uh. was going to do the car was going to be that, so he had like a red windshield and a weird gray look to it. <laughs> Three years of delicious subs, says True Storm. I'm so full of Gigaboots content. Yum. Thank you for subscribing for three years. God. It's crazy to think how long we've been doing this because it, occasionally it comes up like, why do you call them death streams? <laughs> it's like, well, one day I decided that I should just do a whole RPG in a single stream. And then I did that multiple times in a row. Right. <laughs> uh... Uh, evil Jimmy. Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> evil Scott Pilgrim be like, I won't date this underage girl. <laughs> oh, that's so sinister. <laughs> and then I saw, I went to the zoo with Dark Side, and we saw a giraffe. Okay, I eat that boy. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, remember when you were on Blip? I do. <laughs> they used to pay money. I don't what know what the, the man's is... going through right now, but I wish him the best. Right? <gasps> Thank you, totally I, not, Toby. I bet the, the kryptonite is where the uh, yeah the bomb the, is. I agree with that assessment, yeah. So we're going to go to that, because I remember where that is. No, Blip hasn't existed in years. At some point, they stopped being their own platform and became an NCN on YouTube. Jesus. It's like, oh, yeah, that's going to work. Good job. Good luck. All right, floor two. Hey, remember when Patreon was like, I'm going to screw every creator into making less money, and then everyone got upset, and they're like, we're going to screw everyone new into making less money. <laughs> and then people were like, okay. Uh, no, they didn't pivot to being an MCN in this year. They pivoted, like, a few years back, but it was already late enough that MCNs were on the decline. Hey, remember all those times we got approached by an MCN, and I'm like, no. Yeah, well, fuck you. Yeah, no. I know you, you aren't gonna actually be, like, a talent agent. Right. Fuck off. And then we met people who said yes, and they're like, I sure do make 40% less a video for no reason. <laughs> and I'm like, cool, great, awesome. What a cool system that was made. Thanks. Thanks, Google. That sure is the same thing. Uh-huh. I think there might still be MCNs, but I don't know. The new scam isn't MCNs. The new... Oh, my God. 
I'm sorry, I, I really was just floored by you bumping into a door and it struggling to open. I'm really concerned that no one has played this on both the real N64 to completion and the Mister, so the Mister's probably just barely running it. Right, that is a true worry. Oh, we got lasers in here, though. So it's got to be here. Why would you put new bot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm scared, Bob. Yeah, I'm scared. That's it's in that block door. You think it's in these boxes? I thought the box made that sound when it hit the wall. That's weird. Why did it sound like a gunshot? <laughs> Wasn't there a tank in here? Oh well. Do 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 do. Okay, laser. What do you do? Rainbow vision. This game is treating. You need okay, to put boxes. the boxes on yeah. these. Oh my god! Yeah. Why do they keep doing that? That doesn't make any sense! Yeah. They barely no. got anything working in this game, and they're like, you know what's a good puzzle? Anything that we can get working. Yeah, no, this is, it is really funny how close this is to that alone in the dark puzzle. Yeah, this is Mighty Number no. 9. The actual music for this would drive you all insane if you had to listen to it for eight hours. Was this game won't take, by the way. We're going to blow through it. It's going to be done in the next two hours. Easy. Okay, I believe you. We're done. Okay. This is it. I believe you. Heck, when uh, Dan wasn't here when I looked at the, the stage select screen, we, we almost have that thing filled out. Yeah, but you're also not accounting for how much of it's probably running off screen because we cropped for widescreen and that's the title screen, which isn't cropped for widescreen. That's nah, fine. It's fine. <laughs> Stupid fucking box! <laughs> oh my god, Superman, calm down. <laughs> we just need to find a rat to strap a Molotov cocktail to. It's already there lit. There we go. So we tape it to the rat. The rat walks it to this laser, okay? Okay. This is working. This is all... I don't... There oh we go. Oh, my God. Why is this game like this? So that's the bomb. That's... You don't need to worry about the kryptonite for some reason. Oh, the kryptonite is killing me, though. So I need to do this quickly. Uh, I don't think it's completely frozen. I bet. Yeah, it is, because Jimmy's here, even. Who's the sassy child? Well done, Superman. The dark side doesn't accept defeat <laughs> easily. He'll be back for revenge. <laughs> Jimmy, you killed me. <laughs> Jimmy, why did you Jimmy, kill me? Jimmy, how could you do that? Jimmy, come on. And then Jimmy's like, also, I have this cool stone. <laughs> yeah, like, Jimmy, that's kryptonite. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> he goes, whatever. <laughs> this looks like a job for Superman. Hey, Bob, did you expect to get turned on by Jimmy Olsen in this game? <laughs> I did. I didn't think Jimmy would kill me. Underneath that thin exterior, the, the nice boy was hiding a murderer. Yes, um, strong enough to kill Superman. Presumably with his mind powers? I don't know. It's unclear, but he did it. That's pretty cool. Good, good for him. I'm glad he's accomplishing his goals in life, like kill Superman for no reason. <laughs> So, you know, with Fox moving, uh -huh. a lot of us were just talking about moving sucks. Yeah. And I was talking about how I really don't want to buy any gym equipment Yeah, because moving sucks. But the proposition of the treadmill's too strong. <laughs> you know, the ability to play games, which I need to play for the podcast, mm -hmm. while also burning calories. Right. It's a really strong proposition. And that's how I ended up at what if clone hero while walking on a treadmill? <laughs> From GameFAQs, someone found out the what the choose an enemy item is for. Every time you get one, stand near an enemy and press B. That enemy will now be on your side. Okay. Chat, is there an episode of the Superman animated series where he mind dominates people? That seems really unlikely. Like, really, really? It's that... I feel like that doesn't happen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's 
Superman mind dominates a random goon and they just go blank face and they're like, what do you want, my master? Superman just throws a dress at them. It's like, what the fuck's going on? Jimmy's like, I wonder when Superman will be back. <laughs> Most well, obscure Superman powers you don't hear about much. A Silver Age comic. Yeah. yeah, they do weird stuff, man. That sounds like something Silver Age Lois Lane would do, says Dante. Man. I don't want to know this game's tags. Lex Luthor's car. Well, you better start believing in Superman 64's tags, because you're in it right now. <laughs> Health while we're up here. Okay. I don't have any ice powers. I need to make sure we find a power up for that first. That is true. He did erase Lois Lane's memories by kissing her in that one movie. Uh, now, is that the normal cut of that one movie or like. Because, you know, the Richard Donner cut exists right and the whole production of the first two superman movies is weird real weird and i don't remember which one that was in Mind domination power. Yeah, I'm not talking about any of those uh, plots of Supermans that have been typed into chat. <sighs> okay, now it's now I got it. It's too. Late. Apparently, Lois Lane in some elaborate scheme to make Superman jealous question mark uh, had a bunch of schemes to get married or whatever but one of them is Lois Lane turned black so about the tags yeah what is what? anyway uh, Kogashi says I think the mind erasing kiss was the original cut of the movie alright alright Oh, her turning black was for a story, not that specific arc sort of thing. Okay. Lois Lane turned into a black woman to experience what life is like for one. I bet that comic is something. We're on the same side now. Get that black. <laughs> hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? I don't know if we watched it for content. I'm really blurring things to... Oh, God, it was fucking... He was fucking alone in the dark. He was fucking alone in the dark. I spent this whole time not wanting to talk about it because I'm like, I'm worried this is a podcast we didn't announce yet. Right. Alone in the dark had the main antagonist be called Dark Man or whatever. Like the Dark Man. Probably. So chat was probably he was one week ago and you're like, I don't fucking. But yeah, chat was making jokes because of course Dark Man is the movie made by the uh, evil dead guy. Yeah. Um, but I spent most of this being like, these guys just be called Dark Shadows is reminding me of that. What the fuck was that from? Spiff says, we're on the same side. Now put the gun in your mouth and pull the trigger. <laughs> this is a clever reference. Superman's so cool. He's so cool. I like Superman because he's a good guy. He doesn't kill the villains too. <laughs> <laughs> Superman makes them have a proxy war against each other, which makes him a good guy. And his haze. <laughs> Temperman chugs piss. <laughs> uh, yep, now it's haze now, huh? Yeah. Rough. You know, you could, to save time, just throw these approximately over there to save you the steps of getting it close. It's true. Yeah. Especially since it throws that hard. You could just pick it up, do a 180, and throw it. Push it in. There we go. 
How you doing? No, Superman, what's it, what's happening? I crave to clip out of bounds. <laughs> Let what? me! Why did you do that, Superman? Let me! I crave the void! Yeah. <laughs> Why wasn't that a story in the comments? <laughs> I'm just going insane like he's Punisher. Because <laughs> wasn't there a Punisher comic? My brother always told me about it where some guy's brain got flipped for his and he just instantly goes insane from all the trauma Punisher has. <laughs> Something like that. I kept waiting for one of those boxes to warp out of existence when he throws it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, Bob, no matter what you do, try to get out here yeah. really fast and go as far as possible. No, just Jimmy, run. run! Run away from the child. Yeah, Jimmy, follow me over here. Okay, we're out of crypto range. Crypto <laughs> range? Your dog can't reach you? No. Oh, okay. Well, now the Superman, but Darkseid doesn't accept defeat easily. He'll be back for revenge. Revenge. Bye, what? Jimmy. Why didn't I pull out my Spyro impersonation while Alsar was here? Oh. Okay. Admittedly, my Spyro is not exactly an impersonation of the real original guy who did Spyro's voice, as much as a thing I wanted to make for Spyro. Oh, there's Darkseid. Hey, what's up? I'm just walking over here. <laughs> Man, I will destroy you. <laughs> I was waiting for you, Superman. I can destroy you. He didn't see it coming. This is how it went in the TV show, too, right? Yeah. It's in the parking garage. And Dark Side met up with Superman. And guy's butt just there, whipped. Yeah, there, there, there he is. Um, are we done? Sits down on his face. <laughs> what is this cutscene? I think we're done. I guess kill that other thing over Hello, there. Bob. I guess we'll call it a day. <laughs> ever ascend with an enemy in your arms straight upward and just crush them on the ceiling <sighs> this uh so what do i go back to the cops now could you have mind dominated like dark side i don't think so that'd be insane right it would i don't think these guys would figure out that that doesn't what i that was the we we're on the same side message so i, I oh, mind dominated okay, him okay. Yeah, I guess we gotta pick him up. Yeah, can we pick him up? Yes, I can pick oh him up. Oh my god. We should be lovers! <laughs> oh no, Bob! <laughs> this is insane. He throws him straight now, up no matter how what. The hell can he see? <laughs> <laughs> what is this holding him by the armpits but vertically shit? This is why the elevators are here. Oh my god! Oh my god. Yippee! I can't believe this game. Oh okay, I can kind game. of fly with them. Hey, uh, you got that, uh. You got that escort mechanic working, right? Because we, like, designed this level for it, and we really need that to work before we can ship this game. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Okay, I can fly up and down, but I don't see if I'll fly forward with him. Oh, of course, then they would have to rotate him. And that would be a problem. This is ours now. I can't do much <laughs> yes. it, especially in this temperature. That's true. Oh, I didn't kill everyone up here. This might be bad. Hey, Jimmy. Your butts with that, that dude? With the, the dark shadow, yeah. Oh, there are two of them. Well, just leave Dark Side back there floating in midair. Yeah, obviously. <gasps> There's health next there to is. this one. Jimmy, Jimmy, no. All right, it's me, Jimmy Austin. I'm, I'm here. Let's go, take go. Dark Side to the police, Superman. That's what I was working on, Jimmy. I'm just gonna talk to you while they shoot you in the butt repeatedly, Superman. I don't need you to kill me again, Jimmy. I hit your quota for that already. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. If we're good. We're good. It, we're, good. we're good. We're good. We're <sighs> good. 
There is something about this that makes me think, yeah, this is a Freakazoid game, actually, instead of a Superman game. It would make a lot more sense as a Freakazoid game, right? <laughs> You're like giving him a massage, a shoulder massage, but vertically? You're like, hmm. You're so tense, Dark Side. <laughs> is that because I beat the shit out of you? Oh god, a rocket. I think that that's the police car right over here, though. Yes! Do 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 do. Dark Side's out cold. We'll watch him until you return, Superman. Yeah! Superman wins! Superman wins. How did this game ship? How? Then there's no time to waste. Then there's no time to waste. You all missed the rings. You can admit it. Yes. Everyone's like, when's he gonna get back to the rings? There's people at home wearing like hoops on a shirt, like that it's a football team and they got flags and they're just sad until this. Then they're like, yeah, whoa. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? Hey, Bob. How? How did you know that? So I was actually able to play a little bit of the Solar Blade demo before I came here. Awesome. That game really impresses out of the gate with the, I, I did not expect it to look that nice. Well, then that's going to make it a strong competitor with Hellblade for the Stellar Blade versus going? Hellblade stream. It is. They're both going to be top tier visual f extravaganzas. Mm -hmm. Both using the UE5 and just going crazy. And also, it runs well. Like it Wait, has Stellar Blade's Unreal Engine? Pretty sure. Oh, wow. I think. That, uh, man. Huh. Beep, beep, Someone wants to double check me. I could have sworn I had that when I booted it up. Oh, I don't doubt you. I just didn't know that. Um, -doo -doo -doo. But yeah, it starts out with uh, spacecraft Ooh. entering the atmosphere while they're being shot down by missiles. And I'm like, this is sick. I didn't think it was, this sort of thing would even be in the game. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Do you think the industry maybe hamstring strung itself by making $70 the norm? In that they would have gotten way more sales on this game if they didn't do that. Absolutely. Blow the two tornadoes. Oh no, I gotta blow real fast. One moment, let me dominate some man to blow this tornado for me because I'm Superman. There's no way I'm just giving this tornado a free blow. <laughs> Dark Shadows just voiced by John Benjamin. He's like, let me get this straight. You're Superman, and you want me to give a tornado a blowjob. What does that even mean? <laughs> Whatever. I'll take the fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm Superman. I'm a good guy. I'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm the good guy. I watch you do it. <laughs> From the closet, Superman, like David, David Lynch. David Lynch. Yes. <laughs> Listen. If you're upset, you simply don't get it. Now give the tornado a blowjob. I need to watch, but I can't let you know that I'm watching you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think we need to talk anymore about this. The more you talk, the more concerning it gets. Remember all the graceful flying he did in the cartoons that looked exactly like this? <laughs> yes! I can't believe how many ring mazes were set up by Looser in that cartoon. <laughs> Felt like they were really falling back on that too much. Yeah, and they were all CG like this. Right? It's like a villain of the week, but <laughs> Looser and his rings. It's like, I've invented a new color of ring, Superman! <gasps> You have to fly through this one sideways. Oh. <laughs> so in an episode of Daria, there's a VR machine at the mall. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh my, thank God, someone, someone crystallized that so we can show people forever. Because <laughs> it's exactly how they looked. I, I'm so used it, to the, I got, back in those days, I was used to it showing up in um, fairs. Yeah, but like bigger malls had them too. Okay. Like big ones. Yeah, um, I guess I saw one in, in like a Vegas arcade. Right, yeah. Like, I think it's technically in, in Daria, it's an arcade. Okay. Um, but it's literally the exact design they would use, basically. And I was like, oh, thank God. 
uh, they go in the VR world, and then for one shot, they're like, 3D! They show, like, they're just standing in a room, and their characters are 2D animated, you know? It's dark. Oh, okay. But they, they take the camera and just go, 3D! And turn it up to the ceiling, and then spin it and turn it down to the other character, and I, I was cracking up so hard. Not like that episode of The Simpsons were like, oh my god, it's going to be in 3D, and it's like one scene. <laughs> no. Uh, 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 gotcha. Can't get away from Superman. <laughs> What's Mario like? Put in. Not like this. Mato says, I remember seeing those at the Santa Cruz Boardwalks arcade, but even at the time, I knew it wouldn't be worth it, so I never bothered. I was always interested in the experience, but even, even still, even I was like, yeah, my money's probably better spent on the other arcade machines here, but it was like, this is only here. Mm hmm. At the one I was at, so. The one I actually did was super lame because it was like we hooked up Doom to this. Yeah, you didn't play Dactyl Terror. No. Which, you know, yeah, playing playing Doom in VR doesn't sound that compelling. In fact, we did Doom 3 in VR, and it wasn't that compelling. <laughs> it it was amazing because of the quality of the assets in the environment. Mm -hmm. The actual play Doom 3 in VR sucked. All right, because you're still playing Doom 3 at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you're still playing Doom 3. That is true. That's a fact. Chris says I play Quake in VR. Quake in Ooh, VR two sounds tornadoes. Fine. Oh, God, we got to get blown again. Two at once! <laughs> no. That's when Superman must call it his strongest ally, John Benjamin. <laughs> I'm surprised no one in chat has been like, John Benjamin's first name is H. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know yes. it's technically H. John Benjamin. See, Bob has gotten so good at these rings. Dude, whoa, one whoa, VR whoa, whoa, gave whoa. me a migraine, so I had to take the headset off within 20 minutes. Yeah, I bet. Etchy John Benjamin? No, that's a different John Benjamin. He's like, oh, senpai. <laughs> My God, the camera cannot deal with having this much vertical space. It's impossible. I'm about to start editing out that perfect shade of teal and just putting an image there behind the stream. <laughs> that would be very funny. I'm sure people, that one would be super disoriented and sick and buy it. I mean, let's be real. Do you think they're not already? <laughs> <laughs> You're seeing what's on screen. Fair. <laughs> But yeah, Cellar Blade, obviously a bunch of Dark Souls inspiration and in Sekiro specifically. And same with some of the stuff in Rise of the Drone. But one thing I really like is uh, we can have a pause buttons again. No, no, it seems like less people are like bound by that. No, it's got to be exactly like a Souls game. You can't pause. too late. There's no going back. No, Lex wins! Darn it. Lex, how could you win like this? Oh my god. Yay! I hit start and it took me... Wait, last game? Will that take me to where I just was? Maybe. Maybe. In short time, your fate will be seen. Then there's no time to waste. Wait. Is this the start of that level? I think so, the very beginning. Oh no, I have to do all the blowing tornadoes again. Never hit the start button, I guess. Never hit the start button. That just ruins your life. Oh my God. I'm having fun. Why 
do we even have that option? It, it would be really hard for you to look over here to see what I'm doing because, of course, any time a building comes into view, it blocks it. Uh-huh. And you're doing the ring mini game. Right. The, the entire background has been replaced by the cartridge for Superman 64. Incredible. It's metaphorical. It's a real vibe. I'll walk there. <laughs> Superman, what happened? What, what were you chasing out there? And he's like, I was chasing a will of the wisp. <laughs> we, see, this would be a perfect tier of game to have AI generated plot and dialogue. It would. It would be perfect. Superman, you gotta fly. I'm sorry. I don't know why you don't want to right now, but you gotta fly. Okay, you guys can get your teal sky back. People are saying it hurts to look at it if they look at it long enough. If you want to look now, you can, uh, one second, one second. I'm gonna turn that feature back on. Oh my god. Oh no, we're no. skipping too many. It's yeah, gonna kill us many. if we grab one now. Lex can't win like this. I mean, he can, but we shouldn't let him. <laughs> no. He can win exactly like this. That's the problem. <laughs> Looking great. Yeah, no, it's really good. Very imposing back there. Yeah, isn't that crazy? This was... Oh, no, Lex. It went... No this luck. was this game shipped right somehow like this is not the quality of a game on the nintendo 64 normally normally some are this bad but geez like not most you're making glover look good what are you doing Oh, Superman, what, what is, what, why is there a visible wall? Please, let me know. When is the Glover slash Billy Hatcher flop swap? Oh, we already beat, we already beat Billy Hatcher. They're like, do it again. No, why? Eventually, sure, but under very specific context. <laughs> I don't know. This is too scary as a background. You already beat Mario Sunshine and did it four more times. Hey, those were very specific contexts. Oh, no. Can you escape my closet, Superman? <laughs> the fuck is that picture? It's Blue Velvet. The movie is literally a dude in a closet watching some shit. It's not Where primarily that. That is a part of that. Also, the whole movie has the vibe of that. <laughs> Gonna make sure that is. No. Okay. I saw people crediting Blue Velvet for the surge in popularity of Paps Blue Ribbon. Because Den Dennis Hopper screams for Paps Blue Ribbon. So then people who are David Lynch fans are like, that must be a good beer. And then they start drinking it. And as much as I would be like, that's not the case. 
I, I, I do know the, the main friend I had who was into PBR absolutely got into it and absolutely is a David Lynch fan and absolutely had seen Blue Velvet by that point, so... Right, and then would explain it taking off specifically with hipsters. Yep. Incredible. So, kind of hard to beat the allegations so <laughs> that. Kind of hard. I really related to that guy when he hated Heineken, though. <laughs> I made him very relatable. Then again, I also dislike most beer. So. Why did they put working lights on an airstrip? Why is why is this side of a riverbed a, a, an airstrip? Mysteries. Do dams just have lights on them that light up like an airstrip? Because I fucking doubt it. Um, possible. It's possible, but I fucking doubt it. I'm trying to think. I you would like think you would put it lower. Have, have lights. I think you put it lower at all, but maybe not. <sighs> okay. Funky Space Alien says, "Did you guys get a game over and get sent to the start, or were you stuck on this level for uh, four hours?" I'm going to blow your mind. This is level 10. Yeah, no, this is a very late level. What do you mean stuck on it for hours? We just got here. This is this is new content. Not to be confused with old content that looks identical. Spiff says, I would have thought you liked beer. It's bitter and terrible. No, I like things that taste good, like coffee. Not like beer. I remember only ever liking Kirin, but even then, I don't know what specific kind of Kirin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure oh I liked a Kirin. Oh my god! Uh, and man. Rolling Rock was okay. It wasn't good, but it wasn't as terrible as a lot of you know, a lot of beers. That's why when people are like, "What kind of beer do you drink?" and then I just go, "I I don't really drink beer. I drink liquor." And then they they act like I'm an alcoholic. Is always really weird. That is pretty weird, because I feel like, typically, beer drinking is more indicative of an alcoholic, because it's just something you can buy in mass. You're right. But it that's always weirdly been normalized the by, the, by culture. And that, <laughs> that's always been the response I've gotten. Because people are like, oh, what beer do you like? And I'm like, I don't like beer. I like vodka. And they're just like, <gasps> you must be a hard... Dude, you're so hard. A phrase I've often... <laughs> Anyways, um... And I'm just like, I don't understand where that's coming from. I don't, I don't understand where that's coming from. I would like to think I'm less of an alcoholic than the person who buys a 24 pack of Budweiser. Right. I would like to think that was obvious. Um, also to be clear, that is just the answer I would give back then of vodka. I like many liquors now. Like, some whiskeys are really good, but they're also expensive, so I don't drink it that often. But peanut butter whiskey is not super expensive and is delicious. Just say you drink wine, it makes you sound fancy. And then someone offers me a red wine and I get a headache from the tannins. See, that's not a good strategy. Two beers will fix me any night. Uh, keep in mind, I lost 30 pounds. <laughs> last year, so I don't know what current me would do if I drank beer, um, but I wouldn't know. I don't drink beer! I just recently got into mixing my own cocktails. Yeah, my favorite uh, cocktail is... Um... Why am I blanking on this? Oh, it was straight down. That's why we couldn't see it. Sickos. Yeah, this is gross. Um, ginger beer, vodka, lime juice. For some reason, I cannot remember. Moscow Mule. Uh, that, that is my favorite cocktail. It is delicious. Just so delicious. I 
feel like I've had amaretto before, but I can't remember in what cocktail. Yeah, Moscow Meals are fantastic. They're so good. They have so many different flavors, and it's all really well balanced. This is going to sound fucking absurd, but so I would give first place easily to Moscow Mules. But somewhere in the top five is probably a Jaeger bomb, <laughs> even though that is genuinely like, what year is it? How old are you? <laughs> How many of these do you drink at the club? <laughs> How much of a heart attack do you have? Uh oh, 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 we're almost there. Can it slam it, push it. God, Technologic. where is it? No! Lex, how could you win like this? Stupid Lexi Flanders. No time to waste. There really isn't this time. They found a way to make this harder, and that is having everything happen vertically. What makes Which I feel like is specced against us specifically because we're using the default view. Right. Whereas these assholes probably use the 4 by 3 view. Even though they defaulted to this one, so... Because uh -huh, it runs better. Well, yes. Because it would cut the field of view. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And lower the effective resolution. Do, 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 do. So you know what that means? Mm. We got to go back down to 20%. No. <laughs> that will be unplayable. But it'll run so well. I'll see the rings and everything, I swear. You'll see it, circle. And then try to aim for the middle of it. Oh, man. So I see you have a cup with wrapped things in it. Oh, those are hot dogs. <laughs> How many hot dogs would you say you eat in a death stream? <laughs> well, I have two there. I haven't eaten any yet. Okay, so... Did you eat any hot dogs, like, before you showed up to the death stream, or...? I actually didn't. Okay. So just two. Just two. All right. God, they're, they're so cheap at Sam's Club. It was two hot dogs and a slice of pizza for five bucks. Oh, also a drink. That's cool. That's real cool. This makes Dragon's Dogma 2 look like a lot of 60 frames per second. It does. It does, yeah. Um, I wonder how long it's going to take the Jewel Family to do tests on that new patch. Too long. Yeah. I feel like if they, if they were in touch... Straight down. Um, if they were in touch, they would realize that that is absolutely a hot button issue right for that game specifically right now and they would get a lot of views if they covered that but i don't know with them anymore they do so many steam deck videos and other things that you just go that there's no way there's an audience large enough for this type of video this many times in a row at least the steam deck ones seem to sort of do well but then they're a lot like we did frame generation videos again <laughs> like we Seems like, seems like these get jack shit for views. This makes Lair on PS3 look stable. Okay, now then, let's, let's, let's calm down. <laughs> We're lucky that didn't end up on the uh, Demon Pit. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of surprised it didn't. They either was Demon Pit 2 or something. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Dragon Dogma 2, I still can't get a solid 30 frames per second without input lag on a 5800X. I assume X3D. And a 3080. Oh my god. That's rough. I wonder what the hell the bottleneck is there. Right? Dan, you need to keep layer for factor five month. Factor five for wary. Just fucking name it Turrican month. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what, what <laughs> At a you... certain point, you know what the month is about. <laughs> Turrican, and then we play a couple rogue squadrons in Lair. <laughs> Factor de Mayo? Jesus. Bob, who the hell I made Lair? Shut the fuck up. Too late. There we go. Oh, 
Oh my god. Blow the three tornadoes. Okay. Three at once! Now you're really gonna need a hand from I know, John right? Benjamin. I hear that guy is a van. This game. This game is one of the most dire we have ever streamed. Yeah. Oh my god, I was really hoping Superman would win at that point. Why can't this guy take a dub? I don't know. Man, you know Superman 64, if it controlled really well, would be an honestly interesting use case, like a test <laughs> scenario. Is this game good if you can control it at all? <laughs> we, what we experienced before is literally nothing like this. Right. Because, you know, flying through rings, that's that's a thing you do in pilot wings, mm -hmm. and it's fun. Yeah, and that's, a, that's the best part of this game. But it still feels bad. And if you were in the maze, right? Uh-huh. You could you could, and could walk and move like a normal person with powers instead of a super strong person with major motor skill problems. Then that would completely change that, too. It would. Yeah. This is one of the few games reviewed by AVGN, etc., that deserves its reputation. One moment, I'm going through the list. It's like, I don't know, AVGN does review some stinkers. Like, no, they were all good, except for Superman 60. Deco High, there's no world in which that's a good game. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what's the most, like, what's second place go to? the flop swap of Dragon's Lair in Space Ace. Do we get to play a version we can pause? <laughs> right? Or do we just bomb out every time someone fl switches us? That sounds rough. Huh. Steve's saying uh, the physics and collision systems are probably the source of uh, the slowdown in Dragon's Dogma, which makes sense. That's yeah. what I was expecting, because Helldivers also uses a lot of physics and stuff and is he heavy to run because of that. But uh, they say if you're walking on a slime, uh, uh, slope and you just step down off of it, the game will stop running at 10 frames per second sometimes. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think you paused the modern versions on Steam and console. Yeah, I was asking... Does this game have no music? Bob, they have cursed the rest of chat. When you get an opportunity. Sure. When I get to a straightaway, I'll pause, and you will hear the incredible music of Superman 64. And you'll be like, I miss when it was just the sound with no music. Right. I think it's the opposite side of the building on the right. Oh, my God. Yep. There we go. Good time. Enjoy your music. I know it's hard to hear that music. Don't worry. I'll raise the volume. represents how Lex Luthor also didn't finish his game. <laughs> He's like, I outsourced this. 700 contractors. Oh no! It took seven years. This is Why all they came up with. I don't know. Sounds good to me, Are you okay? Yeah, for breakfast, I normally do something like overnight oats or some breakfast wrap or something else, but uh, ran, ran, ran out of oats. So, uh, today, I just had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich along with one of those like high protein fiber cookie things and a banana. And that's a lot of calories. Uh, but, you know, it'll be fine. We're just streaming one day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 
That sped up really fast for like yes. a second. Right? <laughs> you know when Superman starts clapping like this that it's running too fast. Uh huh. take this moment with this epic music uh -huh. uh, to point out that Masumi uh, also streams. They're currently doing a GameCube project where they have to play and beat every game on the GameCube. Oh my god, there's the ending ring. I have two, a and minute you had and a, a minute and twenty. Why was the Destroy one the before dark this so hard? I don't know. It's almost like they have no idea how to balance their game. <laughs> that can't be the case. Good night. Love you. Let's say good night to Tosh. Whoa! What's Bye. happening, Superman? Bye, Superman. Bye, Tosh. Good night. Is there any penalty for missing rings? Yeah, it damages him at an invisible meter. If he does it enough times, he just fails instantly. I think it's like if he misses it. Everyone says good night, Tosh! Stigabur says, see you at the beginning of Bubsy, Tosh. What? But Tosh is gonna go what to sleep happening? for eight hours. Uh, you won. I won. Turn the music back off and replace it with <laughs> That'll get his claim. Yeah, but Bumble claims their videos for some reason because they're crazy. Yeah, the person who does that is a literal monster. Right? An absolute monster. I would debate this music is better than the last airbender, says me, who saw Nasumi stream. The last airbender. That, uh, it's been a while since I've had to see the 3D model of a uh, game that is based on a pre existing IP or brand. Uh, horrified me that much. <laughs> I'm not even an Avatar fan, and just seeing the GameCube Fidelity Ong or whatever, or Aang, uh, really, really disturbed me. I mean, I guess I could, I could try the Buck Bumble rap. They couldn't claim that, most likely. Biggity bup, bup, bup. Biggity bup, bumble. That's how it goes, right? Something like that. Okay, cool. Bum diddy bee, diddy bee, diddy bee, diddy bee, e bee doo bay, e bee doo bay. bay. It's a different song that will get us claimed as well. Bumble. What? That's just Mega Man doing the ton. Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Everything almost went really bad. Uh, I'm really worried. Why? What's wrong? Well, Superman just flew overhead. And he's, all I could hear was him just being like, No, oh, no, 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 oh, no. He sounded like the Riddler. <laughs> no one else could see the rings. <laughs> you guys miss Mighty Number no. 9 music yet? Do you miss it yet? Such a banger though, this this Superman music. Yeah, I can totally hear it in everything. Yeah. says this is truly a nightmare <laughs> yeah whenever you get a second to turn the music off I'm yeah of course go ahead and play some actual music before we all lose our content i've relied too much on mighty number nine though i must choose another game we're lowering that volume before i do this one moment Another game is iconic. It's my number nine. Does that even exist? Uh, yes, Bob. There is a game. Okay. Okay. I forgot I was playing a game. That definitely has the same level of oh, completed Superman. feeling. Oh, Superman, no. what's happening? He got depressed. Are you okay? Quick, get him a treat. He's so sad. Here we go. Star Labs. Superman wins.
boy, Bob. There we go. <sighs> Professor Hamilton has escaped the parasite's clutches and hidden himself behind a force field. Shield. In the Star Labs, the parasite is trying to catch the professor by raising the water level of the tunnels. Find Professor Hamilton and escape together to escape to or together to escape Star Labs and beat the parasite. Then there's no time to waste. Never find Hamilton in time. The water tank will be filled with water in a few minutes. Ha 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 ha. Oh, it's that guy. I never even knew your name. Why just, I does the level start just me beating you up? Ha ha ha. I I don't I don't think you can. Yeah, I think I think you know he's talking to you right, he is. because they usually na, 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 na. What a lovely sound. Yeah. Definitely intended. I thought he despawned! Professor can hold his breath for like three solid minutes. He's Olympian or something. <laughs> Only thing I can put press. Hey, I need to do some of the keyboard stuff. Oh. Plenty of laser eyes. You'd think laser eyes would work a little bit better against the tank. The tank dies in like one punch. Okay. Uh, no, that's not a house restore. I thought it was. Da -da 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 -da. The compositions in this game are so good. If only it were accidentally the most shrill thing ever, right? Crabs? <laughs> what in the world's happening down here? Crab rave? <laughs> yeah, why is a crab rave happening down at the bottom of the, the tank? I like that they're all doing this. Like, <laughs> you didn't like them anime, but... Hey, what's up? You want to, like, you know? No? Okay. Why are you guys dying? <gasps> Ouch. Ouch. Surprisingly resilient, right? Hurry up! There's a crab on the other side. There is, but this is not the right way. Clearly. This, this is a bad run. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, Wait, no. So it what's touched my nose. I'm dead. Right? I can't swim. Then there's no time to waste. Star. This yeah. is an exactly Superman height elevator. Yes. I assume we come here with him and leave. Oh? No, it's just... This really doesn't work. slow. Okay. All right. Oh, it brought me up to the second floor right over here? Are you serious? I mean, you're Superman. You could have flown there. All right. I think that he was actually in that submarine room just on the other side of it, and I didn't see him. Yeah, he was on the second floor. I was staring at him. He, he was in view when he died. Right, that's what I thought that it showed, but I was like, that can't be right. That seems insane. Doom. Doom. There was a force field, however, so... There was. We need to figure out how to get rid of that. There's also a button next to it, so I just open it right with the button. <laughs> Superman is so big. Yeah, he's like Tom Cruise. 
really tall. <laughs> yeah. Can't hear anything above 13 kilohertz. I blame this game. <laughs> what if your S got really stretched in tall? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna give me a hint? Oh, whoa. Well, you wanna give me a hint I can read? Punch in the computer code in the next room. It's the only way to stop the water. I'll wait for you here. So, did, by next room, he means an adjacent one to here, not secretly the one we just came from. Because hmm. there were a lot of control panels in that room we came from. Do 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 do. This music's really fitting. Because it just sounds like dopey brand game on the NES energy. Yeah. Are you a control oh. panel? No, you're a tank. You're a tank of tank. toxic. You look like a control panel. I'm sorry, you're only getting one loop there. That's the same song. Why did you lie to me? Why is... Never mind. There's a control panel here with the, with the parasite. And there's another thing over there. You'll never get past me to punch those codes. Oh, is that thing the computer? <laughs> Flex wins. Chat, do you ever no just feel lost? That's good. Can't get Superman to fly here. Well, you know how big Superman is. Yeah. He's huge. You know, I should just start co-hosting the stream while doing fitness boxing. <laughs> like, I should just raise up this mic and set the switch over here and just be punching air <laughs> the whole time. Chat's like, Dan's such a good role model. And you're like, I, 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 I think this is unfair. <laughs> Okay. It's gonna be easy to fly in this just a second ago, Superman, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's do our brisk walk. It's all Hamilton needs. Did they kill Darkseid? No, we gave Darkseid to the Authority. Yeah. And like you. They're, they're just handling it. But once again, none of this is real. Should flop swap to make you guys switch who is exercising? That would be pretty good as a bit for one stream. That that does mean you would have to also get fed in this box and so have your switch. <laughs> now we get past me a bunch of those codes. Can I kill you now? Can I do that? Am I allowed? <laughs> Chat, are we digging this Mega Man 2 on Game Boy music? He doesn't, he doesn't die. Okay, maybe, maybe there was a code thing in He's here. He's the strongest being in the world. <laughs> flop swap to B, Kenshiro. When's the flop swap between Mi Hatsune Miku and this the North Star Boxing? That would be pretty good. Just right in one of the spots, one the other, the other. Yeah. Okay, that's... Do, 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 do. They still haven't announced, um, Hatsune Miku boxing for the States. Weird. Americans just hate fitness. You know, not once in, uh, 
uh, like the education system? Do I think they? Bob, there are boxes in this room. How do you think you activate the three computers? Where do these boxes go? But there's no lasers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you you now need to activate the middle one. Right. You did the left and the right. Da da. Bam 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 bam. He's letting you know to go get Hamilton. I guess. So that way you can bring him back here, and Hamilton can speak the world that word that ends the world. Yeah, I feel like not once in the education system do they stress the uh, importance of exercise. No, it doesn't feel that way. I feel like they did a poor job. Wait, um, it wouldn't. That was a desk screen, I believe, but it yeah, it was cutting cameras as it died, so it didn't know what to do. Then there's no time to waste. Cool. Bum, bum, bum. Fried Potato says, uh, disa what the fuck? Disabling Steam input gave me a massive performance increase in Dragon's Dogma 2. Well then. PC gaming. What PC can you do? Gaming. Sometimes it'd be like that. Spiff says, did you guys not have PE? No, of course we had PE, but, like, they didn't communicate shit in PE about, like, all the medical benefits of exercise. Yeah, they're like, hey, do this a little bit. Right, they're like, whatever, go run the track. Like, it definitely was... Every PE course I've ever had had the energy of babysitter don't care, babysitter underage drinking. <laughs> Give me the codes. Yeah, and also, like... I remember once they sort of said the, like, positive benefits of exercise, but, like, you know, since going through the education system and growing up, you generally hear a lot of, like, oh, you should blank, it's so important, then you find out, ah, it's bullshit. Like, that's a lot of growing up, right? Mm hmm Is people... Though, that is three laser things. Uh-huh and three boxes. So if this doesn't work, that's the next thing we try. But I feel like this is gonna work. Yeah, that, that'll be a step for sure. Oh no. Oh no, this actually isn't it yet. We're gonna put those boxes there first, which will make these computers come to life. <gasps> oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Um, so, you know, by that point, why would I have taken so many PE courses and only one of them out of the billions was like, oh, here are the health benefits. I'll never beat me with health. It's help. That sure is the text thing that popped up when you died. Yeah, because it was cutting to that angle. Uh-huh. Losing its mind. Um... Especially when a lot of the benefits they stress aren't even health, like, quality of life stuff. It's all, like, superficial. Mm-hmm. Like... Oh, you could be skinny and then love. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't give a fuck. Thanks, Superman. Now you have to catch the parasite in his in, in this, this force, force field. field. Don't worry, it'll work even underwater. Wait, the water's still a concern? We haven't stopped that? Yeah, what? Also, uh, how do you need to use that panel on the left? Is that? Maybe open up. Well, there's at least health down here. I don't think that it will have opened the crab hole. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hamilton. I totally get it now. <laughs> okay. See. When I was going through the public education system, right? They're like, exercising is important because no one will love you if you're fat. And I'm like, that's stupid. But now that I'm an adult and an influencer in front of a camera all the day, I know that if I exercise, people will love me because I'm not fat. Someone's just gonna write that text in the Giga Quotes and be like, uh -huh. and he said it and meant it. There was no sarcasm. So. Follow me, I guess? You don't even want to follow me. Oh, so you blow up. 
I can't pick him up. Oh, I can't you pick him up. You pushed me too far, Parasite. Crushes a cardboard box. Yeah, I don't know, but there should have been, like... <laughs> the opening of this song sucks, but the rest of it's fine. Which, it makes sense. That's the horrifying music they play when you murder Wily. <laughs> Why did the music change when he laughed? Uh, cause, cause that's just the power Superman has, you know. Anyway, um, but no, like, they don't even talk about blood sugar in a, in any sort of informative capacity, I feel like. Oh my god, there's a fucking poll. Why is there a poll about this? Hey, at least there's no timer, Bob. Yeah, right. Bob, the poll is, do you love Dan? Yes. Yes or no? Skyfire goes, why can't I vote in the poll? And Spiff says, you must be too straight. <laughs> Loving another man? Whoa. One moment. <laughs> uh, he's real gay. <laughs> Chris says, this is a flawed poll. Okay, well, what are the, what are the, what are the other options, Chris? If I knock you out, is it a, is it a tiny paragraph of how harmful it can be to you and others to? It should be yes, he's thin. Yes, he's fat. No, he's fat. No, he's thin. Ironically, Chris, that is the 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 exact poll Spiff threatened to make the other day. <laughs> that is literally the exact. We have no ability to friend zone dance, says polygonal fish. Oh no. These fucking zoners and chat. <laughs> Dan, I think you mean Zoomers. <laughs> hey, remember when you saved Hamilton and you said, good, lure a parasite here. And you said, dude, <laughs> you're still trapped in there. <laughs> right? You don't even know where to start with this. Never to beat me without Hamilton's help. That's Parasite. You're not Parasite. Well, there's another one of these shields over here. We're looping on Mega Man 2 soundtrack, so I'm moving on. Do Mega Man 1 on Game Boy soundtrack. Oh, this is a good song. This is a real good song. Go chat. Listen to this. This is a password screen. So good. Good job. Yeah, it's Mega Man Game Boy. Ooh, do, 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 do. Digimonda says, I learned about do-it-yourself weights for basic exercise from a fat elf manga. More than I learned in PE. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Yeah, even, like, I took one of those health fitness courses in college even because that was part of the the degree you were going for? Yeah, like it would it worked as filler credit. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I can see that. Um even that was like, wow, you actually showed up and are using the, the weights and stuff. It's like, what is what is your problem? Why is it so weird that <laughs> why does America actually... have such a psychotic relationship with staying fit at all? <laughs> Make the parasite follow you to the trap. I you went to the trap. Okay. Why did I need to get this card in this random tunnel? Maybe to tell that's me that. to actually unlock the force field. Maybe. And now you can lure a parasite into the trap. Whoosh. Superman. Yeah, for me, it's pretty obvious. I've told this story a few times, but I'll tell it again because we probably have some people who haven't heard it. 
Uh, the fitness thing started because I had a lot of fun playing PSVR 2 stuff. Yeah, let's try the panel. Uh... I was trying to eat. See, once again, Spiff, this poll is meaningless. You gotta do the Chris version. Um... And... And I was cosplaying Mario for March 10th last year, and my mother was like, Oh, you do a really good Mario! And I knew what that meant, because that motherfucker's fat. And I was like, no! Anyways. I wish I had lost the weight sooner. Looking back at the older videos is a little hard for me. Oh, now that's in a force field. Okay, so we're going to put so him the, in that one. The whole pass was to make... And, and you could just in walk here. it. Where's the challenge, then? What's... Follow me. 84% of people said yes, and Spiff says 84% of people say it's okay for you to get cookout after the stream. Jesus. Okay, now you're in here. Do I hit the button or something? Yeah, I need to hit the button. I'll be trapped in here with him, though. You trapped him in your blue room. You can count me Superman, but the professor is still trapped. Um, okay. Well, let's go talk to the professor and he'll probably... He probably has a plan. Oh, no. They're shooting me this... immediately. That is cheap. I feel like you, you, what you've written in here, Spiff, is uh, very distinctly not what he said, but inspired by what he said. In fact, this is answering a different question that I feel like I didn't... I'm not gonna pry. That is between them and whatever. You will find the computer controlling this task... This force field upstairs. Use it to set us free. Is this us? <laughs> I'm free. I'm fucking Superman. Right? Why don't they just dig around it? Come on. <laughs> Also, uh, before anyone gets carried away, because uh, I know these sorts of things can make some people misconstrue, uh, it is fine to not be fit and it's fine to not be skinny. In no world would I ever imply that it's not. I just really don't like how I look on camera, especially when heavier. Oh, I bet this other forest field, the one on floor two, is now deactivated. I didn't need to read that. I didn't need to read that in the chat. I didn't need to read that. Anyways. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> the Superman walks straight down a hallway challenge. Right? <laughs> Impossible! What screws me up in older videos is Dan without facial hair. Yeah, I really don't like Dan who's 30 pounds heavier or so, or so, roughly, without facial hair. I really hate that that job kept me from growing anything but a mustache, which is why you'll occasionally see me have a mustache. It really bugs me. Ho, 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 ho! <laughs> wow, what a beautiful song. It's like I could hear the vocals through right? the melody. How did they come up with these? Ah, ah, ah. Hopefully I don't need to walk this guy out. <laughs> like he's a dog that has to poop. <laughs> right? Did you remember to give Professor Hamilton a walk? Oh my god. Hamilton, end the level. Yay! <laughs> and That's he all did. we had to tell him to do! Right? What did you tell him that sooner? I don't know. Which do you prefer, levels like this or the rings? This. 
Yeah? Yeah. Not like the parking garage, but stuff like that was okay. okay. I was going to say, ones like this just kind of includes the parking garage. Right? Everything other than the parking garage has been better. The parking garage. And there's no time to waste. Oh my God. The rings. I can't waste any time. Gemini Fox 83 says this game is horrible. Really? What? Bob? I didn't notice. What? What the heck is that? It, oh, am I chasing oh, okay, that Lana. other lady? Yeah, I was going to say for a second because how few pixels they were comprised of. I thought it was Mr. Mixie's Pit Lick. I was like, what the fuck are you going to do with the N64 game? The N64 game is a product of you! Right? You demon! Is Lana like another Kryptonian or something? I'm pretty sure. Okay. She might also be a Brainiac like creature because she's got a weird vest that looks could, like she could does be have a brainiac outfit i don't know if that means anything other than design language right lana no mala okay mala oh my god why didn't that work oh it did work no it didn't I just the arrow screwed up she's apparently a love rival. She's a Superman's childhood friend. Weird. All right. But like, Lana Lang apparently is a hometown girl who had a crush on Superman. Oh, okay, but that's not Lana. That's this is Mala. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Bob, I'm sure you're really just wanting to know how this poll went. Oh yeah. So the the poll question of do you love Dan? The winning option with 71% was yes, parentheses, I love fat. No, parentheses, That's too skinny, dad. took second place. Yes, parentheses, I love skinny. And uh, with one vote, no, parentheses, too fat. I Once again, I feel like just this arbitrary second layer of answering a question that wasn't asked is uh, interesting. <laughs> How could you win like this? No and that's what waste. happens when you miss too many rings. Yes. Lex wins. For the people who asked early. I didn't vote because I didn't see the options. Man, Twitch really should fix polls. Yeah. Because it's uh they've been around long enough where it's fucking absurd that those don't work right. Right? And it seems like they've been working worse in the last few months than they did before. It does feel that way cannot run her being here too. It's so rough. you may be like, we need to be body positive for Dan, but you know, when I get buff as shit and shredded and start wearing, I really wish I could remember the name, the turtle, the sleeveless turtlenecks that Zach and Cloud wear. <laughs> we'll all agree it was worth it. <laughs> That's when we'll all get on the same page and go, eh, he has a point. I guess. <laughs> Someone in chat has to know the name of that fucking thing. And Dan will get all the ladies. Yes, women. That is who will be into Dan like that. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about buying dumbbells, though. Yeah. Because, you know, those are transportable even remotely, unlike a fucking treadmill. Right. Yeah, but, but you know, maybe that one that you're looking at is more portable because it doesn't have a top part. The like, treadmill, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, somebody in that Discord was saying that you can get the ones that don't have the upper part for like 300, 400. And I'm like, because ah. that's money. And technically, Switch Two slipped out of this year. Uh huh. 
But the PS5 Pro didn't. But the PS5 Pro didn't. And as much as I would like to be like, well, that's okay. I can trade in my PS5 normal for it. Uh, my PS5 normal's going to Tosh, so that way she can have one in the other room. Oh, oh no. Boys, boys. Boys? Boys, boys. Oh, come on. Superman, like, traveling in a vertical way is so hard. Like, he does not want to go down. They didn't make any buttons to just move up yeah, and down. Yeah, it's pretty weird, isn't it? Which is very strange, yeah. This song is also stolen, and I wish I could remember. Chat, chat, help me. What 80, 70 song is that? <laughs> Do you think Dan has a big enough chest for the Clive look? I definitely have the frame for it, but you know how much fucking protein and, like, going to a gym to work out that would have to be? Right. Ah, oh, double mint gum! That's what the song is. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and also I need to build the new PC. Hmm, it's true. Yeah, so... Do it, Dan. Twitch meta demands big tits. Uh, so, so we do that, right? And then we just edit out my background and then put me behind Bob, but just in big ends. <laughs> Clear the way for the two cars. Okay, here we go. What's in the way of the two cars? Oh no, is nothing already spawned? I need to follow up. No, there's something all the way down there. Oh, it's two cars that are going to run into them. That's insane. Superman. These two should live, and these two should die. Three. Right. Three, yeah. Three. But these are gangsters, so they they deserve to die. You promise? I, yeah, sure. They're black cars. They all seem to be riding the driving the Knight Rider car. I, I don't know. He was a good guy. <laughs> um... Spiff says, you do have a jacuzzi tub. You could do a hot tub stream. Um, you are really overselling the quality of that thing. <laughs> Nobody's going to read your words and imagine the ratty ass thing that is Yeah, in it's that like, room. that's not, like, if a jacuzzi is thought of as something much, much different from what that is. Yeah. I do not have a jacuzzi. God, I wish I had a jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking imagine I rented this place and it had a jacuzzi? <laughs> there was an evil Knight Rider car. It's probably that. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. Remember my parents used to have a jacuzzi in it. But. Yeah, it was terrible. It broke down all the time and eventually they were like, we're not complaining it or anything. We're, we're just going to get rid of this. <laughs> Okay, you guys get two really good songs as a treat. Ready! <laughs> Jacuzzi's, jacuzzis are cool if you're rich and can buy a real one and never upkeep it at all. <laughs> right, if you can pay someone else to upkeep it. Oh man, I'm sure that's great. You know, when I was promoting Gamma Chris, I probably should have mentioned the Halloween and April thing. <laughs> it was like his jacuzzi? I should have mentioned his jacuzzi. I go over all the time. We just hang out like bros in a jacuzzi at the same time. Like bros. Um, I should have mentioned his Halloween and April thing that's coming up where he's going to play DS Castlevania games and stuff. And it's going to be really good because I love those Castlevania games. I didn't think about it until somebody mentioned it. <laughs> Apparently you're five feet apart. Yeah. Five feet apart. Six feet apart. <laughs> like bros. <laughs> um, no, I should have brought that up. I'm very excited for that. I love the DS Castlevania games. Which is why I'm throwing my own event in Castlevania. You have to beat Castlevania games, and I give you a sticker on a card, but my card only includes Egovanius. <laughs> how many 12 to 20 hour games can you beat in this month? This is healthy. 
<laughs> we do all of them in the first three days and everyone's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I'm like, weird, everyone stopped sending them in. Yeah, it's like, ca well, I mean, Gamma Chris's thing isn't just Castlevania. Well, no, 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 that's too many. Oh no. One minute, it's fine, it's fine, I can recover. I don't know. I actually here's 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 the hard thing. Okay. Okay. Um, I actually do worry because of my capacity for muscle growth mm -hmm. that my exercising will result in me not losing weight and instead gaining muscle, and I will never actually <laughs> break two tornadoes. Two hundred pounds. Even though I am eating somewhere between a net calorie of 1,500 to 1,800 a day, uh -huh. I'm still worried somehow I will never break through 200 pounds. I mean, at least you'll look that wildly different at, at that same weight. I mean, sure. Then there's but no I would time. like number to go below number. I would like to see line go down. I am like evil Silicon Valley man. Number go down. <laughs> Hidden Porpoise is like, oh no, I may become swole, hyphen Dan. No shit, that actually is a huge reason why I never got into fitness, because I very quickly figured that out about my body, and I was never interested in being stocky. It was a thing that just was what I was born with. So that legit actually is real. You are not going to put enough muscle on to negate weight gain. No, I, I know what you meant, Chris, but my source of the last week tends to, tends to disagree. It'll, it'll fit out long term, right? No, will Lex win? Lex didn't win! Ha! How do you like that, Lex? <laughs> Did you know that Twitch won't let you use the word tweak in a poll? Yeah, I think that came up before, actually. I'm, tell I'm telling this story. I'm stealing Gamma Chris's story. Gamma Chris uh, thought that was a bad word for a little bit there because the context wasn't clear. <laughs> I was like, that's amazing! Don't use the T word. <laughs> Now watch the confusion watch wash over someone's face as you say that and they're like one moment one moment <laughs> do hmm <you> tits <laughs> no turf no that's fine to say no 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 no, no. uh and they just sweat Running through. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, these are the same option. Spiff, you have written the same thing with two different languages. Like, these are just two different ways. Maybe Spiff shouldn't make any more balls. <laughs> Which would you rather see? Shredded as fuck, Dan, or Twunk Dan? I feel like nobody calls a twink shredded. Right? No. I well, feel like I feel like if you're actually shredded, that may shake that. I don't know. Well, a twunk is, is shredded. Twunk like. is definitely fucking shredded. Right. Definitively has to be. So those okay. that feels like two ways to say the same thing then. Right. Right, twinks are inherently not shredded. And since, once again, I never wanted to be a stocky dude, I definitely wanted to be skinnier. That was part of why I didn't get into working out and stuff. Okay. Uh, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I now have another five minutes of rings clearing. I want I want the game to end on one of these missions, though. 
I don't want it to be like a real mission. I want it to be like you went through the rings. You won. Oh, you got my last ring, Superman. Damn you. Right? And then it ends. Uh, Errant Bunny says, I think a shredded tweak is just dehydrated. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, that's, you know what? Yeah, that's accurate. Second chat, I'm looking for a Chrono Trigger song. We're gonna see if this is the right one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sounds appropriate for Superman 64. Yo, listen to that stereo panning. I didn't know we'd still be doing rings. <laughs> Bob's gonna be Bob's gonna be <laughs> Traumatized during Sonic Month. <laughs> I don't like rings anymore. The rings used to be funny. They used to be not so funny, funny anymore. Oh yeah, when is that Knuckles series premiering? I know it's soon. Yeah, I think, I think it's soon. They've been posting pictures of Knuckles with the hat. And I'm like, oh man, they, they get it. What if it's already out and no one talked about it? I mean, maybe. Dreaming shows be like that. April. Ooh. But yeah, real close. That's technically. Is it an April Fool's joke? Are they putting it out on the first? God, the Ark series is out. That's so funny. The what? The Ark. Oh, the survival. Ark Survival Evolved. Fuck! Yeah. Yeah. The lava scream is like one of the most amazing sound effects ever made on the Super Nintendo. It is. Absolutely insane. Man. Fat, uh, chat decided uh, Twunk Dan, evidently. Okay. So I guess I. So gotta, you have to, Dan. I have Sorry. to become Chris Evans. This is rough. I wish I knew how they made that sound. I want to fucking. I just want a video that's about that sound. <laughs> it's so fucking terrifying and good. Destroy the six dark shadows. Can we can we talk about how insane a sentence that is and this game has just normalized it? Right, that is pretty crazy. That sounds like something Yusuke should be doing in the fucking nightmare cave. Like, I internally, right? Right. Um, wow. April 26th. Wow. Cool. So we got some time. That wow was oh. really loud. Come on, Superman. There we go. Oh, he blew off his friend. Good, good. We take those. How is that not the end of this? This feels like it's so many more than Collect like my hula hoop, Superman. Yeah, no, this is this is long. Like, I wonder, it, maybe this is the last level. Yeah, I feel like the next maze level is gonna be it. Because we saved everybody. We got yeah, Lois, we got Jimmy, and we got Hamilton. Those were the three guys. I don't think there was a force. <laughs> How does Lois feel about your color? <laughs> we're like, what's up, bro? Hey, dude. Hey, champ. How's it going? She's like, I love you. <laughs> Why don't you see me as a lady? We're just all, we're all bros here. We're all just uh, bros here. <laughs> and then you'd get in the hot tub with her, but six feet away. <laughs> Five feet away. Why did I look? Why couldn't I just hold on to the faith that this would end soon? Right. That's definitely Silver Age Lois energy. <laughs> mm, we need other songs. We need other songs. Make sure to instill that ring trauma right now. Mm -hmm. Might as well bake that in. 
sucks. You can't win like this. I wonder if people speedrun this. It's like games that Almost very much, definitely. Right? Would, would lend to that. With some weird deranged fan base. They know exactly which rings to skip. <laughs> Where to clip through the ground. Right. Atomic Heart's really a game made for speedrunners. <laughs> No. <laughs> but you can clip through the ground. Obviously, that's what speedrunners want. Are you serious? I can't fit. I can't fit. Cigarette's too big. I'm going to have to go around the building. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Please don't kill me with blacks. Oh, thank God. What a good song. Yeah. Scrunt. Fucking scrunt. Ah, we are going to check out the car. To see what else is on the way. Okay, then. I lifted a game. The Bouncer. Okay. No! What? More? In what world does Superman beat Lex Luce, or sorry, uh, uh, the Parasite, Dark Side, and Metallo? And it's like, but but Lucer's still on that large. The real problem. He's so smart. Probably whatever they would have made after Justice League if they made anything after Justice League. <laughs> This is like if WarioWare levels were five minutes apart, right? <laughs> <laughs> Taiyuma says, I had trouble finding a climbing thing in Rebirth because it's one of the only ones not marked in yellow. Fellas, am I the bad gamer the Twitter posts talk about? Look, I... Everyone should play Alone in the Dark 2008 uh -huh. to get a true understanding of... No, yellow paint. Put it everywhere. Do it. I don't want to be stuck in a room with a forklift for an hour because they didn't highlight in any way because the thing you could lift. Because they didn't model the thing properly. It was a pile of dirt. <laughs> yes. Those motherfuckers. It was really fun running into that Twitter post where it was like, yo, Vincent Nergis acts like Mishima. <laughs> and then someone in our fan discord, I don't remember who, was just like, man, they really think we're making Tekken here. And I'm like, guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> he did make Tekken. <laughs> he made Virtual Fighter and Tekken and Toball and then Nergis and then the Bouncer. And then he's and like, the, I'm done, I peed. And then the world was cruel. And he worked on an Xbox game, and then he made, what was it, Psy Girls, Crimson Girls, Oh, whatever. Crimson Tears? Crimson Tears. He's like, I don't think he worked on Psy Girls. No, but he did work on Crimson, Crimson Tears. That is his company. Um, by the way, apparently he did, uh, he did oh, no. game design on Kakuto Chojin for uh, Xbox, which is crazy. What is that? That's the weird fighting game. Oh, yeah, Kakuto Chojin. Yeah, with the weird Kabuki guy on the cover or yeah, something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Superman wins. And Superman I... always wins. Ignore all the times he lost. Ignore them. 
But yeah, I've never played Kakuto Chojin. So, tempted. Yeah. Really tempted, now that I know it's made by him. Oh, one second. Lex Luthor's troop have invaded the city through the subways. Only Superman can stop them from taking over the city. The city, reminder, isn't real. Right. Because like none of this Superman. is. There's a lot of job for Superman. There's a job for Superman. Bam. Okay. <laughs> It's like they set it up as an obstacle that could kill you, and then they're like, but wait, you're Superman. That wouldn't kill you. And they cared about that for once? Because these missiles hurt me plenty. The Superman stealth kill. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got some sort of hallway here. We need a new Aragis. Yes, we do. Really bad. The plot of this game is Lex Luthor really wants to sell his PSVR 2 or sell you on a PSVR 2. Yeah, you thought Superman would try it for this long and he would be like, oh man, I got him. <laughs> Are you looking for secret? No one's looking for the end of the level. I don't think the normal song for this in the game ever gets to this end of this track where it uses an organ, mm -hmm. like an electronic organ. Oh my god. Don't shoot those missiles, guys. That's not cool. I know what song to listen to next. I'm pretty sure I have it. The goat. Hell yeah, I do. Great. I hope you all are ready. I hope your ass is fully seated. <laughs> oh my god, Lex wins. This looks like a job for Superman. Oh no, I'm stuck in the in the train. Fine. Everything's fine now. Yeah. I'm so fast you couldn't possibly shoot me with rockets, <laughs> right? Jesus. Goof. I look forward to the day another streamer graces me with an ever grace stream. Because <laughs> none of them do it. It's just us. <laughs> Nobody's brave enough. No one's brave enough. Plus, PS2 emulation's rough. Yeah. The real, real store spot that somebody should do something about. <laughs> Dan, you can fix that gaslight rig into doing it. Didn't he play a little bit and then quit at some point? Yeah, I think he... I think he was playing it. Yeah, I could have sworn that happened. There's no way we both had a hallucination of Rick playing it, so he must have been playing it. We must have just stumbled into it and go, oh, man. That's crazy. Someone else is playing it. I thought your your biceps just made the shotgun sound like there. Exit. I'd play Evergrace. I just need streaming materials at Evergrace. Is that all? It's okay. Sony's here to give us Ratchet and Clank size matters for the PSP. Wow, Sony, you're so cool. Base. It'll be nice when their PS2, their new PS2 emulator, actually gets done. Because there were leaks. Yeah. Leaks and rumors. But it's like, if we're going to put it on a trustworthy scale, it's probably like C. Right. You know, not A or B. Who knows? Maybe Vox will play it once she gets her PS2 retro situation solved. Oh, yeah, maybe. That'd be cool. I mean, she likes Dark Souls. Right. One. 
I don't, I don't think she's played any other Dark Souls games. Whether that's 2, 3, uh, Demon Souls, or um, Elden Ring. I can't remember what her interest was. I think she played Elden in. Ring, but not the others. Uh, no, I think she was not interested in Elden Ring. Okay. Because I know Dot likes Elden Ring, if I remember correctly, but Vox seemed not interested. I don't know. Can we play PS2 games on PS5 someday? Is that a thing? Who knows? Who knows if they'll get it out. But yeah, the, the reason... One of the main reasons they... Uh, they can't use the current emulators that it's a security risk. Another reason is the emulator has fucking problems on PS5 for some reason. VTN Wesley says, if it's a PS5 Pro only thing, I'll probably never buy another Sony thing again. Same time, that's a pretty good sale, sale point for them. Right, yeah. Like, like, I mean, that if that's the only way they could do it, right? Wait, what does that say? Something about tunnels. Chat, someone clip it in Dallas. Let's see, you're trapped, Superman. These tunnels will be your grave. Grave. This, this tomb will be your grave. Do you guys think you can, can trap Superman in a tunnel by caving it in? Are you serious? You think that would work? All right. Let's just play along. I wonder if anyone ever figured out what the song for We of Boomers is. <laughs> Bam! What a good fucking song. Yeah, Jesus, we good. used to just fucking whip ass, didn't we? Down, down, down. And this isn't even one of the soul stolen songs. <laughs> oh my God. I think I'm supposed to kill everyone. This looks like a job for Superman. A Dragon Ball game? No. Yeah, I've forgotten what it's from. I'll let you know it's not directly in the game. This is the CD version of it. Mm. For a soundtrack. So don't let it guide you by thinking it has to be a CD quality audio capable console. Right. Oh, Baydog got it. It's Double Dragon 2. Oh my god. That's why I said it's not the stolen song because it's not Easy Lover. <laughs> which is which is I think level 2 in Double Dragon 2's boo do 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 boo 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 do 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 Lover. You gotta hold on, you believe it. You know? Mm hmm. But you know, if you're gonna steal a song, that's a pretty good song. It's a pretty good song. It's a pretty good song. God. Easy Lover was in some Jake side scroller dot level was playing a while ago, too. Oh, that's awesome. This looks like I wish I knew which one. Boys, 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 boys. Chat wins. Does chat really feel like they're winning as we see this game extended out into infinity? Can I block in midair? I can. Yeah. That's supposed to block these rockets. Yes, that is picture of a ghost ship. You know, I should just make a list uh -huh. of like games I would love to co-host or just lurk in chat for <laughs> and then give them to my streamer friends. <laughs> Oh, 
how do I trick, how do I cast a spell on Gamma Chris to get him to stream dragon seeds? <laughs> Do you like pet simulators? Do you like cute dragons? Ignore the paper, rock, scissors combat. <laughs> and the difficulty. Yeah. It's <laughs> the only reason I haven't been in that game. Oh, hi, Sara. Sara, you... I, I feel like you know Dragon Seeds, but I could be mixing that up with the other PS1 game I feel like no one had ever heard of is uh, Azure Dreams, which I know you know. I'm gonna fall through the floor. Wesley says second. Chris is a good sport. He'll probably play crap for you. Hello. What? Who said it was crap? I just said it was hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Sara did also play Dragon Seas. That's what I thought. But part of me got concerned that I was just like, wow. They just can bombard me with missiles and kill me instantly. Little did you know, Heavy Arms was down here. Right? This Here's a question. Like can you get eye lasers from anywhere? And no. can you, in fact, vaporize them from That's around the corner? Dad. No, I can't find any power-ups in this. Which is crazy. It's like the one level about killing everyone. No power-ups. No. No. Somebody has to stop, Bob. <laughs> the game's doing a good enough job. It sure is. Next time on this episode of the Rant is Gal, I'm going to explain why you shouldn't buy a GPU right now. This will be valid advice for the next eight years. Just don't do it. NVIDIA stays winning. God, their stock price is so insane right now. It, it really feels like the moment the bubble bot bursts on fucking AI. AI, we're done. It was really funny, the whole Digital Foundry video about the PS5 Pro. They're like, oh, the CPU in that console is going to be a real problem going forward. And then John Linneman comes back to the next DF Direct to go, yeah, every developer I talk to says it's fine. <laughs> Unless you're specifically making Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> right? Which, uh, let's take a look. No. Only one company was making that. What a good song! Chat, did you know that I play good music? <laughs> Next episode of the Randys Go, why setting a timer on your Dotathon is a terrible idea! No, oh, Superman, don't go, go into parallel parking mode. That's not good. Beep. Beep. Backing up. Beep. Hit him with your super dog. Oh, you him. landed on him and crushed him. <laughs> good job, Summer. <laughs> Doesn't feel very heroic that you've done this, but good job. <gasps> no! Get the... Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you serious? Well, Zipper Hands, the good news is FSR 3 is vastly better than FSR 2 so far from the looks of it, and that's supposed to deploy this year, so. Um, also, it sounds like that PlayStation Super Resolution stuff that's going to be in the PS5 Pro is also a good solution, so it seems like we might be done with really bad solutions finally. I know, right? Right. Because, man, Temporal AA is good in concept, but terrible in execution almost everywhere. Uh, Intel's XESS, as I recall it, we're playing Alone in the Dark again! Yes. No! Where is a box? Do you have a box? Lex Luthor. They can't keep getting away with this. They can't keep getting away with this. This exact puzzle means your game isn't done. <laughs> if you have this, if you have this puzzle in your game, you didn't, you didn't mean to. No one set out to make a video game about this puzzle. No. You know damn well that something went horribly wrong and you're just coping from there. No one ever wanted to grow up to make this puzzle.
<laughs> think a lot of dark devs. They're like, yeah, I, I played this. I, I saw this in Superman 64. I think that it'll be a good filler mission for us. <laughs> it worked out great for them. I think it'll work out even better for us. Please. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. All right, now I need to take this box back to that last room because there's no box in that last room. Oh my God. <laughs> this fucking game. Whoa, good job, Superman, right? Oh no. Okay. So Masami, the answer to your question is, yeah, it absolutely could kill him on a long enough timeline. Okay. I'm worried it'll bump the box. Yeah, fair. Admittedly, that seems a bit too advanced for these physics. Because that's a lot of collision and stuff. It is. Yeah. I should eat a protein bar. I wish I had a cup full of hot dogs. Dan, you're jealous of hot dogs? <laughs> Is everything okay? This box might be ideal for killing these rocket guys. Yeah. Which is so sad. How they make you feel like I don't know. Jesus, there's the rockets. No, no, no. Throw it. <sighs> Lex one. Come on. Your health drains so quickly. This looks like a job for Superman. I did not envision the end of this game being, yeah, it becomes insanely hard because Superman dies really easily. It's like, what? You made literally the last thing you should have as a Superman game then. You know that, right? I feel like this is this level is actually the place where I saw images in magazines from though because it has a lot of Superman walking around in more complex environments like this oh. absolutely not like I said screenshots not the game <laughs> I decided since I wasn't playing the game, I could eat something a bit more involved than a protein bar, so I'm eating jerky. Holy shit! Wow! Yeah, we gotta get yeah, out of here. Yeah, just let the train kill you. This, it's over. There's a health switch to where I left over here. Oh my god. Man, I really do, do need to go back and, um... Watch the Superman cartoon. Literally haven't watched it since it aired. Wow, yeah. <laughs> God. Masumi says, I would still propose that your average bad this Amiga game like is still worse than this. The depths of the Amiga are like that unto an abyss. I don't know. I don't know. I'm willing to bet your average Amiga game, average, is better than Superman 64. We're just gonna make sure I didn't just miss something very important later on. I guess, Masumi, you're gonna have to do the Amiga project once you're done with the GameCube. Come on. <laughs> no, fuck no. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey chat, you like sweet fucking jams? I told Bob I'm gonna go see a doctor in like two months after I lost 20 pounds or whatever. The doctor's gonna be like, your body's fucking wreck. What did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> Protein bars and jerky. What else? What do you mean? <laughs> What did you eat? Uh, subs? Yeah, I wish I knew a good sub place here. I bet there's a non-chain good sub place here. Maybe. It's big enough. It is big enough. You'd think there would be. Dan Leo's? Are you making a place up, Spiff? That spelling is insane. My God! Was it running back? Oh, the missile that's chasing me is going. That's going to kill me. Is also killing the frame rate. <laughs> it's already killed the frame rate. Now it's gonna kill me. Fun fact: the reason why I like having active elements to the stream, like the Gigaboots logo that does the cool star swipe going on there, star field almost. Um, and the uh, Watamote thing. So you can tell when the stream is dropping frames versus the game, right? Oh my God, Superman, why? Why are you going to the ceiling? And he's like, I'm dying. I'm coming to see you, Elizabeth. <laughs> ah! <laughs> So when you're outside doing the ring levels, you have two flight modes. Mm -hmm. One takes you directly to the ground with the Z button, and mm -hmm. you're just flying around. Mm -hmm. In these levels, you have three. One that locks you into position to move up and down. Mm -hmm. Then one that goes to the ground, and then flight mode. But it's added another one that's basically useless. It's the big one, yells Superman as he dies to the set. He's always do somewhere between a third and a fourth of his health back. Why did he stop him there? Because okay, if he didn't, why would that? How would that cutscene happen? And he gets shot to death in the middle of it. Uh huh. Maybe since they blow up that, I go to the other end or something. Man, this room can't run at all. This looks like a job for Superman. Yeah, what's behind me when I first start? Explosive. Why is it... Why is that explosive door? Weird. I guess the trains are transporting explosives from the explosive factory that has a door on it that closes when there aren't trains coming out of it. I guess... Anyway, this music from Dragon Seas is very good. B, can I remember what the happy music is? Yeah, there we go. Listen to that fucking bass. God, imagine it's anything this game worked right. Like anything.
So you thought you could escape this way. Watch this. I can't. You put the camera in the wrong place. Watch this. I thought was health on the ground, right? I think I picked it up. Not sure. I don't think you did. Okay. Oh, great. Three Two guys. Help, Superman. Oh, you, you, there you are. Are you, Superman? I'm so glad you found me. Monsters are chasing me. Stop them and I'll hide here. Do I need to open the door so they can come out? So I can stop them? That seems insane, but maybe. You know what they say, if you modeled one room, you've modeled millions. Just <laughs> use it again and again. Right? So, are these the monsters? Oh my god, okay. Those crabs were following him. I guess. They really weren't. He really just wanted me to go into sewers to kill all the crabs. What's, uh, what's this man's agenda? Oh, hey, Bob. What's that? Uh, chat hasn't learned to yell at anyone who asks this question. Can you pause it and turn the music on? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Whatever chat's really enjoying it. Yeah, of course. I mean, they asked for it. They, they better like it. They just showed up and said, wait, does this game have no music? And then when we started playing it, people started jamming out. Right? I think it's sick. How could you not? The Super Nintendo 64 ahead of its time. You said Super 64. <laughs> Is that like the Ultra 64? Was that the code name before that? This guy's so powerful. I don't know, why does this sound like a PC MIDI for a point and click adventure game that you didn't have the proper sound drivers for? I don't know. Okay, this one's I broke. All right, I killed the crabs. Rob. Oh. Ice breath. Or dropping all the way to the ground. One of these two. Oh, hell. This is probably the only video game that Tommy Tallarico actually composed. Zero sugar, but then in text below that, not a low calorie product. What do you mean you're not a low calorie product? You're just meat. Shh, <laughs> shh, the fuck? All right, have I appeased? Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Solve my manhole, <laughs> Superman. Your uh, controls barely work for, oh no. Are you serious? No!
you're finally making progress. Attaboy, Bob. <sighs> this looks like oh, a job. It wants now. It just makes no sense, but I know, I know what it wants. So upsetting. Yeah. Why is it gotta be like that? Can you, uh, can you? Where I can die. You can do both, really. Weirdly fitting. No problem, Sonico. <sighs> How many times have we fallen through the floor in this game? It's been a lot. Five? Five times? Probably. <laughs> My god, Superman, fly. What if you got caught in every this object that, that, that doesn't even exist? Our society is full of cowards. No one has entered all the old school scores. For Superman 64 and a Metacritic. Weird. So we got to go find all the gaming magazine scores and enter them all. So we <laughs> figure out what the Metacritic was. God, I hope this... I hope this got critically bombed, because Jesus. What more does the game need to do to get that score? You're literally writing reviews like, I don't know. A kid kid probably like it. I know, but sure. A kid like, it. like that's the level of review you have to write. Uh -huh. God, stop shooting missiles at me. I'm in a cutscene. Rush Stickenberg says, what year did this come out? 97? Just order every gaming magazine from that year. 97. You are so generous. This was 1999. The Dreamcast was out. Did they internally call this game Superman's ass? Biff, Tangu Man gets three themes because he's cool. So cool. That's fair. Okay. Help, Help Superman. Designers just had fully lost their minds. Oh, my God, 
the crabs are getting out of the water. Man, how can that be? God, Superman. I'm hitting the fly button. Please, please do it. I beg of you. GameRankings.com, which is an IGN defunct website, put Superman 64 at 22.9%. Okay, just don't clip into the ground, Superman. No promises. Why they're fighting each other, but I'll take it. That's all. Oh, wait, no, there's more crab monsters right here. God, 99? That does seem insanely wrong. I was waiting for someone to finally just point out how insane that feels. Wait, didn't Diablo 2 come out around 99? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 9901, somewhere in there. Their Robocop game on GameCube only released in Japanese despite it being English on all other platforms. Huh. Okay, you may, you can make an ice protection to, ice protection to me when I am attacked. I know another way out, protect me and I'll show you the way. One second. He wants me to freeze him. That is really broken English. It is. You can make an ice protection to me when I am attacked. <laughs> okay. Uh... Couldn't you just not be attacked? You ever think about that? Now I'm gonna go ahead of you and fight these guys. And hope that that works. Oh, I'm being attacked. God, you're just like Lois. This a dude appears in front of you. Because you're just like Lois. You said it was such contempt. makes a Superman game like this. <clears throat> this is Column Dive from Columns 3. It is a single best column song. It looks like that's a really weird name for a Superman character. It is. Uh, is it though? I mean, Somebody for a regular guy in yeah. Superman, that could be a, a villain for sure. Well, he looks like a regular guy, but he's a villain. Okay. It's me, Column Dive. Hmm? This is what the last of us is. <laughs> that's, that's the evolution of Superman 64. Oh my god. Yeah, I hardly left you. What a good song. Yeah. Good go. It's worse than for those songs, no matter how bad the game was. 
Oh, they made a Game Boy Superman game two years before this one. So it's Game Boy original. Wow, that's horrible. That's horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. I and like literally they made. Right. That's insane. That's that's horrible. How'd they let that happen? Who if, would let that happen? If if we weren't playing Bubsy after this, we would just be checking that out. Right? Okay, there wasn't a third. That's good. Man, I'm not sure this guy even needs our protection. One of Superman's famous powers, the ability to touch someone and push them through solid matter. Yes. Be gone. No. <laughs> this is one of his best non-lethal attacks. Uh-huh, yeah. If you phase into cement and you're stuck there forever, that is non-lethal, sure. <laughs> yes. I didn't kill him, the starvation did. It's just like uh, JoJo's part four. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God, there's a giant robots fight. Just like that guy in Batman Beyond. Oh my God. Okay, you're getting frozen right now. Become cube. Superman, are you okay? <laughs> Just a start. What happened? Did my health go down? I don't know. Why? Why did that happen? It was cold, but thank you, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a job for Superman. That's that's insane. Yeah. Hey, did you want to try some of this Tillamook's Country Smoker Original Beef Jerky Zero Sugar? Sure. With the perfect square. Yeah. Not all of them are. <laughs> Many of them are, though, so that's neat. And it's not that weird, super thinly sliced bullshit. That no. gentrified jerky that I bought out of morbid curiosity. That was... Chad, do you ever get the desire to just shove meat-flavored sawdust in your mouth? <laughs> I hope not. I hope you don't have that urge. Yeah, so this is, like, fine. Weird. Yeah, this is really good. Where it's sugar free, I was like, do they make it bad somehow? Hmm? I figured the sugar free might make it bad somehow, but nah. No, as it turns out, you don't really need jerky to be sweet. Right? <laughs> you had me at meat. Masumi says Mr. Radon, <clears throat> the guy who's 100%ing every N64 game, says that Batman Beyond Colon, Return of the Joker, it's one of the worst games of the challenge so far. He's almost halfway through. Let that sink in. Did he play Superman 64? <laughs> I put the meat dust on my eggs, actually. Well, what's, what's your meat dust? Because that could work, honestly. Are we at least close, if not spiritually, but emotionally? Or then? No. Bob? Are we close to what? I assume being done. Absolutely. Okay. I have to believe. I don't believe that one will. <laughs> That's how Silicon Valley scams work, too. Right. I put shredded jerky into eggs as a treat. Or, sorry. 
Putting shredded jerky into eggs is a traditional Mexican thing, I think, says Chris. They sell bags of it for that here. That's awesome. That does sound really good. I've seen recipes that are kind of like that, but not exactly. I'm trying to remember what meat thing they used. That sounds fucking based. Yeah. Give me that and some fucking rice. Mm-hmm. Eggs, rice, and that. Oh, good. I already do basically that, but with spam. So, yeah, of course. Superman, we gotta fly. We gotta go up. Please, Superman. <laughs> it's like that emotional scene in a movie when the kid starts crying like, No, you gotta believe. Come on. You can't give up now. You gotta believe. Except for Bob's just doing that trying to play the game. Leave that for later when I breathe on that man. <laughs> About like from five feet apart, right? I wonder if I can just go back up there without killing these. If he's like, you did it, Superman. Thank you. Yeah, you have to wonder how many parts of this game doesn't really, you know. Right, proper. Work right. Like, you didn't check. Fuck you. Right, I'm going to do that. I killed one of them. Is that enough? I guess that was enough. I'll show you the way. Is there any way to make you speed up, though? Because that's what I really want. This song is just too good for this game. That's also true of the game it's from. Yeah, which, which one is this from? X6? X5. Maybe? X5, yeah. Yeah, 5 and 6 have good soundtracks. It's really messed up. Deceptive. Yeah. No, this isn't the donut level. This is X5's uh, vehicle segment. Volt Kraken. I get too far ahead. Even slightly, it just stops. Dissociates. I'm now just trying to pull together all the good music I find to try to get Bob through this. <laughs> Start getting into some really creative grabs here. Up on the attack. I know you are. Come on. It's. I don't think I've ever. Like. There are probably a lot to do it, but I can't believe it's acceptable that. that 
Oh yeah, how's the escort mission work? If you're too far, a man spawns in front of the guy you're escorting. <laughs> Where did he come from? The darkness! <laughs> heat vision for this level like come on what's up they couldn't just give me heat vision for this level i don't no. understand <laughs> yeah it was <laughs> just how it is sometimes man american says i've been going through the poke monday spots and as soon as soul silver starts woof lots of mentioning the 3ds capture card yeah you bet. I love that thing. So good. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, he has a hitbox that's too big. My entire bag of jerky I ate during this. <laughs> Did he attack? Oh, there he is. He shoots missiles. I have to wonder if he spawned a missile inside of me. The problem. I know I'm. I know there's a sign. Okay. What? Help! I'm being attacked. Oh, guys, there's so many things happening. I can't do anything when you put me in cussy mode. Oh my god. Superman, we need to we need to work on your motor skills real bad. Okay. I assume I need to keep following you, even though the hole in the ceiling now that I could probably leave through. Damn it, Chris says, I love to see a timer go down during a cutscene. Yeah, that's my favorite part of Banjo-Kazooie. Thank you, Superman. Goodbye. <laughs> Pulls a gun out. <laughs> no, wait! Help, I'm being attacked. Are Who? you- Who? What? Where? Are How? You... He's being attacked behind the wall. What is- Did the demons in his mind get him? Superman wins. What? Hit the button! Hit the button! Hit the button! <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? What at all? I can fully explain this. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Beating the robot uh -huh. blew open the ceiling for Superman to escape. Yes. He then walked to the exit. I guided him there and he thanked me for that. Yes. Then he got out of my, my so movement range. Yes. So someone spawned in to kill him. Yes. So I had to leave before he died or else yes. I was, it would be on me. Okay, so that's not... <laughs> and none of that should have happened. So we're clear. Yes. I know this is poor what happened. I was expecting some explanation that made it at all okay. Now, here's the confluence of terrible things. Oh, oh this has to be the last yeah, one. Yeah, no, we didn't even go to get rings. Destroy all the enemies in this town. Oh, but... but you have to face Brainiac in the hard skill level to bring back your friends to the real world? Oh, so... Oh, we don't get a real ending because we were playing on normal difficulty. I, you can't even be normal? What What other options are under... I thought, I thought A would do it. But yeah, that no. would make sense. Superman mode. Yeah, I guess... You could just change the In difficulty and load it, right? That's what I'm trying. It, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that should be it. Does that mean I need to rebeat that final? No. 
because that was the metro. Okay. Destroy all the enemies in this town, but you have to... F yeah, we know. Oh, right. The save file does save your skill level. Okay, we beat it. Yeah. No, that, that game's beaten. <laughs> Absolutely. That's... You all saw it. I beat that game. Then there's no time to waste. You're right. There is no time to waste. Let's get into Bubsy. Bob. Hey! Who the hell gave them the idea that that was okay? I don't know! Yippee! It starts on normal mode. We didn't go to an easy mode or anything. Hey, kid, did you just boot this game and then beat it? Fuck you! <laughs> no, you didn't! <laughs> you think you actually beat Superman 64? <laughs> Disappointed! I can't believe that. I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How do they make it harder? How do they make it <laughs> Superman mode? We need a hot dog. I'm <laughs> like, give me a hot dog. I want hot dog. Yes, you can close Dragon's Dogma too, but chat, do not worry. There are many hype moments to come with. Bubsy, the woolly strike back. Oh, not how this was supposed to go. And also, this fantastic drink we're having here today. That's right, today, Dan, going to be getting bucked up on energy drinks. With bucked up energy. Let's just go ahead and pour this out right now. We're going to see what sort of wonderful bouquet this has. Let's, uh, that doesn't smell like pink lemonade. Let's just keep pouring that. Maybe that'll. There we go. Nightfall. Let's, uh, it's got a giant thing of froth, like a Where beer. Are you going? Why are you yelling at me so much, Anders? Why does it smell like nothing? That's worrying. Pink lemonade should not smell like nothing. Are you looking for secrets? If it's called a death dream, then why are they alive? <laughs> Is that good? My exact thoughts. Thank you, Chef, for the sound. I know it was buried there, but... That's not lemonade. That's weird. That is like grapefruit at closest. Jesus. Uh, somebody made an energy drink out of that diet grapefruit soda. You know the one I'm talking about? That's Ooh. what it tastes like. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what that called? Catastrophe. Squirt. That is one of them. That's not the one I'm thinking of. Oh, hello. What is, what is, what is this? Just so you know, mm -hmm. you get lost if you let the timer run down in Superman wins cutscene. 100%. Yeah. It's okay. We, we lost anyway. Even no. though we won. Fresca, that, that's it. Fresca, there we go. Yeah. I feel like that, um... This is gonna be nightmare, isn't Boomer it? juice. Had a bit of a fresco taste. Yeah. And this is kind of like that. Except for that was much more like diet Sprite. What? <laughs> Disappointed! Oh. Is this the level of cutscene we're in for? Wow. Oh, hey, it's the enemies for Bubsy 3D. Weird. It is a sequel. Okay. So this is technically Bubsy 4. Incredible. Yes, PlayStation 4 system. That is what yes, I am doing. Yes, who's back? 
so, Bob? Uh huh. Oh yes, of course. It's what the people want. Would it even be Bob's even normal worth that? Man. I don't know. What do you mean, normal man? Just innocent man. They were saying that Woolies were also the villains of Bubsy One. Hmm. I mean, I might need a tutorial. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, his water's it's gonna be complicated. My kryptonite. Hmm. Oh. Only the arms running bad. Okay. What? What's up, Bob? Bertie makes so much sense. Only the yarn itself is running half frame rate. Before. Game is running. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Oh man, that jump is rough. Features, the perfect countermeasure to yarn ball feeling scum. So the the square button does that weird dive thing you saw me do. Okay. That. Okay. I guess they gave him a pounce finally after all these years. The thing Bubsy needed. Right. A pounce, kind of like Donkey Kong Country has a, has a roll. Mm -hmm. Bubsy now has a pounce. Hey Bob, can you believe Superman 64 did that to us? No, that's <laughs> absurd. What is wrong with them? I don't know. Oh, these platforms fall down, so I have to be quick. What if I want to go up? That's a lot of text. Mm -hmm. That's Bob's job now. Uh oh. Okay. I'll take it this way. Oh, wall climbing. Apparently, uh, Bubsy is voiced by the same voice actor as Gin from Bleach. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Gin Ichimaru. Right. And, uh, uh, Kisuke Urahara. Same guy. And uh, the developer of this is Black Forest Games. Uh, who did the most recent Destroy All Humans remake and also is allegedly working on that TMNT Last Throne game before they got 50% of their studio laid off. That's sucks. Yeah. To the maximum. I feel like we can map these buttons better. No, it's oh, I, I don't think that pause effect is... Oh, it's supposed to be like a picket fence, but the lines only show up on random ones. What? Because they're 3D. Oh, there is no control setting. Of course not. It's perfect already. I have shoulder buttons. Please avail yourself of them. Thank you. In, in the, impossible. MC Pumpster, the Pounce Master in the game, yeah. Pouncey makes so much sense. How did I not think of this before? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Amazing. He's he's trying his best it, here, right? right? He like Is there a veterinarian in the house? Come on, pounce! That voice sounds so much <laughs> like another voice. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what it could be. I wonder if I know this dude from something else, like I don't know, Sergeant Frog or something. It does seem like a voice that would show up in Sergeant Frog, that's for sure. Okay, we can wait. There we go. I just love this smell of wood. makes so much sense. How did I not think of this before? It can be distracted by flowers. Chris is saying, oh god, it does sound like Vic. No. Uh, there was a rumor that it's Vic, no and it's listed on I'm Wikipedia as that, but, but like everywhere it. else seemingly has e Eric Sterholtz or something. This game's cursed enough without a big Vic. Right? I like license? What for? I'm not Wikipedia. <laughs> it's a very trustworthy source. <laughs> Turns That's out he funny. never saw voice acting. Look oh, at all yes, these entries he has on Wikipedia. 
Weird, they all have really specific entries next to them, too. It's like, I'm still this character, fuck this bitch. <laughs> I'm still this character, I'll kill that motherfucker. <laughs> Hunting really makes me hungry. Is it Taco Tuesday yet? I wonder if they take yarn balls. This is not big because he absolutely only has one voice. What are you talking about? He also has screaming when he's Broly. And, and then his regular speaking voice, yeah. Soundtrack's interesting. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Do you think we'll get to the end of this game and it'll be like, you didn't win? <laughs> I don't think I did that two thousand in one night. I'm <laughs> just going to be like, we're done playing video games. Bye. <laughs> hey, at least that would make these the two worst games of the Demon Pit, right? And that they would both be like, no. You didn't win. This has the energy of an Xbox Live sequel to a PS1 game. It yeah. does. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is literally like, hey, Gianna Sisters is back! You like Gianna Sisters? And I'm like, who? Right? The like, sorry, I'm not European about? enough. <laughs> Excuse me, comrade? <laughs> I couldn't quite hear you. Oh, no! In a sense, this controls well. Okay. You the like maximum. Rocket Knight? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's true. The Rocket Knight game no was also idea. that uh, Xbox Live Arcade era core. But someone's saying same dev. You aren't telling me that this is the same dev as Beyond Sisters, are you? I call this shit from space! <laughs> Did you want to ask what's Gianna sister? Someone don't else worry, tells them, don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We've been through enough today. Has 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 Vox played the remake of the Genesis? I feel like she has to have, right? I feel like I feel like Vox knows this. I feel like Vox, of all people, has to play it. I think I like how Super N sixty four looks better. No, no Gamma Prince. No, it's it's true. It's true, Gamma. You're totally on the money there. Maybe you're looking like Super Red 64 isn't inherently wrong. There is something inherently wrong about these visuals. Space Man's pretty sure that uh, uh, Vox played the uh, played Beyond Sisters remake. Oh, Bubsy, you're so funny. Always. When you make these funny jokes, it keeps me from thinking about the bad thoughts. So you should say lots of words. I got him. Do not ask how I got him. That is not important. That's not for you to know. That's not, it is not your place to know how I got that foe. No idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. See, he's saying that because he's gliding. And it doesn't make sense that he glides, the so they thought, right, well, this is a good opportunity to make a joke. We can get some jokes in, yeah. Bubsy the funny guy. <laughs> what if Bubsy was like, <laughs> wow, that just happened. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be poggers? Yeah. No idea how I'm doing what the fuck this, is but wrong I with you? Like it. I just came from Superman 64. Obviously, it's for Hulk and Lady need two sidekicks. She has Pop and she has Bubsy. <laughs> In Forspoken 2. Yes, in Forspoken 2. I win. You know what? There was there was like a lot of cats in that game. Right? Yeah, what maybe. if one of them had a t-shirt on and uh -huh. whipped all the time? I would actually adore Square Enix AAA games just being like, fuck it. Just fuck it. <laughs> We're who framed Roger Rabbit now. The anime boy hangs out with a Looney Tune. <laughs> That would make me very happy. Pounce, pounce. That, that would, would uh, give the game something. That would give the game such an insanely <laughs> unique thing of like, oh, you want that? Well, do I have a game for you? In fact, the only game so for you sense. ever. How did I not think of this before? No idea how I'm doing No wonder this, this control scheme's this like fucked it. up. <laughs> it's made by people who made a Giana Sisters game, right? I just love this Just to talk about the control scheme for people who missed it. 
in Bubsy, you want to jump and then glide, right? Jump and then glide. Jump is X, glide is triangle. <laughs> Perfect. If you jump with triangle, which you can do, like that, you don't get the double jump. But I like it. And you can't pounce out of it. <laughs> I can pounce out of a normal jump. Okay. If I do the triangle jump, the jump, I can't pounce. So not only is it robbing me of my second jump, and on the wrong end of the controller. Oh, so many. There's shoulder buttons. Your fur dresser. Come in. Pounce. Air control to the maximum. You know, What's even triggering all these quotes? Uh, what do you, yeah, we're moved. Bubsy is just like this. We can't stop him. He won't take his medication. No he I'm doing this, but I like it. See, he said that one because I, because I glided. He said that one because I just attacked an enemy. One will down, and a lot more to go. Backhand <laughs> in your face. The weird no thing is, idea. like, this level I'm design this, doesn't even seem I like Bubsy. Like, like, frankly. Yeah. I just Two and Town and Kingdom Hearts 4, that would be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. No One idea. of those things they'd never get, be able to get approved, I'm sure. No idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. Air control to the maximum. Uh-oh. <laughs> Boys! Ah! You're 24 years too late to catch me. Not this game wouldn't be absolutely okay. Euro platformer oh, four yes, if the wall wasn't uh, optional. Yeah, no, if you just had to max out that wall bar at bottom, it would be just you're playing a European platformer <laughs> ten years ago. Pounce, pounce, baby. Pounce, pounce, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. How old are your references? Boys. How are ah. <laughs> You're 24 years too late to catch me. Air control to the maximum. Hans so is really this 24 years hungry. after the last yeah. Bubsy Taco game? Okay. Because Bubsy 3D was the last Bubsy. Right. Oh, you know, outside of Bubsy baby. visits the whatever music, <laughs> which uh, isn't real, it, isn't but it's more real than this, if you ask me. Right. It's not official, but I think they, they really understood the spirit of Bubsy more. How yeah, I, I feel you? like at no point in this yeah, game no are we just going to spin and descend into a coffin. <laughs> Where we really should. Yeah. I well, I mean, that's the emotion I'm feeling playing it, so of course right? you should just have it. Dude, I wonder how many people we know have not played that game. How am I gliding? I have no idea. Really these different quotes about not Is the gliding making no sense can be in this one game. <laughs> what? Is you just died instantly? I'm just gonna use the bounce to like crater into the earth. This is amazing! I love this new ability! You know they made another one after this. Yeah, of course. I mean, that one's good. I doubt it. <gasps> oh, yes, I am. Oh, I'm missing 12. Hey, Never thought I'd miss the variety and nuance of Gex. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say Super N64. You know what? Gex, sure. Yeah, I think it's sure, absolutely. Oh, this is amazing. I love this new ability. All are, right, are you really... Are you entitled to tell me, the face. player, whether or not this is amazing? No I feel like that's his job, this, actually. I like it. <laughs> How am I gliding? I have no idea. So do you need to max not out that, the arm meter? Oh, Almost yes, definitely not. Okay, but pounds, I want to do it pounds, once baby. to know, and I bet it gets even worse from here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, nice. The right analog stick does move the camera. Thank you. How am I gliding? Oh, did he ask the voice his own in Blaze Blue? That's good. Those are the same characters after all. Yeah, I laughed when I read that earlier. I was like, that's really good. It would just be bizarre if you didn't get him. Because I did literally keep calling Gein fucking Hazama, right? And people treated me like I was weird for that. Take that, you cotton goblin monster! What? Not, 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 not. No, it's 
pilot's license? What for? I it, just it may be racially charged. We don't know that. No, he just maximum. he just called them cotton gobbling monsters. Did I? How am I glad Are they cotton gobblers, I Bubsy? No is idea. that? I don't care if you're technically right. <laughs> I don't give one shit that you might be technically maybe right. No! Well, time to head back again. Cool. Air control to the maximum. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? Air control to the max. To the maximum? Yeah, how do you can. do it? He doesn't know how he does it, buddy. He loves it. <laughs> Is that a new move? Is it cool? <laughs> Uh, no. No, that's the other button. That's, that's true. You know. Yeah, I think that you went. Yeah. Not it respawned me Wait. before that oh, point yes, because I, I never considered why someone would come from later in the level. Right. Pounce, pounce, baby. What's what's the problem? Come on! What's the pounce, issue? Pounce, pounce, baby. Yeah, that's that's what they got. Okay. How is that all you only have? How? I how dare they make this mode? And have like five things for him to say. Isn't this the spirit of Bubsy? Wait, what do you mean he didn't talk before? He talked in my game. Uh oh. He has the exact same tone and candor as Avi. This is Chris. Jesus. What? There's what nothing even up here. Yeah, no, there's these, and I have no idea how to get to them. Right? What am I? Yeah, exactly. You talked before levels. That's Wait, true. can I? Yeah. Really makes me hungry. Is it Taco Tuesday yet? Mm, I wonder if they did yarn balls. Bob, you're a smarter gamer than me. You technically Sydney. beat Superman yeah, 64. Dresser. Yeah, what the fuck am I supposed to I do? don't know. Is there something super far to the left you can glide all the way from? I mean, you yeah. just saw me go to the. Well, yeah, maybe there's something really, really, really insanely oh high on the left, right? Heck that would do no it. Idea. That's all I can think of. That that seems like what a Donkey Kong Country would do, but no it would be idea. a barrel and it would just shoot this. you straight there and still right. glide the whole way. Anybody's sober. Yeah, no. Not no, not this. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's over. Okay, I guess we're never 100%ing all the yarn at level. What are you gonna do? <laughs> we'll never know what that accomplishes. Maybe, maybe Bubsy starts building an ultimate gun. I just love the smell of world in the morning. How am I gliding? I have no idea. Yeah, I do remember that there being some weird option in the pass. control menu. Yeah, it was like swap sticks. Yeah, and I'm like, why? Face. Yeah, why would I ever? But the, I see the option on shooters and stuff, so whatever, I guess. But this is a 2D platform. Yeah. Someone's driving it with their right thumb? I guess. Well, that right, means one. that you can't move the, the button on the face it's the face button, so how would you even play it at that point? Because you have to take Let's your thumb off of the stick. Uh-huh. To hit the button. Uh-huh. God. Yeah, that's the game I'm playing right now. Whoa. Makes so much did sense. How did I not Kill yourself. <laughs> I'd rather that's not. Fine. Wait. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no. Can I get a stunt cat? Really makes me Man, that pounce is, is such a mistake. Because <laughs> it just hard sets you on an arc. Right? So much that sense. seems crazy. I yeah, I don't know why that's the mobility move they came up with. Stuff. Hey, I'm um, just going to point out Cabin in the Woods is just the name of a movie and a trope in a thing that is not a cat pun. You know, I could pounce cat over puns are hard. Light, we forgot they even made those. <laughs> Cabin in the Woods. I'll allow it. Still not a cat pun, but I'll allow it. Come on. 
not flying. Wait, this game is oh, just yes, about just as much about the woolies as and it is cats. If you tie a hundred percenting a game to getting every single back. coin equipment, you should have in your hand putting the press oh, sensation ever. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm surprised that isn't Chris, frankly, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a uh, very true, though. No idea, Chris is Chris is in the I after like credit <laughs> sequence meeting Agent Everline. He's like, I had an idea. I figured you and I uh, hanging out would oh, yes, be I pretty am. fun. And he's like, sounds interesting. <laughs> intriguing. Oh, <yeah>. Intriguing. <laughs> game developer initiative. We have the initiative to feed game developers into wheat thrashers. <laughs> So, okay. MC Bupster, the Pounce Master in the game, yeah! I'm wondering oh if God. there is a progress gate at any point based on not so having enough wool. I hope not. Me too. But oh at the same God. time, they didn't design these levels to be hard if you don't care about the wool. No, but I think that's why it's two hours to beat the game. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I think it's an hour and a half. <laughs> Wait, oh yes I am. Double pounce. He can double pounce. What for? Oh my god, double pounce? What if he just yelled that? Would that be a joke? He did. Not right. I Wait. Uh, oh, now I'm yes asking I you am. if that would be a joke. No, that doesn't fucking qualify. <laughs> Backhand in your face. That's like if every time I took a beef, uh, a what bite of beef jerky earlier, Bob, I said jerky. <laughs> And we were just like, no what a funny I'm joke Dan this, has made. But I like it. Reading that makes me very upset, Matt Ho. Mm. What if it's like a, a, a Super Princess Peach and puts the gate at the final door of the game that requires you to go back and get all the collectibles? How? How is Nintendo making that mistake? Right. <laughs> what? Gliding down. I didn't realize Super Princess Peach should be in the Demon Fit. Pounce, pounce, <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, but that's actually directed by uh, the guy who did Goemon yep. 64. I saw. Yeah, that's I was crazy. like, oh, that's, that's yeah. awesome. Pussy makes so much sense. How did I not think of this before? Should we give him ground pound? Should we give him a cartwheel? Oh, it's Wait. Super Princess oh, Peach, yes, the old one. Okay. Oh, not Princess Peach Showtime. Yeah, yeah right. that sounds like something. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something era appropriate. Because nowadays, Nintendo wouldn't make that mistake, I feel like. No, and they'd have people there who held their hand and be like, you aren't doing this. <laughs> Apparently, Tosei made the old one? Yeah, yeah. Huh. No, Tosei made a lot of shit. That's why I brought them in for Armchair Doves. Where I was like, yeah, they can make a cool game. <laughs> Ah! Weird, Bob was making the same sounds during uh, Superman 64, Bob. See, how did you know that? Oh, yeah. What is this device you shove in the yard into? <laughs> like a weird calculator. Bubsy. Will it say that every time? No, it's been changing what it says. Okay, that's good. Why did that take you back to the title? What'd you do? Oh, God. You're going to get to the end of this one screen, and it's going to end. <laughs> you can't be serious. That's also not a cat pie. And being awesome. Air control to the maximum. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I was like, what is what is the most like they they try one cat pun total and it just goes it's just like what the fuck were you thinking making this joke? And Bubsy has no pat cat puns, okay? Uh-huh. None. But it's one in a million chance he goes, I have potism. And we're like Bubsy. Bubsy, none of your other quotes have anything to do with cats! Why is this the only one? <laughs> so if this joke, if this game doesn't make a joke that bad, I think we're in the clear. <laughs> I just have to stand up and start clapping if it makes the joke that bad, though. <laughs> it's this Citizen Kane scene, but it's just you. <laughs> no other reviewer on the entire planet, just you. You're like, they're so brave. Why, 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 why are bees? 
<laughs> I know this sounds insane, okay? I like to think I'm pretty open to ca like games doing shit. Uh huh. Why are we the first fucking actual enemy in this game? They give me a fucking tutorial on how to distract bees with flowers. <laughs> how is this not a geon? In my brain, this was just another Gianna sister game. Until they could get the Bubsy license. Yeah, for sure. If they're like Bubsy, that's way bigger license than Gianna sisters. Let's go. But you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but it's a lot like I've only dated five seven guys before. You're five eight. Whoa, you're so tall. Really? They should have done a crossover, because then the, the IPs amplify each other. And you just have an incredible game that's gonna sell like a billion copies. Yeah. Bubsy would say a joke, both sisters would go, shut up. This is amazing. They would like, one of them would be voiced by Starfire. Wait, not Star. Wait, which one's the Dark Necker Rancer type? Raven. Raven, yeah, one of them's voiced by Raven. You know what? Fuck it, the other one's Starfire. And they both just say, shut up. I'd buy that game. That would be too good. That would be too That's good. Fine. No, no one could stop them. Oh, did they yes, voice I act am. in? Like, did they get voice actors for the Gianna sisters in that game? I kind of doubt to. it. It's... Oh. Wait. So are the keys just for this? The keys are just for this, so I can. So you don't need to worry about anything. You can just walk out of the level. We, we think. Oh my God. <laughs> Sushi airdrop. That. You think this has a happy ending? And you're right. Okay. I'm done. That's fine. Come Boss in. battle. Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, right, Smith. It's like hey, Fortune Ruin, that where that you switch between the characters to see how the two Giannis sisters who say something witty to each other, and then the third no time you hit the button, it says that it goes to Bubsy, you just like says it. a racial slur. <laughs> see, I was thinking <laughs> Bubsy would be like, hey, soul sisters, when you switch to them, and then they just go, shut up, when you switch to him. <laughs> Somebody was if expecting he, this game to run at 30. If you hit him once and he just does he spawned and was dead, I would have lost it. That would have been pretty good. It would have been pretty good. Not fine. Wait. Oh, yes, I am. I hear the golden fleece comes in a variety of colors. Oh, of course. Even the boss battle has to have a wall. Are you serious? It just makes sense. It just... I'm surprised the boss battle has a separate level, but I guess that's way easier to design than having a boss fight at the end of the stage. Uh, I fucking hated the boss fights at the end of stages in Bubsy because they were bullshit. Yeah, so... How am I gliding? Wow. Epic. Epic. You'd think they could even at least write the quotes for each boss. Wait. Instead oh, of, yes, yeah, am. just all the same ones. The prodigal Popcat returns. I'll let fly see what for. He said the prodigal Popcat. Bobcat. I thought he said Popcat. Right. I'm like, what? Are you a Popcat now? <laughs> what the fuck is a Popcat? Is that like, Nyan? It's like the Pop Tart Cat. Yeah, like Pop Tart Cat. That How were they not Pop Tart Cat jokes? There should be more just terrible internet references. That's better than it's just. <laughs> oh. Aww. Two, three more levels, then the game's over. <laughs> no country for old cats. That's not a pun. You just replaced a noun with the word cat. At least they use cat. Yeah. They least... tried 37 times before this, and it was toaster every time. <laughs> right? They were like, ah, oh, damn it. We did it again. <laughs> I meant to say cat, and I wrote toaster. 
said, God, honey, is there like a toaster IP better. we can swap for? No idea how I'm doing it's just this, easier than I me rewriting all of these. <laughs> oh, finally, yeah, the Brave Wolf Toaster that's Game. That's We're going to listen to 2021. Yeah. That's fair, I guess. Is there only one Brave Little Toaster movie? Yep. Okay. I thought. I think. I think so. I don't know why that had such a strong impression on me. Well, I mean, it has it has strong franchise energy. It does. Even if it wasn't actually. And just something about the way they they shaded the toaster was always just very eye catching. Yeah. No. It art style wise, that thing's kind of nuts, right? Hey, you, um... Power Perman is saying there's, like, three different... Oh, okay. There we go. Um, you ever think about how we're two games into the Demon Pit, and they're, like, some of the worst games we've ever streamed? <laughs> you, ever, you ever just what? immediately <laughs> notice something like that? The Demon Pit might have bad video games? Who wants to do this? It might have literally the worst video games. What <laughs> for? We finished these with, like, put an X plates. <laughs> right? We're like, man, Bubsy was real fast. Let's put an X plates. As it turns out, these games are really fast when they don't have endings. <laughs> There's more level, and Bubsy's like, I don't care. Where's where's our Bubsy game when he plays David Lynch? Power. Good pass. Good hey, I didn't write the this The furry stuff. road to Walhalla? There isn't going to be anything like Valhalla here. Don't pretend. Remember when we used to get things like Claw's Encounter of the Furred Kind? Uh-huh. What for? Yeah, we're not getting that anymore. It's not happening. Gliding down. I just don't understand. Is this game just going to end with, why don't you have 10,000 wolves? I don't get to go. Because you didn't tell me. <laughs> I needed 10,000 wolves, you fucking dicks. I win. They're like, we just thought you would grab them all. And I'm like, why is that? And they're like, you just look like the type of person who would really be interested in collecting shiny objects in a high quantity. And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> and Bubsy's like, here, let me explain. <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up. I just like playing collectathons. Leave me alone. I don't need this. Teachers. I only like Every doing that in 3D. Like you you, fact. <laughs> fact. You're you know what? You know what? <laughs> you I, think, I think I think Donkey Kong Country is one of the Riding only down. 2D platformers I've ever enjoyed. Doing collect-a-thon-ish things. Uh-huh. And specifically, Donkey Kong Country 1 and Does Bubs use the R word? Of course not. Maximum. He no. has a funny cat yeah. version of that. No idea how I'm doing this. Well, Chad, I, I hope like you it. enjoy the mental homework assignment of what that would be. As I, I don't, my brain, could, my brain wants to keep going down that road to sort of explore it mentally. I'm like, no, no, no don't do that. No, don't do that. You might say it and then put, you, that, put that's your that's hands horrible. back inside of the fucking car. <laughs> oh, do not, do not put up a ball. <laughs> That's terrible. Bubs is a person that humans like because they don't understand how offensive he is to other cats. <laughs> Wait. Oh yes, I am. Like other cats, other cats can't speak English. Oh They're just like, oh my god, fuck no this idea. guy. Why do people like him? Oh, this is amazing. I love I've been informed ability. this is amazing. <laughs> a lot of wool. Shouldn't that be a cat pun too? I don't understand. I feel like, yeah, I, I don't know why there are passwords. I don't get it. I mean, the idea is they're printing out a secret pack to the furniture. Man, that's not they're even a good one. Trying. You guys are, you guys are bad at this. Like really, really bad. Um, I just know the background is like widely kite you and yeah. you knock off for no reason. Yeah, no idea that's how right. I'm this. God, why? I like it. 
I don't know, because the weird thing is the Woolies were supposed to come from, like, the Looney Tune planet. That's mm. why they always had those terrible sounds. Yeah, in right. In 3D, so I don't know why my planet is that now, but it is. Because uh, if you remember Bubsy 1 and 2, you were not very cartoony, like, background-wise. No. Not I guess not. Really that, like, Looney Tunes inspired hate. Cut that out. You know they intentionally have the camera not track me tightly when I do the... Out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah watch. See? Yeah, you can, so like, I can't see what's ahead, so... <laughs> then an enemy can calmly walk up to me, and since I haven't seen him at all, I'll just die to him. By the way, Bob, you know what's terrible? What's that? Oh, there's a scene there. There is! There's definitely not supposed to be. That is, that is clearly a glitch. Um... Uh, Gamer Chris had the same mental inclination as I did go. upon beating <laughs> Bubsy 3D. Of, I don't know, oh it seems God, pretty yeah. doable now. I, I, no just get all. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot there were even collectibles of that. Yeah, no, it was such a you to, to get oh, through. Yes, you, we needed it for the true ending. Mm. No um, but instead this, of doing that, I because like we wanted it. to see the true ending just to know what it was, uh, we put in the password, and then the game's like, you're a cheater. How am I and then did it anyways. I have no idea. Which was very rude. Not flying. Wait. Oh yes, I am. <laughs> he said, dying. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, we got we got pretty close. It wouldn't have been that hard to redo. Which is funny because the moment I finished Bubsy One, I was like, Ugh. yeah. As bad as Bubsy 3D is, or, in some ways, it's preferable to Bubsy One. Yeah, which and was two. crazy to discover, yeah, right? Nice. Stream. What for? Cause it didn't, because one of these has a legacy of being like one of the worst games ever. Like, based on legacy alone, that would fit on this list, just like Superman 64. Right, and it's actually way better than Superman 64. Oh yeah, it's not even close. It's crazy. It's Bubsy 3D. That's that's a good that's a good repeated walking animation. Watch this. Yeah. That's what you want to look like when you get bored. What are you doing about the two? We already did about the two. He, he needs to. Did we help you about the two? Uh, we looked at the title screen of Bubsy. I feel like we'll be the game. Not even. Bob's new strategy. Lying. <laughs> <laughs> we used to find level of the game. Bob's like, the donathon's over. Reaches over, turns <laughs> off the tire. <laughs> the underrated, more fashionable counterpart to the chain mail bikini. Wait, this is the same guy. No, that one had tentacles. This one has arms Air with like proby things. Oh, okay. Very different. It is. And you need to respect that. Um, excuse me. Why was the Mar pa that Pastor that Mario? The funny best girl responds with, it's funny. <laughs> you laugh. You enjoyed it. Stop lying. <laughs> you think this game's hilarious. God, it is. His his tone is way too close to Avi. It is true. I hate it. That's the first time someone's ever said they hate Bubsy. That he just explodes and he just dies. Yeah, this has to happen at every boss, and now there are 300 yarn balls. 300 yarn balls in one boss fight? Well, I'm glad that worked. Uh oh. Wow. You guys keep saying Avi, I can't remember who that is. Oh, it's the, the flying guy from night number nine. When we talk about Becker and Gamergate, <laughs> I'm dead. Pilot license? What for? It's okay. Now I get to collect these yarn balls. It's okay. Wait, his health bar stayed low? What? 
I'm not crazy, right? You haven't hit him yet, have you? No, I have not hit him yet. Oh, yes, I am. Local bobcat at large. Found him. Thank you, Emerlad. Thank you. The yeah, Emerlad gets it. They get the vision. Can you land so I can hit you, please? No, he's not into that right, anymore. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you, uh... This is... This is, um... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. His health bar stays there. That's so... F they, yeah, they absolutely know. They know. What for? The summon laser killed me after... Control to the uh -oh. oh, yeah, I was dead. Yeah, we may be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how long between each time you can hit him is. It's crazy. How am I driving? I have no idea. He has no idea, Bob. He has no idea how he's flying. Isn't that funny? That's hilarious. Especially now that we've heard it a hundred times and we haven't beat the first world. <laughs> Technically, Bob, I already fought a boss and then transitioned to this. So I'm going to say that was that, that we beat the first world. We're on the second now. Okay. Even though it looks the same, okay? No, no, it's, it's different. You're going to have to trust me on this. What if I help find them? Be pretty epic and poggers. Thanks. Oh, good. I try to be heckin' epic. <laughs> Do you think Bubsy and Beck hang out on the weekend? Yes, but I'm sure Beck despises him. That's normal. Right. I just love the smell of wool in the morning. It's supposed to poggers, but it was pa. See? A pun! Right. But the, the pun using modern internet this is terminology, something they don't know exists. <laughs> I got distracted by a thing! <laughs> if you look in the upper left, I have a weird meter. Uh -huh. Like, if you watch the number, just watch the number. See that? Yeah. What the hell is it doing? I don't know. Maybe that's your combo for points meter. Like, you get more points if you have a higher combo from killing guys or something. Stockbrat says this is a yarn combo meter. Yeah, your yarn multiplier. Oh my god. Um, I think it was Juice Frost saying that they wanted to go make a protein shake, but they were worried the game would just end while they were doing it. Understandable, but don't worry, you got it. I'm sure you can do it in time. You gotta do it now, though. There might not even be three, more than three worlds in this. God. In the time it'll take you, I'll probably beat the next world. You gotta let us know what's in your protein sure. shake, though. Oh my god! What if, what if my movement forced you into space and then I quickly moved into that and killed you? Uh, Dogbat wants to know what kind of oats they should buy for an overnight oats. Uh, rolled oats. Yeah, That's just old fashioned oats, yeah. yeah. I need to increase my fiber intake. They also make these tortillas that have an insane amount of fiber and are actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And like, if you look at low calorie, low carb tortillas, they're pretty good. I can't remember the brand. If uh, I weren't trapped in Bubsy, with a threatening amount of lives being taken by a single boss, I'd right. go over there and check what the name is. Because I also use them. I use them for, like, breakfast type egg wraps. Egg burrito. Okay. I survived. You have to show me your weak spot. No? Okay. No, not this time. No? Okay. 
Okay, but this time, though, when I successfully dodge his shit, immediately run out of where I have to be to dodge his shit. Yeah, now. And now you did even one more time. This is such a bad game. <laughs> what? For the demon pit? No way. It's almost like we took every of the worst games from all of our lists and put them on one demon pit. Oh, yeah. Right? Instead of spreading them across several. And that's oh, how this... Yeah. Why? No! no! And so Bubsy cast himself from the top of Mount Olympus. No, I'd rather play Bubsy 3D by a lot. Mm hmm. Bubsy won, however, I don't know. You have to beat it. If it's a, you have to play either game for 30 minutes, I'll, I'll choose that. This jackknife between these levels don't have a point. Dude, this boss is ludicrous. <laughs> and you get, you die in one hit. Right? Because that's how Bubsy is. Even though we introduced Even mechanic though, in this one to give him the shield shirt. Uh-huh. Even though the year's like 2020 or some shit, dies in one hit. How you make a real hard video game for gamers. Yeah. For the gamers. Oh, yes, I am. Yay! Unfortunately, I'm missing 21 yarn balls from the first time he dropped a bunch. Oh no! High noon! Yippee! Oh, that was a gunslinger UFO. Sure. Sure. No, it wasn't! Sure. Don't lie to me! We're going to space already? How did you think of two biomes on Earth and one was like it's weird a... grass acres? You aren't, like, you aren't going to leave the stream. You aren't. Did you just gonna see it from Oh back? my god, you might be right. Yeah, we're going. This Good might be you it. You don't have a reputation I played nine lose. from the outer oh, space. They did one cat pine. Oh, that's. I'm dead already. Chad, no I'm idea. so happy Our they did a cat punch for the level. Like I was worried they wouldn't pull it off. I just love this kind of world in the morning. It just feels no weird idea. to already be in an outer space themed but level. I, like it. Like I know a lot of Bubsy 3D is that, but that's you were waiting because for the opportune moment, I, I, that was it. <laughs> I said, <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Oh, yes, I am. Every, the, Cloud Nine from outer space is eternal. It will forever be relevant. God, what's the name of the director who did the. Um, Tim Burton. Tim Burton did the movie based on him. You, you don't. Nah, there's no way. I feel like fewer people would know if not for that. Not a massive amount. Well, oh yeah, probably a massive amount. I have no idea. This game seems to be really short if you don't care about extras. Yeah, the only real roadblock is the bosses. No idea how Which I'm the first this, one was a cakewalk. Like it's it. only the second one that was weird. Sure, I ended up getting more lives back at the end of the level, and I'm curious. Oh yeah. Well, like, how did I get that many? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. One bullet down, and a lot more to go. You know, <laughs> at least Blade Kitten wasn't this. <laughs> Blade Kitten sure is a lot better than this game. It also looks a lot worse, but, you know, that's what happens when you're being designed for infidelity-wise to be an Xbox Live Arcade game. Oh, yes, I am. Peaches, the perfect countermeasure to yarn ball stealing scum. Your cat, you start with nine. Oh, no idea I thought I had ten this, ones. But I like uh oh. It. Uh -oh. Really? Laser to my butt cheek. So I can't run in this Bubsy game, which seems honestly Everybody. really backwards, because that is one of the things about Bubsy that if you were waiting for the opportune moment, he moves everywhere. too fast. That's their that's thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But now they've put in challenges where it's like this platform raises and you need to move quickly, and it's like cool. Except <laughs> I don't have a run. Bounce. 
I feel like... I feel like it's really weird that Blade Kitten's like the only... The only 2D platformer of... We played Cat Girl? That doesn't seem right. Seems wrong. Did that say Sonic? Probably. I didn't God, they're brain dead. <laughs> yes. Claw Mageddon. Okay, we've got two. Like, this whole last set's gonna be those, because they, they, they're probably just ones they used back in the day. Yeah. Because, yeah, the Plan 9. What's, what's the next one? Kicks in Dependence Day? Huh? Okay, we're just we're just going to <laughs> we're just leaving now. <laughs> I lost Hello. two or three Are lives on the first this screen. We're right. Just, which is the this or X Blades? We haven't played X Blades recently at all, so who knows? We will soon though. Because we're within the Diva Fit. I'm living in the HUD. Yes. The area that's shooting me is dark as hell. Uh -huh. No key lighting. Uh -huh. The projectile's trail is about the same color as the background. And there's a tiny rock lip in front of the cannon itself. Yes. Because we don't have the camera settings right. You can't see a perfectly, you know. I'm trying to not use lens terms. Uh huh. It's not a deep focus telephoto, highly compressed space shot to help me see it in a two dimensional manner. So I'm just several layers of not able to read that area down there. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to keep dying. Yeah, in one hit, of course. Man, this guy's really, really saying a lot of words. Got a lot of stuff to say, man. Bubsy's a smart guy. We should listen to him. <laughs> no, I'm not listening to Bubsy's podcast. No idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. But he likes it. Just saying. Just saying now. How am I gliding? I you have no idea. I feel like there's a real gap in the market for a new Bubsy release. I'm sorry, uh, Bracer made... killed Bubsy. They made one after this, uh, so I can so say upset. I think we proved no. Right. But also, yeah, Bracer. Who owns the rights to this? I don't just, know. Are they just paying the original like guy? It. The guy who designed Bubsy and was like, I'm a genius. I thought, what if a cat had a t-shirt with an exclamation mark? Firefang says Atari does. Oh, right. They bought in that giant acquisition. Oh, right. I was terrified. Yeah. Which, you know, you should be. Be very yeah, scared. we should. We do need to be on the lookout because uh, I don't down. believe that a new Atari has uh, fired everyone working there yet. I don't think they've hit that phase. How am I gliding? Not yet. No. You have no idea. He has no idea. No idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. No idea, but he likes it. We can confirm. Bubsy, in fact, likes it. <laughs> Bubsy's just I'm like head empty. Out. Float. Air control to the maximum. I am so shiny. Oh, he's shiny too. Yeah, because I got the shield. Man, right? this guy's so cool. Yeah. How do you get so shiny? He's so cool, and I'm glad he talks about how cool he is. Not fucking stop. Do you think he talked this much in the next game? I just love this kind of it has this little to say. I hope he has more to fucking say in the next game. It would be really sad if they accidentally only wrote like six things for two games in a row. Right? Why, why is he even talking about Taco Tuesday? That's not a joke. No Everyone idea. loves Taco Tuesday, so Bubsy also hey, loves Taco you, Tuesday. I bet, I bet he's never even had a taco. That's how much of a poser Bubsy is. I just love the smell of wool in the morning. What? What? Just love the smell of what in the morning? I, dude, I don't know. Chat, you can tell us. They know. They can hear it perfectly fine. We're the ones with the TV speaker. Smell, smell of wool. wool. Oh, because it's, it's like the smell of napalm. Oh, yes, uh huh. You know, it's like reference. That thing he does. To um, thirty-plus-year-old hey, properties that the he dresser. did back then, but you know, a little oh, bit yeah. less old on average. You know, you could have just had it nothing but weird MCU references, and it would have ended up better. <laughs>
I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out too. Okay. All right. Thank you, chat. I was trying to force it into a what would Jesus do? Hey, I didn't write this stuff. I was like, this has got to be what's up. Gliding down. Gliding down. Thank you, Bob. I we didn't have that enough. quadraphonic stereo. You do. <laughs> oh, I, this. I wish the soundtrack was good. <laughs> Multiple people be pointing out how he's just evil Gex. It's like, no. I mean, it's yes, true. Yeah. It is whole, so didn't bad. That up, didn't that come up at our chair devs? I think I swear so. that came up at our chair devs of like Bubsy being evil Gex. How am I gliding? Yeah, no like, we made a joke. I I think this may have been in my pitch, right? Uh huh. About doing a comedy game, everything, where it's like Bubsy's in it and everyone hates him. Like, man, which fucking episode? We did so many. No idea how I'm Was it that one where we all got like assigned it. a different game, maybe? Or was uh, it? I think there was also a, a platformer reboot episode that was a bunch of different platformers. Yeah, I think it was that one, so I think Chris hosted. I don't know. No idea how yeah, I'm maybe that was, maybe that was just like Gex. It. Yeah, because I know I did a Gex pitch. Yeah. Gliding yeah. Down. And then, you know. Not flying. All I remember Wait. is it being something oh, yes, truly awful of me. <laughs> God, what was the Am deal? We were making jokes no about mm. how... Gex, what's up? I, I, me saying it was an aggro one during the Gex episode, and Victor Cactus, I don't want to believe that could have been the name of aggro's game. Yeah, Gex and Bubsy getting some tail. Yeah. they both have tails. Uh-huh. No and it was a dating sim. Was it? I think so. Was it? I don't think that was the case. I don't think it was a dating house, sim. House, but yeah, Agro's probably asleep already. We we can't get confirmation. You think Agro remembers shit he says? No, <laughs> but he might feel obligated to. What for? You know, it's <laughs> This, but do none like of it. that worked right. See, that's what should have happened. <laughs> right. Why would that happen, though? That seems ridiculous. That's, that was really weird. So, if you bounce off of the top of them and you're still holding the glide, you will continue to hold the glide, meaning you can't get as high. So you need to jump, hit glide, reminder, that's X and triangle. Very easy button combination. And then let go of glide just before you hit them so you can do it again. It's okay. I'm sure the really? square button was I used on something important, or R1. Pounce. You know, so that. Uh -huh. That really great new move that Bubsy on. loves. Uh, I don't. Well, you should. He no loves it. I don't this, love things because like Bubsy it. loves them. I don't get it. That's, I thought that's how that worked. No, that's that's what the developer wants to have happen, but it's not, it's not happening. I like the generic broken glass for you attacking a knight. Uh, that's them plan. hitting something and falling to pieces because they're empty armor. See? Yeah, it's still hilariously just glass instead of metal or anything. <laughs> Admittedly, if it was metal, it would be an insanely obnoxious, really loud, like, we drop 17 pans down. Yes. So I'll take the glass. I'll, I'll take that over 17 vert, you know, stacks out of it. Why, why is this game doing like a weird battle gauntlet hallway. It feels like it's about to end, I swear to God. Right? If this game is 12 levels long, I'm gonna lose it. This is like, I love the tech point. You can two on the same screen. Yeah, it was a really tall screen. It was a tough one. <laughs> yeah, it was a real toughie. That, that, that one screen was half the level. Berlin? Really? Berlin? Space is dark and full of bullets. 
closing curtain? Air control closing. to the maximum! I don't know Riding that that makes down. sense for a space level that is in fact a volcano level for some reason. Bouncing makes so much sense. How did I- Mosa Ultra Pounce! Butthead in your face! I, uh, I worry this game is reprogrammed my mind to be like, no, this is good. Why wouldn't I just pounce constantly anytime I'm in an enclosed area? <laughs> the pounce is so cool. It's the pounce, ultra pounce. The pounce makes everything go faster because you, you go faster. And since this game doesn't have a whole lot going on, going faster makes it end really fast. <laughs> See, not going really fast is for people playing games where there's, like, designed reasons. Everything. Oh, that's a key. Cool. Oh, no. Told you I was dead. Oh, wait. I wish this music was good. Last <laughs> Karat's jamming out in chat. Obviously, it must be good. <laughs> How am I gliding? I have no idea. How am I dying? Well, you die in one hit, so that, that's pretty easy to explain. I, I know I can just go down. Right, right, of course. That's not what's important. Take that, you cotton goblin monster! Can you... No idea how I'm doing I'm gonna go ahead and say that's about as bad as the pun I made. Yeah, the cotton goblin only makes sense. How am I gliding? I mean, I... I have no idea. Oh no 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 no! In your face. No they gobble cotton. Bob cat like in your face. And, ah. Is that? Is that really? That's all he's got. Okay. Okay. Really I just they gobble. But... I wonder if they did yarn balls. I wonder if canonically Bubsy's ever had a taco. Fashionable counterpart to the chainmail bikini. Maybe. No idea how I'm doing Maybe this, that's his thing. I like, like it. Uh, Sonic likes chili dogs. Bubsy likes tacos. Uh huh. Just okay, makes sense. Add that to my demo All right. reel. <laughs> hey, of course the music's amazing. Compared to Super Mario 64. You know, I feel bad. This game has been pretty loud. Let me bring that back down a bit. Final. Bob. The next level code said final. Oh. Yeah, it's like I said, the end of the screen is yeah. just over. Line, Bob Cation Rhapsody? What? Shouldn't it be Bohemian? Bobhemian Rhapsody? What's Bob Cation? I don't know. Chat, this is the end of the game. What? Bob Cash and Rax Rhapsody? I don't know, that still doesn't really oh sound daddy? like Bohemian. <laughs> How is this already the end of the game? Shit, Bob, at this point, fuck it, let's go straight into exploits. Fuck it. Yeah, sure. Someone's gonna get really mad they missed exploits. <laughs> right? I mean, we like, take it up with Bubsy and his fucking woolies. Now, I'm trying to think of other really short ones on the list. No one will be mad at that! But explains is good. Get all the bright that's done day, day one. Jesus. Hopefully. If we're lucky. Watch, I'm gonna ace this boss. Not take one hit and we'll just be like, game's 10 minutes long. Hardest part, second boss. <laughs> I mean, this boss, they gave you an extra shirt. Right? So obviously it's not as hard. This what? game is $25 on Steam right now. Are you serious? It's free on PlayStation Plus. Pretty sure that's how I ended up with it. Or PlayStation Plus Plus. Take that, you cotton goblin monster! makes so much sense. Don't worry about it, Dan. I'm not gonna Don't. worry. I am done even talking about that joke. I am never gonna open my mouth about it again. <laughs> I guess, you know, that Bubsy license is so expensive. They had to charge $25 for it, right? 
He's just it's too much. We could play the other Bugsy game. No, man, we didn't. That wasn't on the list. That wasn't on the list. We gotta burn and knock out the list. You gotta save that for the other demon pit in the future. Okay, the sequel is $25. Okay. Okay. Ruklot seems to be posting a level select code for Superman 64. Okay. Cool. Great. We beat that game, though. What are you talking about? Why would you post that? I can already just like the level I want. We beat the game on normal difficulty. That's the ending for normal difficulty. We did. Hey, Bob. The ultimate question. Yeah, what's up? Is it Taco Tuesday yet? I don't know. I don't think it's Taco Tuesday. Yeah, I don't think Superman was that long. No idea how I'm doing oh, that's sick. Why wouldn't we just want to get access to the command line interface and fucking get to play? <laughs> to say, I really Shit, you want to talk about a level select code we care about. <laughs> I really hope. Oh my god. <sighs> I hope that plays is better than I remember it. Well, it'll be the best game we played tonight, so. It better be, yeah. Like, there's almost no way it isn't. It's a good thing there are hard to find edges to that attack. It would be terrible if it was a giant glowing aura and I wasn't sure whether the bright lines were the edge or what. Wait, it's the only way to get the good ending because you make it one menu option. You are locked into the bad ending automatically. What? Wait, what? For bags plates? Do you need to open the command line? What? To get the good ending? Wait, no. It can't be right. No. Now I feel like a real game, but this is a video game boss battle. So do you think that Guiana Sisters game is somehow better than this? Probably. Yeah, I feel like this is a really low bar. It is. I, I'm playing this, and honestly, as someone who's not even a big fan of Bubsy going, yeah, this is probably the worst Bubsy game. <laughs> Outside of, like, Bubsy 2 on Game Gear or something insane that I... Yeah, because there's a Game Boy and a Game Gear game. Pretty sure. If you buy a Dark Power Up once, you are locked into the bad ending unless you reset your file. In exploits? That's insane! <laughs> what the fuck? Why would they do that? You get it without. You no oh, never touch a power up, a certain power up. What? Man, I'm now I'm too curious about exploits. We need to do that tonight. <laughs> He still doesn't know how he's doing it. Can you believe that? I don't know how I keep getting away with it. <laughs> he's got a gun and he's covered in blood. Hunting makes so much sense. How did I not think of this before? Air control to the maximum. Oh, X plays the game just like Dragon Sogma 2 has real consequences. Jesus. I didn't realize they were such innovators. Bob, it won't spawn the boss. Why not? It wants me to go right there. <laughs> oh my god, he was actually, you could see a weird head stuck in the bot in the ground before he jumped down there. Really? Yeah, there was like a, a woolly head. That's uh, concerning, Take right? That, you cotton goblin monster. No idea how I'm, doing this. I'm very excited to not be playing this game, right? Good thing that happens in the next 10 seconds, it Wait, seems is he like. Wait, can you have to go ahead and now? Yeah, but I killed myself trying to do that exact dive oh, okay. one life ago. It is very tempting, but also very difficult if you don't anticipate it greatly. How did I air jump? I don't know. I just jumped off that enemy. That's what happened? Because I hit jump at the exact moment of collision, and the game went, yeah, there's a platform there. Because he can't air jump. Like, not normal. Like I just did. Uh -huh. He only has this glide thing. Weird? 
And I didn't hit triangle. I would know if I hit triangle. That's nowhere near convenient. That didn't seem to affect his health bar. Am I crazy? It did. It's okay. just moving it so little. Okay. Yes, Bob. Superman 64 drove you insane. Fair. <laughs> God, that game. I, oh, I, I don't think I've ever... It's not rendering right. No, it's not. Ah! It's not ah! ready for the power of the PS5. Okay, I don't know what he actually said, but the last thing he said sounded like butt cheek. It did. I heard that okay, too. Okay, you heard that too. That's not just me. Bubsy is whispering to us about his butt cheek. <laughs> in your face. I just love the smell of wood in the morning. Oh yeah, so man. Sense. This is. This seems like it's going to end in the next couple of minutes. Unless, Hopefully, unless I wipe right. out this fucking boss, which right. is so possible is. right now He's because I have a one. really bad attack. Bib confirms he said the butt cheeks line a few times. What is this? I don't know. Why is he obsessed with this? One really down, and a lot more to go. Yeah. in your face. No idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. Oh no. Mm. Mm. You could have put a good attack in this game, but you didn't. You went way out of your way to make that attack suck as much as it does. But he keeps saying it's good, it has to be good. Why didn't you put this on a shoulder button? <laughs> That wouldn't give you air control to the maximum, Dan. I mean, it would, because then it would be maximally comfortable. But I like it. Oh, come the on. Last hit. Yeah, no, I told you it's tiny. Yeah. So I had just as many lives as he had hits, right? Oh, hey. Turn balls. Great. Bounce, bounce, baby. Bounce with me. Okay. That's so funny. Okay, Dan, he does a giant sphere that covers the two halves of the screen. Ah, there are three down. Yay! Hooray! You did it, Bubsy! I am a trained professional. Yippee! See, maybe we're fine. Next level yarn. This isn't the ending, though. This is, you, yeah, this I don't is know. a cutscene to get us to the next real level. What are you talking about? That He's got the yarn. He, this is an like actual cutscene. You will always remember this as the day that you almost caught Bubsy Bobcat. You can't say the entire joke and then just say your name instead. God, what is that joke from, chat? That is yeah, that's just a, that's line. A, that's just a line straight from something. Pirates of the Caribbean. There we go. Oh, my God. Captain Jack Swallow. Oh Wait. Sparrow. Sparrow. Fuck you, epic movie. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that had Jack Swallow. Captain oh. Jack Swallows. Oh. We made it. Oh, my God. Talk indeed. Oh, I didn't anticipate set up the PS3 for the screen. <laughs> How? This is so dire. Demon <laughs> Pit games are short, dude. I was joking somewhat when I said that screen would be the whole game. How did you call that in advance, Bob? How did you know? I don't. Does he know? Scrunt. <laughs> Fucking <I can't>... scrunt. <laughs> I'm getting woozy. Uh, we are right. going to check out the September lineup to see what else is on I'm the way. I'm legitimately in awe at how tonight's going on day one of the Demon <laughs> I can right? always count on you, Bob. How many hours we even in? We're eight hours in, so we beat two, of the two games. games in eight hours. And yeah, Superman 64, that was beaten basically Great. on time with what they said on how long to beat. Yeah, basically. And this was, was that even an hour for Bubsy? I really have it. Bye. Hi, PS5. We won't see you again tonight.
idea. I don't. I can't believe people are saying that uh, the Super Mario 64 wasn't beaten. It's like no, that we got we beat the game. We hit the end of normal mode and it said you won. I'm sorry. Then there's no time to waste. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Also, it's really funny the mister has been running Superman 64 this whole time, like being trapped in a torment <laughs> nexus. <laughs> yes. Y'all are doing the equivalent of telling a streamer, oh, you beat Ghost and Goblins once? It says you have to do it twice, so you didn't beat it, right? No, I did beat it. We didn't get to see every level, but that's not how you define a game being beaten. This route we did didn't have every level or an ending, right? That's not on us. It, but we beat the game on normal mode, though there is no more levels in normal mode. Not the normal, not that mode. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see a flat boss. They probably didn't make one. There weren't any bosses in the game. <laughs> there were enemies I punched a few times and then drugged to the police. <laughs> That was pretty good. Were there credits? I think you can hit the credits button somewhere. In it. I don't think we saw credits technically. Uh, we haven't charged enough uh, PS3, right? Yeah, of course. We were planning it after all. That's good. Automod tried to censor someone from saying Russian weeaboo. Are we are we really censoring weeaboo? Is that the point we're at? I think it's Russian, but I don't know. Are we censoring Russian? Is that the point we're at? <laughs> Superman doesn't graphically beat up Luther. I know, crazy. <laughs> They're like, you're missing the ending. The ending of the game where Superman does a Mortal Kombat finisher. <laughs> that, that's not real. Oh, is this game Hungarian? I've never been clear on it. I just knew it was Eastern European in some way. Yeah, he doesn't censor Hungarian weeaboos. <laughs> I hooked up the PS3. Uh huh. It's on the three. Oh my god, really? <sighs> All right. We can do that. And that at least has a double A battery, so I don't need to worry about the controller sign. Oh, thank god. So, about why double A's are better? Right? <laughs> what's, what's funny, Bob? Uh, you just opened the 360 I saw Alone in the Dark. What's so funny about Alone in the Dark? It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to set this uh, over on the Dan Cam. Or yourself. That's wrong. I believe in you, Bob. Uh, the case we have for those batteries is actually made like one of those, uh, a Game Boy case for cartridges that was off brand and made badly. So it's really annoying to open. <laughs> but I got it. We got batteries. And you can, you can hear me but can't see me because I sat down in uh, my chair instead of Dan's. You just have to look at the chair with little yikes next to it. <laughs> Let's, we'll do it on Dan. I think. I don't care about gamer score and getting that up.
Xbox avatars were fun. Too bad Microsoft isn't a game company more. I, I can't. I can't say I miss Xbox avatars. Make something new. Make something else to give your uh, Xbox personality, but don't use avatars again. Avatars are just. Mm. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but uh, the X Blades has a really good logo, a really good icon. Why did Xbox is doing a lot of things here that are very strange? Uh, and this clear up space. Yes. What? Hmm. My God. I guess we can just reinstall in the dark. This won't delete our progress save. I don't think. Make sure. Make sure it's somewhere else under here. My Xbox profile picture has been a pic of my avatar for 14 years. I'm sorry. That's so sad. Yeah, this this install data shouldn't have the actual game progress data. And delete that. This only takes two gigs. It's a tiny baby game. I forgot I was playing a game. I don't know the the thing that always bugged me about avatars is they just looked hideous like they looked like knockoff me's and it didn't it just came off as really sad like if you wanted to make something give it some sort of personality that was even Worst. Oh my god, don't honk at me. Like, PlayStation Home avatars were more interesting because even them not having a style was better than this weird style they ended up with for Xbox avatars. And I think that another part that soiled it for me was uh, their, their, connecting, their connection to the Kinect and uh, that guy showing them off and showing off how cool they were. I think Garrus's eyepiece on a bizarre non-human was cultured. Jesus. Like, they have so many talented artists, or they had so many talented artists there. It was crazy uh, they ended up looking like that. If they got Rare to design something, it would be such a better look than what the avatars were, are. The avatars were a little before Connect. I can't remember. They might have gotten them out before Connect, but I could have sworn they announced them along with Connect. Yeah. They're part of that refresh. Clearly, you must have been. There is no way this is two gigs. It only needed me to clear up two gigs. Chad, what the fuck is with all of it? Water. <laughs> Big water. 
Drink that water, she says. <laughs> what the fuck is this? No, I realized I should have gotten Splish bucked clash. up in the middle of the stream, you know?